What's up? Welcome back. Hate him. Hi. Uh, that's the way to start a stream. How you doing? Uh, welcome back to Mother 3. <laughs> How you doing? Nice. Hope y'all are doing good. Why would you say that, Bubbles? Uh, welcome back. Um, we're hanging out here in Chapter 2 where things are slightly better. How you doing? What's up? We got two new emotes. Technically three, because I forgot I uploaded Time to Cry to, uh, BTTV. Uh, but we got the new Bari Good and Bari Yee. Mr. Art Teeth, yes. I stole Deer's art in making the new Bari Good. So, I expect a lawyer to be on, knocking at my door later today with his teeth. You say I love this drain and then you can't go on. Change the subject. Thanks for the ten dollars. Thank you. Wow, very wow, much. Wow, wow, um, yes. We're in the game this time before alert spam. It's true. We can watch a frog hop around as we get ready to go. You're the lawyer. <laughs> the gun. Nice. Is the gun one of those like Looney Tunes guns that shoots out a scroll that unfolds, but it's just like a cease and desist? That'd be that'd be fun. Um. Nice. I, 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 I am going to time you out, Naked Arcade Bubbles. I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't like it. So stop. Heed not the rabble who <laughs> scream. Noise pollution Thank you. is not a big deal. They are the wrong. Tooth? The tooth? I don't know what you're talking from about. your eardrums is not what I'd call Oh, fun. it's a real gun. Okay, Put thank your you. fingers in your ears. Come on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome wow, back. Wow, 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 what I appreciate it. Um, we're gonna do more, more Mother 3 today. I hope uh, you've all recovered from yesterday. Um, because from here on out, I remember the far uh, chapter one. I think is very, very memorable. The whole game is, but like it's been like 25 years since I played this, so um, I'm excited to delve into the parts of the game that I'm like, oh yeah, I don't remember how these things connect, but here we are now. You can never recover. Well, but it gets easier, right? Maybe. <laughs> oh, we're good. Thank you. No. Must be really hearing yourself sing. Not really. I mean, I'm just kind of used to it. I used to hate listening to the sound of my voice, but you just do it enough, and then you just grow numb to it. It's fine. You say I love this drain, and then you can't go Gotta get that long RNG. No recover, only crying. We haven't even gotten PK crying yet. Oh. Hey, Prithiana. Prithiana, thank you. Thanks for the $10. Spoils! No worries, Spunky. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. The real Barry is streaming, yes. No, I, I, I sold my stream key on the dark web. And this is just an auto-generated AI lookalike. Man, that'll be the day when I can just have a, a, a AI-generated voice with an AI-generated webcam, and I can just be, like, hanging out over there playing video games by myself instead of being just the exact same thing. <laughs> just, like, ask someone else to do it for me. Uh, Barry, Bar Barbie tuber. Deepfake Barry is less stinky. That's how you know. That's how you know. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I'm, I'm excited to be playing more Mother 3. Uh, I, I fucking love this game. It's, uh, it's a time. Um... So, uh, I wanted to, real quick, well, um, no, we'll do it first. I, I neglected my streamer duties last stream yesterday, um, because whenever people recommend games to the doc and then I play that game on stream, I like to thank the people who took the time to type out a little tippy-tap on that form and go, hey, Barry, you should stream this thing at some point. And some of these recommends go back to 2018, which is when I started streaming, and I'm like, that doesn't sound right. It's been three years, and I'm old and dying. Uh, but thank you to Joey, Jazzy, Pash K, Address 10, Jackie Mills, Drubaka64, Nugget Swoo, Delta Comrade 23, Two Burgers to Go, Breeze TPPS, Noxios, and Quincy Maru, and several anonymous users for recommending that I stream other three. So thank you. Also, Johnny, yep. 
good. Actually, I can't tell. Is, is he see-through? Yeah, no, he is. There's a spider and he's watching so me pooping. Pooping. Watch me pooping. Watch me pooping. He's on the wall and he's watch watching me pooping. Thank you. Watch it's me another. Pooping. Watch me pooping. Oh, God, he's now he's green. Here. It's that time he disappeared. See now he's green. Flush him down the toilet. Don't want no spiders watching me while I'm pooping. 2018 was just last year, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Green frog. Yeah, he's good. I like the frogs. Look at them go. Um, Another level of consciousness. It's still 2011, right? Yeah, no. No, actually, I, I was talking to some friends last night about 2011 because that's 10 years ago. And I was like, what the fuck? So literally right now, 10 years ago, I was in China studying abroad because it was spring of 2011 that I was there. And I was like, that doesn't feel like 10 years ago, but also feels like a lifetime ago. So that's fun. Time is an illusion. Lunchtime doubly so. Look at them a good stance a good lean into that car seat there mm-hmm mm -hmm. that is a that is a dog that was literally just misbehaving and then someone turned and pulled out camera like huh? mm. i'm good i don't know what you're talking about no crimes here no dog crimes here just being a well-behaved gentleman he's waiting for the game to start just like everyone in chat a boy got mocked because he cried for three days after his mom died oh it's the same game then <laughs> They're waiting to parry any incoming what? attack. I love that. Uh, thank you. Anyway, uh, also in between streams. Well, also, uh, uh, well, uh, Chinology 345 resubbed for 37 months. I don't know exactly when, but it seems to have been about an hour after I ended the stream. So it might have been like just after I ended. Regardless, really appreciate it, Chen. That's a lot of months. And Fickle Cat resubbed for 37 months, which is a whole lot of months. Thank you. Uh, Aron Car 48 thanks for nine months. Welcome back. Enjoy your baby and your ruby key. Smash Matt, Barry the Happy Boy, has come to brighten up this sad game. Well, there's only so much I can do. Uh, Spunky, thank you again for the raid. Appreciate it. Meatball Girl, 33 months. Haven't been here forever, but I still love you all. Thank you so much. Hope you've been well. And thank you for all the months of subbing. That is very, very kind of you. Uh, Pyro Sprider, $50. Howdy. I won't be watching stream because I still have to play through Mother 3, but I hope you and the rest of chat have a great time with the game and jam out to its awesome music. Pyro, I hope you enjoy it when you get around to it. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. What the... What are you, what are you doing? Thank you, though. Uh, Naked Arcade Bubbles, thank you for the bits. Creepy Kie, Kie, thank you for five months. It must be awkward having three mothers. How come you get to have three mothers? Flavir, thank you for the hammy. I always read very good in the voice of the Dark Souls carvings. Anyone else? Very good. But now there's like an arf at the end of it. Uh, Smash Matt, thank you for the bits. Oh, wow. I wonder who this mysterious character could be for those who haven't played Mother 3. Technically, we saw her briefly yesterday. She dropped a, a pendant. Uh, Bari Yi. Uh, Bubbles, thank you again nice. for the bits. Blonde Fishy with a hammy. Alert spam time. Thank you. I appreciate it. John the Wholesome, Mother 3. More like Brother's Gone, Mother Zero. Everything hurts and I'm sad. TM. <laughs> More like Mother Zero. <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, Kef Kakata, thanks for 30 months. Thank you so much. Enjoy your outhouse key. The chemist, thank you for the hammy. After four months of looking and applying for jobs, I finally got one and I start in a week and a half. Oh! Congratulations. That's amazing news. Thank you for the hammy. Um, you know you don't have to pay me to share good news, but I still appreciate it and I'm really happy for you. That's amazing. Thank you. Brother laying face down in the desert. Yeah, he's fine. He's just having a little little nap. Uh, did I get ass blessed with donos? Oh, uh, there's a lot. Yeah, we're gonna get through them though. Um, Spunky, thanks again for the bits. Smash Matt, one thing I wasn't sure was brought up. Have you noticed that whoever you happen to be controlling at the time in this game turns into silent protagonist, even though they talk whenever they're not controlled? We didn't talk about it, but it's something that I think is interesting because this game shifts around its cast a fair amount, especially in the early game. Um, so it's very noticeable that, like, oh, you start playing as Lucas, and, like, you're, like, from the beginning you play as Lucas, and he's silent, and you're like, okay. Also, he's said to be very shy and kind of introverted. Um, so it's it's sort of in line with that characterization. Um, but then you play as Flint, and he just is like, oh, Dad, and he, like, has stuff to say, and then you go to the grave, and he talks about Klaus, and you're like, oh, he, he does talk. Um, is this guy 22 or 50? What? Uh, Duster or me? Uh, 
I don't know. I assumed like 30s, maybe? Don't know. Um. Oh, Chester, not feeling well? Not feeling great skipping this one. Hope you feel better, Chester. Get some good rest. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, but yeah, no, it is it is interesting that pretty much every character talks, but whenever you're playing as someone, they are silent, 100%. But, I don't know. I think it works. It's just kind of jarring sometimes. Uh, Blonde Fishy, deep fake Barry, tells the truth about Puppet Puppet Barry and whether or not he's pulling the strings. <sighs> no comment. Thank you. Uh, John Wholesome, Mom, they're three. More like Shigesato Itoi, why three? TM. Flavier, Barry can speed up time so that you can do an hour of stream in half an hour so stream won't go past start time for my D&D session tonight. Thanks. Mm, I don't need time going any faster than it's already going. So, no. Adam, thank you for the bits. Speaking of Gallatin, when I was there, they told us about someone who made a major in video games and it occurred to me now that might have been you. It's possible. I didn't exactly make a big splash while I was at Gallatin. I kind of kept to myself, but I also, I'm probably not the only person who majored in video games, especially before the Game Center was really built up over there. That's the wild. Maybe. And uh, Bubbles. The first Avengers movie came out nine years ago. That sounds like an eternity, but wasn't Iron Man like 2008? So... I got... It. Anyway. <laughs> Speaking of, of superhero movies, I, I sat down with dinner to watch the Zack Snyder Justice League last night after stream, and then I paused it. Um, Not... Or initially to check the runtime, but because I was like, there's still opening credits in this movie. It's still like producers written by. And I'm like, this has been going on for a long time. And I paused and it was like six or seven minutes into the movie that was still happening. And I paused and I was like, this movie's four hours long? Uh, I didn't realize what I was signing up for. Um, Mothra 3. What's it like being alone? <laughs> yeah, Bath's out of town for two more days. Uh, but, yeah, it was, uh, also there were, there were chapter markers in the, like, progress bar at the bottom, and you pause, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Apparently it's broken up into sections. I watched an hour, and then I had to stop. I was like, this is, I might get back to it. Yes, bitch, I got that frog in a car. He woke up at 12.40 a.m. Oh, that's fun. Denchop, thank you for the bits. Had to leave right when Flint was told of a sweet Drago tooth knife. Hope nothing bad has happened since then. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, that's a decent enough segue. Also, we're caught up with alerts. So welcome back to Mother 3. Uh, far is a lot for a movie. Um, if you're just joining, um, how to sum up chapter one? Uh, we're, in a, we're on an island called no Nowhere Islands. Um, and we live in this idyllic little uh, town called Tasmalee Village on the island where they don't even have crime or the concept of money. It's like extremely utopic, if that's a word. Um, it's my background today. It's just a background from, it's actually the starting area near Alex's house at the very beginning. Um, someone made a wallpaper that's just like a massive background. Uh, utopian is a better word for that. Flint had a family, it died. Well, <laughs> so you start as Lucas, whatever. That doesn't really matter. But um, there's friendly dinosaurs called Dragos and one of them, gets turned into a half robot by some pigmen who set fire to the forest. And that Drago well, kills well, well, what's this? Uh, Hinawa, who's Flint's wife, Lucas and Klaus's mother. Lucas and Klaus are, are um, twins. Um, and in the kerfuffle, uh, Hinawa is killed and Flint is thrown away in the jail where he's then broken out by his son, Klaus, uh, Draco Malfoy. And then uh, Klaus, after the funeral, decides to get vengeance on the Drago that killed his mom and climbs the mountain to try to kill uh, the, the Drago. You don't find Klaus. We, as the audience, see that Klaus fell off the mountain and we don't know what's happened to him. Uh, and then Flint is ready to kill the Drago, but then we decide not to because it has a family uh, and we're sad about it. Flint is, uh, I don't know what he's doing now. Duster is who we're playing as now, who is a master thief. His father, Wes, is also a master thief. Even though there's no crime, don't worry about it. Um, Robo Drago cries, right? It does shed a tear, <laughs> just to really drive it home. Chapter one is a really beefy part of the game. Um, and then, in Pursuit of Monsters, you cannot become a monster, etc. His father's an asshole. Yeah, well, yeah. There's a lot of people in this town are kind of jerks, considering how idyllic the town is. A lot of people are very selfish and when like 
Everything's on fire. They're like, oh no, if only someone will help. Anyway, I gotta keep an eye on my shop, even though we don't have money. Uh, and that's chapter one. Chapter two is you playing as Duster. You're sent by your father, Wes, to Osohe Castle, which is circled on the map there. And we had to go in there and steal something valuable. We're not told what it is. And we get in there and we grab uh, this noble spittoon after fighting a, a tough boss. A mysterious glittering spittoon. How many chapters in this game? I think it's seven or eight. But none of them are the same length. Some of them are very short. A couple of them are real long. So, and we're on chapter two. Uh, this game likes his map circles. Well, that's Mapson likes his map circles. Mapson's like over here. Ah, eh, he's moved somewhere else. That's fine. Uh, no one's comforting Lucas. Everyone's telling him that he's a crybaby and it's awful. And, um, yeah. So basically, we don't really have, like, an overarching, like, objective. It's mostly just, Hinawa was killed. There's pig masks who are causing mischief and making animal robot hybrids because they think they look cooler, maybe? It's not really clear what that's about. Uh, everyone's kind of doing their own thing. And Duster's helping Wes steal a thing because I guess shit's going down. And he's like, I need to get the treasure back that I stole and hid there. Chapter one's also like a prologue. Yeah. Mischief. He dabs when he starts his running animation. Does he? Does he? Does... Almost. Almost. Anyway, uh, we're going to get back to it. Full figure cop alerts. You sure about that? Pretty sure there's more. Let's talk about the sleeping realm theory. That should help draw the stream more. No! Mother 3 is Ness's dream when he's asleep after the part of Earthbound when he's sleeping. There you go. There's the theory. Nick, 817. Thanks for 14 months. Appreciate it. Welcome back. So, um, lady infected with Joker toxin still live. <laughs> Joker toxin. I, I believe it means Sans. R well, no. I, Sans is Ness's alter ego after he woke up from the dream. So, yeah. Everyone's been so pale since yesterday. I baked some delicious nut cookies to try to cheer everyone up. I made too many, though, so you can have one. Thanks for the nut cookie. Uh, so much has happened. Are you having trouble sleeping, too? Oh, Duster. I haven't seen you in so long. Anyway. Ahem. <clears throat> Okay, I will take a hint and keep going. Oh, I'm shocked to see you up at this hour. To what do we owe this surprise? Fuck off. My, it's been years since I've seen your face in the afternoon. And upon closer look, you're actually surprisingly manly now. Mm. When do we kill God? Uh, I don't know. It's not really that kind of game. Woo, so busy, so busy. Rum, bum, bum, bum. Sans equals Nass. Nasty. I remember the townsfolk being this mean, but here we are. Yeah, me neither. Also, there's an absurd amount of dialogue. Optional dialogue in this game. No, dear, no. Once people think you're trying to steal something if you go into their houses, I don't think you are, though. What the hell, dude? Just because I'm only identified as Master Thief, I think I'm going to steal stuff. Also, Duster has a bad leg, which is why his run cycle might look a little bit off compared to the other characters. It's a JRPG, so you got to kill God at some point. I was gonna say you don't really in Earthbound, but like you kind of do. It's more like evil space Satan, but. That was in game dialogue. I'm studying, my mom's cooking. I'm learning how to make bees flavored cookies. I'm gonna let Hinawa try some when they're done baking. I hope she comes back soon. Oh, you sweet summer child, don't make me cry again. You're up early today, you're eating properly? Thank you. Are there ducks in this game? If there's ducks, then God's already dead because duck both can't exist in the same world. There must be a, a, a balance in the cosmos. I saw him hit his monkey. He just went pow. I can't do that. There's a really creepy guy at the Yaddo Inn. Oh. Nobody tell her. Oh, hey there, Duster. That look on your face. You're after something, aren't you? Lewd? Lewd? Oh, I get it. Oh, hi there, Duster. See anything you want? Cool. <clears throat> Many people act so rudely this early on because they're not used to tragedy happening in this town. They don't know how to react to it. They seem very childlike in terms of their mental state. That's a fair analysis of it because the first time you talk to just about anyone, it's during a forest fire where lives are in danger and they're just like, what do I do? We don't really get like a... I mean, right now is sort of like our sense of 
normalcy, but even this is like not normal for them. So that's fair. Gygus is kind of godlike. Eldritch Horror, great old one, whose essence might have become unknowable. Yeah, which is something that happens between Mother 1 and 2, which is interesting. But that's also what's interesting about the idea of Mother 3 at all, because Gygus and Earthbound slash Mother 2 is essentially a continuation of the main villain from Mother 1. But Gygus is pretty thoroughly walloped in Mother 2 in the past. So it's like there's no way you could have Gygus exist here. So like what's... Do we have an enemy? Is our enemy like the the uh, like the townspeople? It's just, at this point, it's just like, what is this game? Uh, but it, it's fine. It'll make sense eventually. Uh, oh, you're West's son. How much you've grown. Thanks. Uh, what do you got here? That's in it tea. Somewhat tasty and energizing. Will you take it? Time's not linear. <sighs> Squid for brains. Thanks for 35 months. And Groove McSpoon. I'm back, baby. Thanks for 14 months. Welcome. And it went. The army is the concept of tragedy itself. Give me this tea. Whoops, can't hold any more stuff. I'm gonna throw this cookie on the ground. I'm gonna just throw it on the ground. Get rid of that. What's this? That's an antidote. Poison snake or something bites you, I take it. No, I'm good. Just five. Just five. No pity cookie. Uh, hey, what's up, fuel? Lucas hasn't left his house since then. Hope he's all right. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Uh, so, what, the creepy guy? Last night, the guest in the middle room gave me a lot of money. What am I supposed to do with it? What's this money? I don't feel like being lectured by you. I already know. I don't need you to tell me. Yeah. Buddy. Buddy. Hello there, Duster. We don't see you here too often. Yeah, I suppose there's a reason for that. I wonder what Tessie thinks about getting married. Have you ever asked her, Duster? What? Why would you ask her about that? I mean, I no. No. Why not ask real quick, then? Hmm. The guest next door. He seems like a nasty fellow. Hmm. Bury me with my money. Like a... Like a pharaoh. Our boss never goes anywhere without a piece of lumber, so that just makes cramped rooms even more cramped. See? It's especially scary when he changes direction like that. It's true. Lighter knows what's up. Uh, oh, can't go in there. Oh, welcome. Please make yourself at home. Eh. It's locked. And this room is available. Why does he not wear a duster? He's too cool for that. And okay. Let's head back to Wes with our treasure in tow. Is this house right? Uh, pretty sure. Sup? Oh, that was faster than I expected. I only died like 10 times, Pops. Jeez. Let's have a look-see. Check out this Splatoon. Is this? This luster, this texture, this delicate, profound, and shiny quality. This is the legendary Noble Splatoon. Passed down from generation to generation in Osohe. Nice. You found it! My judgment was correct after all. Duster, you're exceptionally... Stupider than I thought! Oh, that was still full of spit. Ooh. You moron! Baka! Baka! Whoa. You call yourself a thief, you, yet you can't even tell what it is you need to steal? Anything else, moron? Did you bring back any other big jackpot items? Are you sure you're not just fooling around to try to entertain me? You moron. Pops, sheesh. Huh? Let me have a closer look at that. Oh yeah, this. It, it isn't what I was looking for. Could it be? Hmm, <laughs> dead. That girl, she dropped that thing. That thing. Generations of spit. Duster. That pendant. I think its owner might be the princess of Asohe Castle. Dun, 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 dun. Duster. Your first job was another failure, but this is no time to be calling you a moron. I'll come with you this time. We're heading to Asohe Castle at once. Let's hurry to the room the spittoon was in. Yeah, dad's in our party now. Yeah, he's following us now. 
All right. Well. Ew, royalty. <laughs> that Splatoon used to have clothes made for a stick cowboy. What? Also, the music's different now. Wes, you're so silly. I'm not that pretty at all. I didn't, I didn't say anything. Oh. Good day. Good evening. I'm Scamp. Something's not r something not right's happening to this village. I could feel it. Actually, something bad could even happen to me too. Squawk, I'm not stuffed. I'm alive. I'm plenty alive, Dagnabbit. Good. Hmm. Oh, I, have I been here? I don't know if we've met everyone here. Butch has been acting kind of strange since yesterday. You know what his deal is, Duster? In the Old West. Oh, West of Loathing. Say, about scheme. Apparently that's been his nickname ever since he was a kid. I guess he was a real troublemaker or something. What a rapscallion and a half. Did not read that as Butch. Oh. Oh, we swipe at flies with our tails. Even to even toad undul un ungulates, such as goats and antelopes, are our brethren. Un un ungulates. What is the definition of an ungulate? Moo! We cows don't chew the fat, but we do chew cud. Hmm. Hoofed animals. Ah. Thank you. What does ground sirloin mean again? Uh, d d don't worry about it. Nothing. It's gibberish. This, this, hey, Duster. You better not tell me what about the money I hid in that well. Oink, 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 oink. My rendition of a musical fanfare. Oink, 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 oink. Pigs. <laughs> yeah? I hear there's some pigs somewhere talking about secret info for something or other three. Come on now, what a nuisance that guy is. I don't know much about the secret info, personally. Hmm. Pigs know things. Pigs. I like that, like, pad in the background of the song. Like, doo -doo -doo. You seem even more burglar-like now. Thank you. Apply all my thief tools. You can pet everything. Other three. <laughs> I thought coming to the village would be more exciting than staying in the ravaged forest, but no one will even give me the time of day. Yeah, right? Nice. You're so shabby, Mr. West. Your clothes are all wrinkled. I take it that after all this time, you're finally trying to fix your nocturnal lifestyle. Oh, old man West, you don't happen to know where little Klaus is, do you? No, I suppose not, huh? I'm starting to get worried. Okay. Sirloin, noun. No, bubbles! <laughs> I saw him hit his monkey. He just went pow. He did. Uh, what is this? Ancient banana. It's too old to eat, but it could probably be used for something. Uh, uh okay. We get those on a regu regular basis. Sure. Give me that ancient banana. Variety O. Oh. We have to remind Flint that his wife's dead. I can't hold any more stuff. Banana, banana, ba banana bread. Uh, uh, what does this do? Constant enemy slip and fall, inflicting damage. Oh, that's fun. I don't know what the T does. Let's throw away one of these. 60, that's 80. That's nausea. Probably want to keep one of those. Yeah, it's fine. Make banana bread out of tea. Banana tea. Banana tea sounds like it would not really taste like anything. What's this do? 15 HP. RIP! Well, now I know. Uh... Alright, back to Asohe. Hmm. Huh? What's that odd sound? Hey, Jash. How you doing? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. We gotta turn up the game volume a little bit more. My day's going fine. How's yours? We'll see how it continues. 
Uh, oh. Did they come through the, uh... Yep. The entrance has been destroyed. Hmm. Just like Banjo-Tooie. Oh no, they destroyed the sign. Now there's zombies. Now zombies are allowed to do whatever they want. Do, 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 do. Uh... <gasps> no! Ow, 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 ow. I sure wound up in a bit of trouble, I did. Some pig-looking guys just bust right into the castle. If you're going inside, do be careful. I will. <gasps> no, the potato toes. The, the potato toes. No, they went right through them. They didn't have to do that. Those monsters. My humble little bees patch? A strange vehicle is sitting here. Yeah, what is this? Never seen that before. Hello. Oh, he looks like a friend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, Clayman! From Neverhood. Um... Put him to sleep! There you go. West threw one of Duster's socks. Didn't work. Uh... Lower his defense. Didn't work. So that means it has a chance to work and it failed. Did a bum rush. Who? Scary mask. There you go. Should have done that first. Didn't work on Clay Man. Stop throwing socks. Oh god. Lower the defense. There you go. West sharply scolded the duster. Thank you for that. Big help. Let's eat a jerky. Nice! Wester's got a good hit! Uh. Oh, 15. Stop scolding me! Ow. Oof. Wesker. No, not Wesker. Secret Thief Art Technique! Woo! Oh god, bum rush. Crashed on top of Duster with all of its weight. Yeah. Eat. A jerky. Slap it on the butt. Bazinga. Yeah! It got up. Oh! Nice. Friday Night Funkin'? You know it. Nice. That wasn't too bad. It stopped moving. Uh, Groove McSpoon. Thanks for 14 months. Uh, David. Thank you for the raid. David, uh, Zlegiart. I definitely mispronounced your last name, but thank you so much. Appreciate it. We're just playing ourselves a little bit of mother. Flavier, here's some not nice news. My entire school's web systems and servers are down. Spring break ends in like two days. Might, it be not, might not be able to do class on Monday. I'm concerned. Well, hopefully not responsible for their IT. <laughs> You're just a student. Because <laughs> then there's no responsibility. I usually have to wait and hear what they do. But that's rough. No, be nice to him. No. Oh. Kicking him in the butt's my job. Oh, there he goes. He seemed like a friend. Extra days off, I guess. Uh, Neb Crazy, thanks for eight months. Welcome back. We should save. Actually, let's rest up first. Uh, sup, nerd. Avid VOD watcher here. Don't often get a chance to see you live because of time zones and work and stuff. This is fine. Just want to say I love the content, both Twitch VODs and the silly YouTube vids. I was wondering if you knew any Zelda jokes. Um, What did Link say to... His green-robed friend who wouldn't stop poking him. Stop, that tingles. He's a sound protagonist. Yeah, but... It's a different, it's a, it's a different show. Thank you, Insta. 
He never says anything, ever. What about the cartoon? Excuse me, princess, you know all that. Are you gonna say that's not canon? I don't believe you. Smash Matt, thank you again for the bits. Appreciate it. Uh, there's no need to go up here. Well, fuck you, princess. Oh, God. Oh, we're fighting them. Ooh. Fire the beam. Ow. Slap him. Uh, let's just reduce his defense. They don't do tons of damage. So that wasn't a big drop. Ow. Woke up. Yeah. Wow, 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 what's this? Thank you. I thought Link was the girl. Isn't the protagonist Zelda? Yeah, my bad. I get them mixed up sometimes. Boom! It surrendered. Mm-hmm. Bum ba 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 Chat holding in the tr <laughs> as soon as he went only off as soon as it's off, everyone's saying Triforce. Good. Thank you, chat. Well Link's saying when the L asked how to move how he moved that couch. Uh hoot hoot hoot. A bag of pork chips. Pork chips. Uh heh? Hip, hip, 50 HP, greasy junk food. Oh, okay. Uh, surrender, why? I have gun, fair enough. <laughs> it's fine. Oof, we got pretty danged up, but uh, I don't want to fight them again, but oops, here I go healing. So we need to work our way all the way back up to the top with maybe the whole thing filled with pigmen. What colors would represent me best? I don't know. Uh, I mean, my favorite color ever since going to NYU has been purple. I don't know if that represents me. That's a level of color thinking that I'm head empty. Yeah, dear. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Oh, he's mad. Damn it. Okay, now he's even more mad. He said some nasty, horrible things. Dodge out of the way! No, my offense. Okay, he's gone. Good. I've gotten you to like it. What's your least favorite color? More pork chips. Sweet. I want to see if this ghost is still in here. Oh, they kicked the ghosts out! You monsters! Ah! Probably could have read the sign. In fact, now I'm curious if it's any different. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, what are these little robot friends? They're not friends. Recon mech and cohort. They also look like pig. It's sounding an alarm. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, damn, Wes. Yo. Nice. That was a clean fight. Can't wait until we have actual party members instead of maybe they'll randomly help us. Battle memory. Battle memory. That's a key item? No? Wait, yes. A list of all the monsters encountered so far lets you relive memories of past battles. So he- oh, and you can fight them? Oh, and then that's their back sprite. So this is the completion bonus is like not only every enemy in the game but with their back sprite too but not every enemy has a back sprite i've never even seen the front of this guy because we kept beating him up too fast wow wow that's that's a lot god the tree Ugh. Hmm. i hate green and it's probably my favorite color what Oh, this is not not green. This is like a like a like a warm peach kind of color. Isn't that a Sekiro thing? Yes. Can't believe Mother Three ripped off Sekiro. Look at that stinky ghost. It's a little bit pastel-y. I think it's too saturated to be a pastel. Peachy salmony. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Keygraph. 
Yeah, we haven't really done... This book's covers are and binding are top-notch. There's nothing written inside. Good. Um... Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Nah. The Ghost Bazaar has closed up shop. Thank you for your patronage over the years. Oh, no. Well... Samsung has 10 coming on that exact color. Mm. Ow. Pow. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, the only plot that's really happened today is we we went back to West with the spittoon that we got from. Uh, wasn't there a frog in here? Torn painting lying on the ground. Oh, that's the painting we beat up. Um. We came back to the to west with the spittoon, and he went, This is awful, not what I wanted. But, ooh, this pendant for that the girl dropped tells me that she's the princess of this castle that's abandoned and old and stuff. So, let's go back. All the fireplaces are connected with the Squeakrit passageway. Mmm. It's, it's a Squeakrit. And all these are broken. Mercilessly destroyed. Okay, but it attacked me. So, mm, you're always fast. Oh, God. Wes? Damn it, Wes. Uh... Uh, this hits everyone, right? Crap. Crap. Nope, just hits him. Okay, well, fine. Uh, this is bad. Thanks for scolding me. God damn it. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Wes. <laughs> he turned numb. Good. It apologized profusely. That's you're, you're not getting out of this now. Stop with your beams. Thank you. Oh, God. Uh, stop. Uh, fudge. Yogurt. Eat that old milk. There you go. Ugh. West coming in clutch. When he feels like it, there was a bag of pork chips. Good. Good. For some reason, only the keyboard of this grand piano is bright and shiny. A funny haha. -ha. Yes. Yes, you may. And thank you for asking. Uh, anyone in the kitchen? Oh. Yes, there is someone in the kitchen. Pardon, pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon, pardon me. Excuse me. Hi. Oh. Me so hungry. Oh. Good. I know this room's packed with ghosts, but I'll say it anyway. Here's my secret hint. Gift boxes with blue ribbons have great things in them. Maps. It's good. The tiny boy. Uh, the child. The child. <gasps> there he is. There he is. The child. <laughs> Small child. Don't murder it. Prime Directive. What ball is that? Holy crap. You were not messing around. <laughs> Luxury ball. Ooh. Over, baby got. <laughs> Prime Directive. Obtain the child. The child. Nice. Hard on a sleeve, thanks for 15 months. On a scale of 10 to 10, how much of a little shit is Pokey? Like 12. Like a 12 out of 10. Thank you, Arcade Bubbles. Meanwhile, cut to Lucas in the club developing a drug problem due to his troubled upbringing. It's kid game, so it's caffeine pills saved by the bell. No. No. Lucas de deserves the world. What does boo mean? Thanks. Eh. Wait, did I talk to you? Bunch of weird guys showed up and started wrecking the place, so we all fled into this room. Today's party's over, but I'm getting sick of partying anyway. 
I was just about to get started on the main course too. Just my luck. Wow, real life live people. What do you do for a living? Thievery. He's excited. Yeah. Who was that? The person playing in the clip? That was Deer. Deer bits. Uh, okay. Up we go. Oh, huh. don't hold up. Oh wait, do you still have infinite stuff? You'd probably get over there if you had a rope snake with you. Don't ask what over there is. Oh, I don't have any of the things anyway. So, okay. Uh, is there any reason for me to go down here besides fighting that guy? Probably not. Let's go. Oh, he's still there. Oh, actually didn't want to fight him, but don't like him. Uttering a low growl. A biting attack. Get out of here, you crazy kids. Rope Snake is excellent. Um, I don't want to fight him again. Well, here the Ghost Knight. Thanks. Um. Okay. Frog. I just didn't know if that guy was going to fight us again. Even though we killed him. Eh, that's fine. Carpet Monster is a perfect name for that thing. That's what he is. Uh, easy does it. Okay. Oh, you're allowed to still be ghosts. Sure. Uh. Yay. Oh. He started a fight and took out his friend. Oh, that part's always awkward. Thank you. How many frogs in this game? More than 10. Hey, nice. There's a lot of ghosts in this game. Uh, how am I on HP? Uh, I'm down like 50. The tea heals a little bit. There you go. Have a little sip of tea. I never checked that. Oh, because it's an enemy. And that's an enemy, and that's an enemy. God damn it. Oh, when it when you get when you touch an enemy, it like shows you what's an active sprite. Like the doors in the back, there were ghosts. Or more blue. Anyway. Hi, Douglas. Crap. Good. Goodbye, Douglas. Uh Jash, I have played all of Celeste on stream. Um, well, did I play all of it? I played it when it first came out, which is crazy, because that feels like a thousand years ago. And then I did streams where I did all the Crystal Hearts, and then I did Chapter 9 when that came out. You broke my barrel, Douglas! So, you know, there's a whole bunch of Celeste. And it's on the VOD channel if you want to check it out. Woo, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. By the way, you can rest on that sofa if you want. I forgot. Thank you. Free heals. Alas, there's no save here. Here comes the best part of the game. Oh. What part is this? Oh. I think I have an idea. Yeah. It's up there. The real treasure is further inside. Still ghosts up here. Oh. You're right, God. Let's go. It appears someone has opened this door. Very recently, too. I believe only the princess has the ability to open this secret door. Duster? This is embarrassing. Turn the other way. Chat, turn around. It's embarrassing. Don't look now. I'm not gonna stick my butt out or anything like that, though. The duster just turns around. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. I believe I taught you this nice. dance when you were still very young. I even told you a million times to do it whenever you find yourself stuck. The princess most likely went through here. And those pig fellows are probably still inside the castle as well. We need to be careful. You moron! Thanks, Dad. 
And now we all need to watch Colin's bear. Oh, hi. Hello. Save your game? I will indeed. Wes is a big butt. And not just because he was shaking his butt. There's a large garbage can here. What's it used for? No one knows. Oh. The Master Sword. A needle-like object protrudes from the ground in the courtyard. Huh. Oh, is that the thing that's been passed down in Osoi Castle since ancient times? I remember way back when, when I asked King Osohei what it is. His normally gentle expression suddenly turned stern, and he said, Forget about it. I think. I can't remember. I decided to mind my own business and forget about it ever since then. Or so I recall. That isn't the certain important item I speak of. Hmm. Seems important, though. Forget about it! Whoa! Hey! Hi there. It's her. Wes? Is that you, you old geezer? The girl? Oh, princess! It was you! My, how this brings back memories. Sometimes I wouldn't remember you for not but a t- I wouldn't remember you for not but a little bit. No, 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 wait. I'm so giddy that I've mixed up my words. I haven't forgotten about you but a bit. No, wait. Duster, you moron. Get your act together. Whatever. I got my leg caught in the stupid-ass trap. Swears. I can't afford to die here, so I was just thinking about cutting my foot off. Oh, -ho! I see you're as reckless as ever. But you need to resort to removing your foot, princess. For me and my thief arts, a trap of this sort is absolutely nothing to never worry about. No, wait, wait. Just leave it to me. Oh, is she me? Hello, me. <laughs> Kumatora's my fave. Kumatora, everyone's fave. All of us off faster, you can say, piece of cake. Also, hey, Dan. Ha! Princess, I'm so pleased to know you're all right. Hey, my pendant! So you stole it, huh? I didn't steal it. Damn. Can't let my guard down for even a second. Here, son, geezer. Hmm. His breath kind of stinks. Your name's Duster, huh? My name's... Hmm. A strong, wise, and rather masculine girl. Why? Her name is... Ah. No, her name is Kumatora. That's the only default there is. Because it's the only one you need. Okay. Ska. Kumatora seems to be a reversal of Paula. At least in terms of personality. Paula's girlish and nice. Kumatora is tomboyish and rude. She's sassy. She's excellent. I think every character in this game has more characterization and personality than uh, the Earthbound characters. And then kind of speaking to the same thing. Also Smash Mat. Thank you for the bits. I used to play a song repeat back in like 2000s. Yeah. Look up Colin's Bear on YouTube if you haven't. It uses that song and it's amazing. Um... The, uh, Kumator is technically in Smash. She shows up during Lucas's final Smash, but it's not the same. With Boney, too. Um, and Duster? Or is it just the two of them? Whatever. Um, uh, uh, yeah, like, the fact that the playable characters never speak means that in Earthbound, you have all these interesting characters, like Jeff and Paula and Pooh, mostly Jeff and Pooh, who then join the team and then lose all their characterization, and they just become kind of static. Uh... Whereas in this game, you spend a lot more time not with the playable characters, getting to hear their thoughts, and they get a lot more characterization as a result. Duster isn't because Nintendo poo poo. I'm not talking about Persona 5. I'm not talking about every RPG ever. Um, but I think you spend a lot more time in this. I could be mistaken and just misremembering, but... Anyway, good to meet you. What are you doing? Let's go! Wherever are you headed, princess? Isn't it obvious? You guys are here for it too, ain't you? But your leg is injured. Just a little spit on it, it'll be good as new. Hey, where's that spittoon I've been using? Carrying with me. Let's move. Hey, geezer's son. Escort me, will ya? Jeez. Excuse me, princess. Mwah. 
Nice. I like that she takes the spot ahead of West, which is where she should be. Uh, word on the wind. Whoosh, whoosh. Greetings. I apologize for being so sudden, but you know the phrase, the word on the wind is? Yeah, I'm that wind. I'm where rumors come from. Rumor has it that Kumatora, the mysterious strong girl who just joined you, is able to use psychic powers, or PSI. If it's true, then you'll definitely have the upper hand in battles from now on. Well, that's all for this word on the wind. I should be going now. Bye. Whoosh. What's the holdup? Let's get going already. What are her abilities? Oh, now we have a separate me menu for PSI. She got fire and freeze just from the start. God, she's great. Um, That's it. All damn it. And all enemies women to me. Everyone gets injured in this game. Duster Kumato hurt their legs. Lucas gets his feelings hurt. Heart to hearts, which are little conversations you can have between the party members that are joining makes you feel like real people. It's something I think Bioware nailed really early on with their RPGs, giving you periods, recurring periods of the game where you're able to check in on the characters and get their thoughts on things. Fire enemies, huh? Why, I wonder what they're weak to. Lingering spirit. Go to sleep and you freeze. It woke up. Well done. PK fire. No! Ow. Pow. Oh my god, she's strong. Can you punch fire? Does that work? You sure can. And I didn't tap after that. So, good on me. PK freeze! Then we left the present. And we had some magic gelatin. Oh my god. Is that PP recovery? Sure is! This early in the game. Love it. And rope snake. You can punch fire. Just gotta be fast. Hello, my froggy friend. A flea charm. Now, who's that for? Defense plus five. What do we have right now? Defense plus two. Oh, hell yeah! Does she have anything? Oh, she has amazing stuff already. Ordinary old gloves you can find anywhere. Defense plus three, maximum PP plus five. Increases your PP. Bright red ribbon plus two, and she's an Aquarius. Good to know. Just like Duster and Flint. Wow. Let's see. Poly time restroom visit. I'm late to the stream. Yo, Jamaris, no worries. We haven't gotten super far. We've met up with Kumatora, and we're back in the castle with Wes, because we didn't grab the thing he wanted us to. You're caught up! Weak physical attack and defense, just like Paula. The backside of fire. Finally, we've seen it. Uh, punch. Freeze. And kapow. Nice. Love it. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, okay, fine. One at a time. One at a time. Douglas, it's me, Douglas. Psst, from inside the barrel. Why are you already slapping me? Uh. Come on. I need percussion. There you go. Douglas, why? Got some nut bread. Good! I should probably give her some healing items, huh? Is that a tango? A little bit. Uh, maybe another one of those. Maybe some pork chips, too. There you go. That's a good spread. Ah. When you know, but she still breads? No, I don't like that. Uh-oh. Sweet fragrance. Uh-oh. Ooh, good work. That is overkill. Wes, that's overkill. But thank you for helping. Dimetrix, I will hydrate. Thank you. Oh, now that we finally have a PSI user um, in due course. Oh, that's a magic cape. Uh, in, in due time, I can uh, bring up one of the weirdest facts I know about this game's development. Not yet, though. Why did I physical attack? 
Why did I physical attack? Freeze! No, uh, no. Okay. We're good. <laughs> I hope you're okay. I'm not liable for any injuries you sustain watching stream. Uh, get him! Oh, he's gone. Oh. Is he a rare enemy? Nope. Ha! Ah. Hello. Where's Dr. Strange? Re I saw a cape. This is fun. Music. Ow. Mario's Mystery Meat ROM hack? What is that? What's the reason for changing PK to PSI? Um. Whoa. Oh my god, this tempo speeds up. Yeah. Look on your for a game. It sounds very rare. Um, my understanding is it's always been PK in the Japanese releases, but for Earthbound, they changed it from PK to PSI. And I'm not entirely sure why. I think just because PSI is just more associated with telekinesis stuff than PK in the West. Nice. Eyes in a mouth? Might be. Brain too smooth to be sad. Smooth. <laughs> That's the goal. <clears throat> Magic gelatin. Probably should give those to... At least one of those to Kotora. Yeah. Right. And then Smash Bros. came out. Now we go PK Fire. But in Earthbound, it's PSI Fire. Which is just not... Douglas. Douglas, it's me down here. In the barrel. She's just shredding on an electric guitar. That's just like, boop doop and she's like, doo, 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 doo. it's awesome. I love it. Gant the boy, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the house. Enjoy the emotes. We have uh, four emotes for the occasion. With bar e, bar e good, uh, bar forg, and bar squeent. And maybe more if I just keep making more like I did with Earthbound. Damn it. Okay, good. Douglas, why? Mother character just made a type on doing a PSA and PSAs in front of the... Yeah. Here is my PSA about fire safety. Danger, brooms ahead. Oh, God. Where's Mickey Mouse when you need him? I don't know why I went kind of B-52s with this voice, but now I'm sticking with it. Uh, do I have any minor healing? I kind of threw all that away. Well, wait, we have an upred. There we go. Um, she needs it more. It's not a broom. It's a broom lobster. So that's what the trash can was for. We were the garbage. Well, back into the mix. Good. Oh my god. Oh. Can I run? Couldn't run. You can't run from fire. I've seen backdraft. Uh. Sure. I'm just gonna use up all my PP. I do have some gelatin. Damn it. Fire is sentient. Well, yeah, when it's a ghost. Oh, she's on fire. So that's not good. Okay. Okay, I learned my lesson. Fight. We do need the EXP. I should have put one of them to sleep. Couldn't stop crying. Thank you. And that's why he's dusted. No! How dare they make me level up and not be underleveled. It's okay. Oh, Duster, stop crying, buddy. You're okay. Nice. Does crying persist outside of battle? God, once we get a PSI user who can do some heals. Status. Okay, crying does not persist. That's good. Hey, buddy. For some reason, Kumatora started to feel feverish. Whoosh. 
Whoosh, greetings. I apologize for being so sudden, but you know the phrase, the word of the wind is, yeah, I'm that wind, and where rumors come from. It appears that one of your friends is not feeling very well. They aren't poisoned, nor are they sleepy, yet they just can't shake that ill feeling. They lack the energy to run, and using items or hot springs doesn't appear to help either. It would seem this is because something is beginning to awaken inside them. But I'm sure they'll get over it before long, so don't be too worried. Well, that's all for this word on the wind. I should be going now. Bye. Whoosh. Now I can't run. And she's feverish. Um, I'm going to see if I can find the quote. Because I'm not going to be able to explain what I know about this mechanic. I'm just going to keep walking around if I can. Um, did she get her science shot? <laughs> well, maybe I should... Well, I'll just keep walking around. It does eventually go away on its own. Um, why does his name mean rag or cloth in Japanese? Oh. Sneak up on a big bro from behind. What do you mean? Like, while we're in this state? Is that a thing? Um, God, what do I have to look up for this? Uh, 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 maybe this? No, I'm looking up something specific. Maybe this is it? Okay, I found it. Um, alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll read this. So there's an interview that Shigesato Itoi did with like a magazine or something that was translated. Oh, there we go. Kumatora's fever went away. Learned PK Thunder Alpha. Learned Life Up Alpha. And now we can run again. Yep. So... That's how you learn PSI moves in this game. In Mother 1 and 2, you just kind of... It's like, oh, you leveled up, and now you learn these new abilities. In Mother 3, they go through, like, a feverish period of time. Um, and I remember reading this interview and being like, oh, what? So I want to share it all with you so it lives in your brain for the rest of this game. Um, nice. 60 HP for 5 PP. That's a good trade. Here's more realistic. Well, let me... So, Shigesato Itoi is the, the main writer and developer. Um, so, the interviewer said, The way you learn PSI is portrayed a little differently this time. And Itoi said, It's like, um... It's like menstruation. And then the interviewer says, Question marks? And Itoi says, One of my themes is representing the physiology of the human body. It's a lot like the asthma spray, uh, which is a thing in the game, I think. Um, a character will start sweating while realizing PSI, almost like with a teething fever. <clears throat> Whenever a human being develops or learns a new ability, the body really takes a beating. I've had this experience myself. Whenever I'm feeling sluggish and exhausted, it's absolutely certain that good things will follow. When you're given an overwhelming problem you just can't deal with, the only way to cope with it is to completely mobilize your heart and your mind and make a strenuous effort to get through it. Oh, Nintendo had asthma. Yes, that's how it is. <laughs> Do you think he's ever met a woman? I mean, that's like partially... It's, like, it's like, on the one hand, I think the second part of that answer is really interesting, but then being like, you know, it's like menstruation. is like... You go through a period of, of difficulty because then it means sure... sure, Good things are sure to follow. Like... <laughs> for one dollar, name any woman. A toy sweating nervously. <laughs> I hate this. Yeah, you're welcome. So, uh, I just wanted everyone to know about that because that's something that's lived in my brain rent-free rent ever since I first played Mother 3 and then read stuff about it after the fact. Anyway, let's fight some fire demons and not think about anything. Um... Freeze. <clears throat> Character's body gets weak when they get to new powers because the powers are not natural with them. That is certainly a way to put it. Pow. A difficult period of time. Yeah, so anyway, we don't have to talk about that ever again. <laughs> Couldn't help myself from sharing. Uh... Yeah, right? There's an interesting idea there, because mechanically it serves no purpose. It just shows you, like, yeah, you can't run, and... I mean, it's the main thing, and, like, the character is sweating, and you're like, oh, maybe feel bad for them. No. Nah! Um... Get sick to learn magic. But yeah, it's the idea that, like, they're going through a process to develop this new ability. Which is interesting. Douglas. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway. 
I, okay. Now I regret bringing it up. Hey, what we got? Not bread. Thanks. Let's go. Woo. Eh. Run. There we go. Unable to run. How's it going, fellas? Oh, it's, we're just fine. Oops. Douglas, I've snuck up from behind you. Mr. Dink, no. Do you like my sweet fragrance? No, I don't. We're just mashing buttons now. More of a nuisance than anything else when you can't run. Yeah, I think it just speaks to the way Itoi thinks about video games. Because he's not the traditional developer. I think he's, he's mainly a writer, first and foremost. But... Makes sense that your brain would hurt and this your body sort of whack as you bring you ways you haven't used it before. Don't have the comparisons. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 I think it's a fascinating insight into Itoi, though, where you're like, that's an interesting idea. Don't know if that's how you should have phrased it, but like, okay. That... Sprinting bomb. Oh, God. No! I thought it paused because I was opening the present. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm trying to not use the safe states of the emulator, but I might have to. Damn you, Wes. Damn you, Wes. Here we go again. Here we go again. Wait, no, put him to sleep. And then freeze. Ah, more level ups for you. He's a rider, so he's never known. <laughs> but yeah. I hope, hopefully you understand why I wanted to look up the exact translation instead of being like, here's what he said, I think. I kind of vaguely remember it. I should link to that interview because it is fascinating. Uh, but there might be spoilers in it. Um, oh god, I already closed the tab. Um, well, it's fine. If you look up Mother 3 Etoy interview, I'm sure you can find it. I was looking up, like, Mother 3 administration. <laughs> it was like, mostly I'm just getting articles about mothers with menstruation, which is what I would have assumed Google's like. Is that, is that what you meant? Water bomb and no effect. Sorry, what? Uh, I didn't even notice that. Growing pains during puberty, baby teething. I think it's all of the above. It's just the first example he gave. The quote out of context. Oh, it's not Iwata Itoi. It's just Itoi. Okay, I'm gonna save again. Because, God... Dang it. Peak Dink voice. Oh my god. Mr. Dink's just a fun character. Okay. Okay, these goddamn brooms. Ugh. No! Douglas. I'm here for you. Peak Dink. Mm-hmm. Anyway, moving on. Nut bread. No, get out of there. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. Yeah. Crap. Hi. Uh. I'm gonna need to eat some gelatin soon. has a face. I kind of do. Kind of do. Is nut bread like cinnamon roll, but not icing? I'm assuming it's literally just like a loaf of bread with like a nutty texture and flavor, which does sound pretty good. I don't need this. Throw it on the ground. I kind of like that because there's no money, there's no reason to keep equipment that is worse. Just get rid of it. Uh, yeah, you need some nut bread. Get thee to a nut breadery. And yeah. Okay. Please, oh please, let me just... I think maybe I should just run past them. No! <laughs> Swing and a miss! It's just... <laughs> dense as nut bread. Damn it. Stop. Mr. Dink, please. I just want to get past the sweeping brooms. 
hate this mechanic so much. Wait, do they disappear every time one of them sweeps you up? I guess they do. So as long as you... You can only fail that a certain number of times. Which is a silver lining? <sighs> At least it doesn't take you to the beginning of the castle. It's just a few floors down. Alright. Thank you. No. Let me actually see how close we are to leveling, because... Eh, not especially. If we fight things, we will. I'm, oh my goodness. Yeah. Magic tart. That's probably pretty good. Also 30 PP. Oh, okay, no, that's 20. Strangely kept me. I like that PP restoring items are so rare in Earthbound, and then that you get a PSI user in this, and they're like, here's lots of ways to restore PP. They can use it more than once and be like, oh no. Ugh. Thank you, Jash. Thanks for stopping by. Be well. Some equipment aren't straight linear upgrades. Yeah, some of them, what we've already seen, are like plus attack lowered speed. Let's just go in here. Oh, here we are. This looks good. Magic Tart was my stage name. Streamer said PP. <laughs> this is where I hit it. Egg Duster? It has wings too, just like Barwevo. This is the certain important item I had instructed you to bring back. It seems to be known as the Egg of Light, or the Hummingbird Egg. To the truth be told, not even I know anything about this egg. The Hummingbird Egg is a ball of secrets inside secrets that are inside even more secrets. Or something like that. Supposedly, apparently. I don't know. Wasn't really paying attention. That's kind of my arc. And now that ball of secrets is needed. If this wound up in the wrong hands, the lid on the secrets would come undone and... Bad things would happen. Just what sort of hope or calamity is hidden away in this egg? Not even I know. Maybe someone told me and I forgot. Who knows? In any case, this hummingbird egg is our secret. But doesn't it seem kind of ridiculous that the egg of a tiny little hummingbird holds all of the world's secrets? Don't eat it. Don't eat the egg. Chat, no. <clears throat> Indeed, it is quite ridiculous, but what's most ridiculous of all is this moron standing right here. Duster, this egg gives off such a thick scent of secrets that's so concentrated, it almost reminds me of condensed milk. Yet you couldn't even catch a single whiff of it. That's how much of a moron you are. You're a failure as a thief. Okay, Dad. If that's how you feel. You shouldn't keep calling your own kid a moron like that. Because if he really is a moron, he won't understand anyways. Thank you? Anyways, we can't let the bad guys get their hands on this egg. Speak of the devil. Who goes there? Uh-oh. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Stop calling him a moron. Yeah! Because he's if he's actually a moron, it's not going to do any good. Yeah? Gee, geezer, duster, let's get out of here. It's you again. Mr. Pig, why are you so mean in this game? Princess, please wait. I know it appears to be sitting there nonchalantly, but I placed traps around the egg. Hmm? Huh? Traps, huh? <laughs> I like how they all enter a panic sprite. Princess! My bad. Just and they fall. Mmm. Are those part of your trap system? Wes, the mountains of skulls. Princess! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm just fine, but huh? Whatever's the matter. If you're worried about that moron, don't be. He's been trained for just this sort of thing. No, it's not Duster. The egg is gone. Come again? Uh. <laughs> and now to leave this up on stream long enough that it becomes the thumbnail on Twitch. And we're gone. And put it away. Never think of it again. <laughs> Hate that. Hate that. 
Come again? That moron isn't gone, but the egg is? Nah. <sighs> Whoa. Oh, the egg. Oh, and duster. Yes, all right. Well done. I've called you a moron 11 times so far, but I take it all back now. You're no longer a moron. Hooray! Uh-oh. It's Onyx. Or, um... What's the, the caterpillar thing from every Zelda game? Moldorm? I don't know if I'd say hooray just yet. Upgrade from moron to doof. Oh, so snake. Caterpie, that's the one. Uh, go to sleep. And... Thunder? I don't know. I missed Boney. Didn't work. Cool. Both was actually 12 or 13 times because he still thinks he's more he doesn't realize. <laughs> Maybe. Didn't hit anyone. So good. Pretty good. Coiled. Oh, good dodge. Wes is worried about Kumatora's safety. Thanks, Wes. Not your own son. Let's just hit it with fire. Nice. 16. That's huge. That's 16. Is That one is not huge. Ow! Thunder! Good. Um... Tickle stick. You should eat something. Eh, you're probably fine. Uh, freeze! Sweet. This guy's got pretty high defense, huh? Okay, now it's time for you to heal. Uh... Why don't you... Yeah, just eat, eat, a, eat a jerky. No, eat a... How much is her max HP? Well, we'll figure it out. Oops. Ooh. Here we go. Um. Uh, maybe we'll make it cry. Now you need to eat a gelatin. Didn't work. Snakes don't have tear ducts, huh? Okay. Uh, freeze. Don't slap. How can they slap? Damn. They actually do, but you know. Okay. Well, I recommend smoke bomb. Try it again. Uh, smoke bomb. Didn't work. It has a chance to work. It dove into the water and crowds the giant wave. Yeah. Oh, look at that sprite. He's so sneaky. Um, we should heal, actually. Uh, yogurt. Yogurt sounds good. How about life up? He can't cry anymore. <laughs> Don't make me feel bad for the snake. Thanks, Wes. Making lots of... <laughs> nice. It splashed down and made a giant wave, and now it's going blah, 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 blah in the water. I don't know if he's a threat. Um, here, have a, have a gelatin. And you can do whatever. Okay, well, maybe you attack. And you eat a gelatin. You don't have any more gelatin. Uh, I really thought this through well. I know I have a tart, but I'm trying to hold on to that if I can. It's just, it's just a guard. It's fine. It emerged from the water. Hello there. Okay. Smoke bomb. And freeze. No, freeze. Come on. There you go. Now he's crying. Ah, it's afraid. Uh oh. No. Thank you, Wes. Damn it. It's making lots of bubbles. <laughs> Still good. Still better. He threw a sock. It solidified. Sweet. My socks did something.
There we go. Some good damage on him. Hey, we got him. I'm not using a keyboard. I'm using the Switch controller. Which is excellent for this kind of a game. Or any kind of a game. I love this controller. It's actually the first time I've used it on my PC. And it's working excellently. I did... The first time I played this, I did play it on a keyboard, though. And, uh... I don't know. It works pretty well. What's it about, Smash Matt? Also, you can always ask a mod. If you need a permit. Duster Company earned 568 experience points. Did it's work right? With this, uh, with MGBA, it was almost plug and play. Like, I just had to map the, the controller buttons. But it was seamless. And it works with the analog stick, too, which I didn't expect. I got a Switch port in Mother 3. <laughs> Everett official Twitter asking fans about merchandise. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Uh, now what? Oh, uh, the Switch controller works natively in Steam now, I think. As well as a couple other PC things. Uh-oh. This is fine. Okay. Way! Um, well, I have it plugged in. With cable. Might not be able to see that. But, um... Yeah, if you have a Bluetooth adapter, I think you can do it wirelessly. But I'm just using it as a wired controller. And it's excellent. There's essentially no lag, because I'm able to do the rhythm part of this. It's fine. I should have more mods right there. Can I mod you twice? You two swords. Well, guess they're dead. But I don't see a Drago's tooth. Maybe they're still alive. Oh. Retroarch can keep my saves in the cloud. Retroarch has cloud saves? My phone or computer without a sandwich is Damn. Yeah, you got it, dear. <laughs> Time to clone the mods. Smash Matt, you don't have to cheer bits with that. See what merchandise they want to see. Just use Dropbox. Oh, so it was automatically syncing to Dropbox. It's not a feature native to RetroArch. That's still clever, though. What sort of merch do you want? We already got some here. Comment if it's something else. T-shirt designs, plushie, stickers, pins, other. Nice. Hell yeah. Everhood was a great time. Uh, John Olson, thanks for the bits. It's okay. I can't cry either, Snick. Feel bad for that snack. He's fine. Nat levels of curse. That's not something to aspire to. No. Oh! You're awake, geezer. Rude. Where are we? My house? You and this especially tough girl got washed down the river. Good thing my dad was there. Because I would have pretended not to see you if it had just been me. Ah, your father raised you well, Fuel. I see. Snake's wife was a snake in Sekiro. More connections to the From Software. Uh, I see. Thank you, Phil. Did you find that moron with us, too? Hmm, you mean Duster? It was just you two. You know, for a couple, you sure do have a big age difference. Not judging, just saying. That moron, I mean Duster, taking his damn merry time. He's in big trouble once I find him. Wes, you need to calm down. You were both unconscious. You should get a little more rest. Don't be dumb. Let's go look for him right now. Thank you, Kumatora. Finally, get to just play as Kumatora. Now it's a real video game. Why wasn't this localized? Many potential reasons, no official reasons. Wes, you dirty old man. Hey, mister. Are you a friend of Duster's? Mm, no. Huh? You're a girl? Yeah, come to think of it, you are really pretty. Thank you. Hello? Are you an acquaintance of Wes's? No. I bet you're pretty popular with the girls, huh, mister? Hold on, Allie. I think that's a miss, not a mister. It's fine. Should check down river, huh? For some reason, Kumatora started to feel feverish. Well, now we can just go for a nice stroll. Oh, so we can't really go down river. An age gap joke is not a reason to not localize the game. No. No, that's pretty mild. It's not a big deal. Hey, Hillian. How you doing? Uh, where could Duster be? Hmm. Maybe we should go into town and ask around. <laughs> yeah, dear. That's the takeaway. Ah! Less traditionally feminine in order to compensate being a bad thing? No. Some people comment on it, but it's not like... 
Oh, like even with the Majipsies, like I, I, I don't remember everything in this game, but it's like they, 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 there's a way that it could have been done that I'd be like, oh, ugh, you, ugh. and like I'm not the fucking arbiter of how to portray uh, 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 underrepresented, un underrepresented uh, peoples. But I'm just like, I, I think that this game does some stuff not great, but does some things where you're like, okay. I've never really like seen that kind of stuff in a movie. Yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Barbiter. It's like, it's not perfect. Um, but I think there's stuff in this game that is just sort of presented as is. It's just like, this is just who these people are. And maybe there's people in the game who are like, I don't know what's up with them. They seem weird. But they talk to them and they're just, they're chill. They're hanging out, doing their own thing. So, I don't know. Again, there might be stuff later on where I'm like, uh-oh. So, it's fine. Old Man Wes, where's Duster, that scum bucket? Wow, they just said scum bucket. Add that to the list of reasons why this game won't get localized. He's the only one I told about the money I hid in the well. And now it's gone! Which means Duster stole it. That was my money. We've already asked a thousand times, so where'd you get it in the first place? And besides, what is Moni, anyway? This sounds all too fishy, if you ask me. Hmm. Hey! There's Moni. Also Flint. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I like how he's introduced to the idea of money. He doesn't know what it's for. No one would accept it. But it goes missing, he's like, Who stole my money? He's like Bilbo in Fellowship. When he's like, can I touch the ring? It's like, dude, just chill. Uh, <laughs> Asmily introduced the cryptocurrency. Look, Wes and Duster are both thieves, but they never did anything before because we never had anything to steal in our village. But we all know they'd steal good stuff like Moni if they ever saw it. Scary Bilbo. All right, shut your hole and listen, punk. <laughs> He's afraid of her. Who are you? A friend of the thieves? No violence, no violence. Oh man, Wes. Let's just get all, let's just all of us calm down. Kicking up a fuss won't help us figure out anything, especially with Duster gone. The villagers and I believe you. So for now, let's just wait for Duster to come back. Duster, you moron. You better come back soon. Flint doesn't believe in violence. The mysterious group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures in an almost toy-like fashion has finally commenced its plan to alter the town, the lives, and even the hearts of the people, Kingdom Hearts. It seems as if a grand scheme of some sort is hidden behind the actions of the suspicious peddler who has recently arrived. The one with the monkey, remember? However, not everyone is content to sit quietly by as the enemy continues its odious attacks from every angle. Odie, Garfield, Flint, whose family bonds were torn to shreds, Wes, and his son Duster, the thieves of justice, Princess Kumatora, the mysterious girl who suddenly appeared. Destiny is bringing th together those who would use their power for good. And what has become of Lucas the Whale? Quiet, baby. Going quiet a little bit more, Lucas? Huh? Are those tears in your eyes? Oh, I didn't notice. Oh. Oh, baby Lucas having a cruel baby cry. Thanks. Thanks, narrator. Hop. I'm a frog. Should I record everything? Yeah, so I met some uh, people. The uh, frog. Uh, wait, no. The pigs in the castle. They had tanks, but I don't know what that is because I've never seen one before. Uh, we learned about money and then it was missing. And um, that's it. That's the, 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 those chapter two. The desert. Seems fine. This seems important. Hmm. Oh, it's just a monkey. No! <gasps> no! 
Chapter 3, The Suspicious Peddler. Featuring many crimes against the monkeys. <laughs> All right, monkey, listen up. If you don't do your job, then this girly monkey's as good as dead. Do what you're supposed to, and you'll get to have a nice, happy reunion later. Understand? Definitely no animal abuse here. It's pixel art, so it's, it's okay. I can stand capitalism, but I draw the line at monkeys. <laughs> Facade's name is Yokuba in the Japanese version. Understand? Both you and this girly monkey could wind up dead if you're not careful. Ah, as if things weren't bad enough, he has an electric shock collar on the monkey. Well, how do you like it? That lovely thing around your neck is no ordinary collar. It's so advanced that even if you ran to the ends of the desert, punishing you would still be a snap. Come to think of it, monkey, you don't have a name, do you? You're gonna need one from here on out. Hope you can come up with something cute. <laughs> a monkey who will endure anything for his girlfriend. It's salsa. Or maybe... Samba... De... Amigo. Samba Deya. Salsa. Guac. Name him, uh, Tortilla Chip. Salsa's a good name. Who lets you name yourself? So sausage. Pico. Ness? <laughs> name him Ness? No, Salsa. His name is Salsa. He would do anything. For his girlfriend. Alright, stupid monkey salsa. I'll only say this once, so listen close. If you want to enjoy your little journey with me, just remember these two things. You and I are buddies. Don't you dare try to run away from me. Always behave and act nice and friendly. Got that? It's two things. Yep. Bony two. No. Bubble monkey. Yeah, bubble monkey two. Good boy. The second thing to remember, never disobey my commands. If I say dance, you dance. If I say laugh, you laugh. It's that simple. Got it? Yes. You be act because we go back to being monkey. Do what I say and we'll both get through this without any hard feelings. <laughs> oh, what's that defiant look in your eyes? Dance. Who told you to do a backflip? I didn't know what the button for dance was. I pressed up. Dance! Oh, he's saying left. What's down? Well, that's pretty good. Who told you to laugh? We could have named them Bubbles. It's true. Uh, can it kill in ball bucks? Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Hello. What? I just want to see what the other animations are. Ooh, he's got a dance. Not that dance. <laughs> you told me to dance. Oh! Welcome, we're playing Mother 3 and everything's fine. I'm gonna dance. Ooh, ooh, ooh he's got good moves. <laughs> That's such a silly monkey dance. They're just watching, it's embarrassing. Try a different dance. Over that away. Okay. Nice. Good boy, laugh. Down. Backflip. Yep. Good boy, good job. No doubt everyone will believe we're a performance duo now. No, my girlfriend? Maybe the girlfriend's name is Guac. No. Don't hurt her, you monsters! Oh my god. As if they weren't mean enough. It's just overkill now. Her name is Hot Chip. She's Tortilla. Enter the Konami Kuts, the monkey rips the shock collar, controls him, eats him in his face. <laughs> mm. Hey, you stupid monkey. You only get to cry when I tell you to. No crying on your own, it's punishment time. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for that. <clears throat> hey you, quit sleeping on the job. Just quit being electrocuted, I didn't tell you to be electrocuted. Listen, there's a white round building west of here. We're going there.
slightly upsetting version of the party theme. He wound up being taken with facade. Hmm. There's nothing here. Well, there is more than enough sand, but that's about it. Hey! I saw everything. Be strong. Endure it. I'm sure things will start to go your way someday. To help that day come, will you save your game now? Yeah. Thank you, Frog. Chapter 3. Become a monkey. Be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. At least the frogs are on my side. Salsa, count how much sand is there. <laughs> oh god, he's gonna be counting forever. This is clearly worse than chapter one. You know what? I forgot how much... <laughs> how much monkey trouble there is. What's that? Cold, clean water here. Drink some? Yeah. Salsa felt much better. Oh, good. What are his things? Um... He doesn't have anything. No, nope, no. Nope. It's got nothing. Still keep that stuff though. Apologize to an enemy to stop it in its tracks. Various tricks to stop an enemy somewhat. Various things for different results. Counter with its own attack. Hmm. There is one whole sand broken up into many pieces. Yo! Yeah. A dung beetle? Uh, I'm sorry. Its healings got through to the dung beetle. It's hesitant. And Facade killed the dung beetle. That's the saddest battle I've ever witnessed in a video game. We apologized to it and then our master killed it. Well. Is that another dung beetle? I am one some dung. I don't have any dung to roll, so I'm not a true dung beetle. I'm so sad. If you ever happen to come across some dung, please bring it to me. I'll always be here, so please bring me some. I'll keep you in my thoughts, dung beetle. Beef jerky. What's that? Dung beetle smack. Just like Earthbound. Whoa! <gasps> Look at him! Look at him! <gasps> Sand lizard. Uh, I'm sorry? Again? My feelings didn't get through to the sand lizard. Ow. Flat friend. We leveled up. Bum bum. Bum ba da dum bum bum. Nut bread from the desert. Oh. Uh, I'm supposed to go west, so south's probably not where we want to go. Right? Whoa! What is this about? What's your deal? Sara Sara Sahara. Uh, I'm sorry? Its jaw is clattering. No, it doesn't understand me. Um, monkey mimic. Yeah. Pow. Nice. Is that a Muppet? Not anymore. I love up a lot, though. That's good. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Oh, don't like that. Beef jerky. Uh, we need healing, don't we? 20 healing. Ish. Uh, I don't want to get too low. Also, I'm not even sure that's an enemy. No, you. Wait, is there stuff over to the right? Sure is. Oh, God. Oh. Run, little monkey, run! I like his walk cycle. Especially the diagonals. Yeah. Good. Should monkeys eat meat? Uh, probably? I don't know. It's not one of those conflicting things this game has, which a toy commented on. Facade is clearly horrible the way he abused his halsa. salsa. Yet he's an incredibly useful ally. Without him, salsa would have a really hard time against these enemies since he's so weak. You're absolutely not wrong. And I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like feeling this. Um, uh, we're gonna dance. A dummy beam. Felt a little strange. A tiny little dance. Offense increased by one. Oh, good. Uh, Punishizer. Salsa felt normal again. We took one damage, but now we're back to normal. Good. Pat. Yeah. I am nervous about how low we are. Uh, 
Maybe we should just attack like normal. Oh god. Well, I don't know what that was. Okay. This is bad. Good. Uh oh. That's fine. Thank you. Mm. Here we go. Oof. I wouldn't need the battle for it for him. That's true. If it weren't... Uh, bleh, 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 hair in my mouth. Uh, if it weren't for him, we wouldn't even be here. We'd be hanging out with our girlfriend. Guacamole somewhere. And it'd be nice. How do I get up there? I don't know. I'm almost dead. Um... Damn, just insects. Well... Ah, uh, fuck. Let's just try to not get into any more fights. That's easy. What, do you expect cow bones to talk or something? Says the talking bones. What do you expect from me? In life, this cow was famous for having such a quiet side. I'm a pile of real cow bones. Real cow bones don't talk without good reason. I'm a pile of real cow bones. Good. Well, I'm glad you have a good reason. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I guess this is where I want to go. I'm missing whatever that treasure was back there. Uh, Salsa's name is a pun in Japanese. What is it? Oh, help him! Oh, what a world! Frogs in a desert? It's actually not as crazy as you might think. Please help me stop reading the sign! Some species of frogs, such as sand frogs, do exist in arid desert regions like Africa. I don't even know where that is! During seasons with little to no precipitation, these frogs burrow into the ground to protect themselves from the harsh, dry climate. We're all the nowhere islands! I don't know where that is! So dizzy! Help me, Ribbit! Great! Antlion blocked the way. Oh, no. Oh, God. Monkey tricks. Um... Let's dance. Do a little dance. <gasps> Defense increased by one. That might keep us alive. Ah! Ah! Beef jerky, beef jerky. Oh God. Oh, it's so strong. Uh, running bug, no bug spray. It's a bug. Oh, there it goes. I saved the frog. Good ending obtained. We got a flea charm. Oh my god, that's huge. Salsa Sarusa. Saru means monkey in Japanese. Nice. All that spinning and dizziness actually started to feel kind of nice after a while. Thanks for saving me when I needed help. Anyways, while we're at it, save your game. Don't mind if I do. Make laugh and stop him from attacking. Give my regards to the next frog. Uh, uh flea charm. Put that on. Nice. Oh, that's huge. Oh, it was worth the going back for. Ah, hello. No. Uh, let's make it laugh. You're welcome. It's cheering for us now. Yay! That's so adorable. Facade, you monster. Now I'm gonna make you laugh. Oh, no one was immune. I guess you can't do two backflips in a row. That's fair. Stop, what are you doing? I'm gonna dance. It's speed decreased by two. Oh no. It lost interest. Oh, I can backflip again. I promise. Uh. Monkey mimic? Pow. Facade is hiding from a lizard? Uh, please don't hit hard. Okay. Woo! Stop shocking Salsa. He doesn't deserve this. He's a good monkey. He's so precious. Oh, God. Uh, over here. Yeah. Worth it. Oh, that's a luxury banana. Hey, you stupid monkey. If you think you've earned that luxury banana, then you better think again. Give me that.
You gave up the luxury banana. This is so cruel. This is important, TM. <laughs> Remember for later, Facade stole our banana. Pretty sure I know what Dan is referring to as well. Uh, wait over this way, right? Bum 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 bum. Oh, uh, maybe we don't. Aquarius. Yes. This monkey's also an Aquarius. It's good. Salsa will remember that. Yeah, that's that's what needs to pop up. Oh, do I have anything that heals just a little bit? Just like a little, small. Okay, I do. Perfect. Don't have any more healing. So, you know, this might be bad. Can I get dung from the other dung beetles? I don't know. Hmm. Telltale Games does exist. It kind of. Listen, monkey, that's a cactus wolf, the meanest thing in the desert. But we can't get inside with him standing there. Go beat him up. Lose, and I'll have an extra serving of punishment ready just for you. Mm, okay. Oh. Cactus wolf. Uh... Let's make him laugh. It didn't work. It did a cactus headbutt. Uh-oh. Oh! Uh... Dance? Dance. Oh god. Oh, we're gonna die. We're very fast now. Bombs! A low growl. And another one, please. Please die. Oh god, we're dead. No, stop gazing long. Lude, lude, don't. Um. Oh god. Oh god, we don't have any healing. Uh, I guess we just attack? Uh. Yay, 16 damage. <gasps> We're still alive. Um, Dance. Oh, our defense is up. That's good. Facade's our only hope now. <laughs> Just, I'm sorry? If my feelings aren't going to get through to this guy, are they? Yeah, that's it. I need more heal. Oh, sad monkey sprite. Oh, no. This fight is basically let Facade do the work. I just need more healing. Get back up. Do it for guacamole. Oh, he's so good. Oh, he's so good. Oh. All right. All right. We got to fight some dudes and get some items. Um. Hmm. Did I explore all the way over here? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, got some dung. Got some extra dung, you know, for later. Is her name actually Guacamole? I actually don't remember if she has a name. Just feels right. Show me the back side of a dung beetle. Oh, it's kind of the front side of a dung beetle, isn't it? Uh. No, 15. Slap it. Good. Mr. Bean intro? Oh. Some dung. We have a lot of poop now. Which is just for dung beetles, so. Run! Woohoo! Let's go back to that friend. Maybe it's for the best that we died. Uh oh. Regret! Oh, massive regret. Uh. Dance. It turned around. Oh, thank you. And now, uh, dance again? It was lured into dancing. It's lost in the dance. Thank you, facade. Oh my god. I was scared. Woo, we're okay. Um, no. Hi. I made a bug dance. I did. So we should just keep dancing. Yeah. I can't get the timing down for this. Okay, well, that'll get it. Thank 
Hulk's facade, I guess. Okay, cool. HP up, bunch of stuff up. Like it. As long as we can walk into that battle with several healing items, I think we'll be able to survive. Uh. I want to roll dung. Now I'm upset and confused. Wait, you brought me some dung? And you're giving it to me for free. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's roll. Let's roll the ends of the desert. Yeah. You're welcome. Having a soul's party gained five experience points. Does Facade have experience? No, he doesn't have any stats. Okay. Oh. Oh, I can just keep giving him dung. Oh. I see. Well, here's one more. There you go. Yeah, the oasis heals us. Um, might as well have a sip. It smells kind of dung-like. Drink some? Maybe we don't drink the dung water. Let's go over here. Oh, all of it's dung. Oh. This also felt better. He loves the taste of poo. That's just special, special salsa fact. Rated juice, I got nothing for 17. Well, I have a uh, thank you for 17 months. Thank you. Appreciate it. Strong monkey. Okay, he's gone. Drink the poop water. Enjoy it while you can. Um, We don't have anything. No one's giving us anything. Come on. Drop some jerky and stuff. It's done like because I was handling the poop and I'm drinking with my hands. High in fiber. Oh, we got more dung. God, just don't give me dung. If we don't get any... I guess these, these guys might only drop dung. Now that I think about it. Oh my god. Strong monkey. Uh, yeah, maybe we shouldn't grind <laughs> the dung beetles. Okay. There you go. Collar, dysentery, and other bad things. You don't drink poop water. Didn't do that. Jovial, Jovian, thank you for being you. Then. Hey, Grey Juice, congrats. Just got a text from a friend this morning who got their, their first shot. It's very exciting. Finally tried rolling that dung you gave me, but I was so nervous I accidentally dropped it in the oasis. Then you get me some more. So the more dung we give him, the more poopy it is. Hmm. Uh, it wasn't. Did he, did he get a shot? Did not hear. Lizard! Fight me! Little dance. Yes. Yes. Oh, nice. I, uh... Hope to get mine eventually. As I keep saying, I'm... Yeah, it's nut bread. Sweet. Okay, we gotta fight lizards. I have been patient this far. And I'm gonna keep being patient. But I'm hoping that I can get mine... Eventually. I just don't want to cut in line. That's my whole thing. People need it more than I do. Uh, dance! We're strong! It's staring. Good. Goodbye. Uh, no plans, Shraf to puss. Not opposed to it at all. Characters to my heroes, aren't you technically one too? Not to my knowledge. Also, Bath already got their shots. So... Even if that was... I don't know. Again, it's like, I don't, I don't want to abuse a loophole to get mine, like, a week or two early. That just feels wrong to me. Um, I've been inside 90% of the time for the past year. I could do it a little bit longer. I'm getting a little stir crazy, but I'm okay. I got lots of video games. I'm fine. If you're on someone high risk. Eh. I'm too easy going. Well, I don't know. It, it's, I think, I think this past year has shown how awful and selfish a lot of people can be. And it's just made me want to double down on doing what I can in my little corner of the world to not be a piece of shit. So, doing what I can. Not that anyone who's gotten it so far is a piece of shit, but I'm sure you all have heard a lot of the same stories I have of like, people who have no business getting it, getting it in like January, when like healthcare workers were still struggling to get it. So, 
Yeah, yeah, dear. I'm talking specifically about you. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> Don't cry. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You can use the dung. You can use it? Let me try. County's running low. My unemployed butt will stay waiting. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 I really have it better than a lot of people right now. I'm able to work from home. And I have my health. And I'm just a little bit, you know, cooped up. Oh, these are random. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, Guttural 10. That's exactly what I meant. Thank you. Um, let's just pick up one and see if we can use it. Eat it. Can you eat it? Salsa's hands are sticky now. I... Yeah, okay, that... What a good little monkey. He did it. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> good. And now he's doing a tiny little poopy sticky dance. Pow. Good. Thanks. Alright, we've got a number of nut bread. How close am I to a level? Actually. 81? We can probably get that pretty quick. Let's fight these these dudes. Oh my god, like 20 XP from each of them? Oops. Didn't mean to attack. Well, okay, fine. I won. 10 experience points. But we're getting healing items. Hello. Haha. -ha. Anti-vaccine people can suck my ass, but yeah, I mean if you are legitimately have a reason you can't be vaccinated That's different, but if you're opposed to it for bullshit reasons that aren't founded in anything Then no uh, I can only get like two or three of those Bum 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 Rum bum bum You got your shot what the fuck? Why are you better than me? What? Why are we? Huh? They have a quick call list for when they have extra dose to be able to show for their appointment. A few of us library able to get ours that way. I haven't seen anything official. Just that there's a number of unofficial um, services that people have set up with individual pharmacists and stuff, where they reach out if you are uh, if they have extra doses at the end of the day because they got to use them. That's the only instance where I feel like I'd want to jump in line. Effectively, where it's like, it's literally got to go in an arm or it's going in the garbage. In which case, might as well. Um, I have no qualms about someone getting it early under those pretenses. It's just when people are, like, lying or slightly half-truth about their situation. Whatever. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's let's fight a cactus wolf. Okay. Someone just doesn't show up to their point. Mm -hmm. Uh, dance. I want to get my defense up, ideally. Oh, it missed! Defense up, please. Or it's defense down. It's dancing now. Good. Just keep dancing. It's like when you have to pray in Earthbound, but instead of praying, it's dance. Yes! There we go. Cool. That feels good. Yeah, I can withstand a few of those. A little dance. Oh, now we're fast! 30 speed! Just keep dancing, little monkey, go! Ow! It hid in my shadow? But he's a tiny monkey! Even the shadow is small and cute! Uh, eat some bread. Mmm, tasty bread. Facade, please. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Just, just dance, just dance. Didn't work. Can I dance on him anymore? Dance! Yes! Dance with me! Getting more nut bread, come on. Uh, I guess we can try to attack it. I'm doing like no damage to it. Uh, monkey mimic? Oh, God, we did it. Nut flour makes poor bread, so I haven't tasted them myself. Yeah, I don't know. I think I've had enough bread. I don't remember. Woo! What are we experience points? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 
There was some beef jerky. There it goes. Oh, look, there's a Dreamcast in there. Nut bread is just a baby. Bun in the oven. J Stop. A permit for Fog and Wimdy friends. RJ, yeah. what I do? Nothing, Mr. Mimic. You're being excellent. Get in there, you! No! Mm-hmm. Seems fine. No problem here. May I leave? Oh, I actually can. I didn't... I thought there might be dialogue. Okay, well. Now we just get to watch this again. Just get to admire the good pixel art. It is quite good. It's so heckin' windy. Show me how windy it is. Eye bleach. Yeah. <laughs> Need this. So if you want to grind. EA, yeah, you can go back. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's windy. Oh my god. Those aren't even dogs anymore. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Uh, bug spray. Oh god. There's more fighting? How's my health? I need 30 HP. Good thing I got some nut bread. Not prepared for the amount of wind. I snuck up on a bug. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna dance. Yeah, there you go. His offense decreased by zero. You're welcome. Has, uh, very good been submitted to pup time? No, but also it's probably just temporary. Um, ooh, a map. Underground map. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, this just keeps going. Okay. Well. Yeah. Oh. Hey, stupid monkey, look here. I think I had to press left. Was I too slow? I didn't know that I had to... This is a high-level, high-tech vehicle known as a pork bean. We're gonna take it to an unbelievably uncivilized village called Tasmali. It'd take an incredibly long time to get there on foot, but with this pork bean, we'll get there in the blink of a hand. You get all that? Mm, I think if I say no, he'll shock me. Yes. Use that ladder to get down there. Yeah, okay, give me a sec. Ancient banana. <gasps> We're actually able to keep it. This is an instant revitalizing machine. Only a few seconds will fully revitalize you just like good at sleep. I did just waste the nut bread then. Under normal circumstances, it'd be wasted on a stupid monkey like you, but I'll give you special permission to use it for now. Thank you, facade. Get in there. Yeah, this is the second time we've seen one of these in the game thus far, but they do pop up in Earthbound. They're made by Dr. Andonuts, Jeff's dad, in Earthbound. Save your game. Yep. But you still feel hungry. Stop. Be careful out there. Uh, what am I looking at? Uh, this. Right. So he's not eating those ancient bananas. He just wants the good, good shit. No problem here. Let me pass. Hey, don't get in yet, you stupid monkey. All right, listen up. You deduced the villain? Oh, good. When you want to stop the pork bean while it's moving, press the B button. While it's stopped, press the B button again to get out. Okay. You got all that? Then get in. Okay. Let's get in the pork bean. Oh, God, it's fast. Uh... Hmm. I like how the monkey's the one driving this. Oh god. Oh, help. Oh, there's things to fight, I guess, if we want. Pow. We don't need to fight him, though. We're fine. Look, it's Elon Musk's Hyperloop. Hmm. Pow. Wait. Pow. It's a speedy bean. It is. It's good bean. Oh, God. Lots of these. 
And another Frog. Don't think we need to save with him, though. But I am curious what he might have to say about these. This is one of the pig's vehicles. Probably best to not touch it. Yep. That's true. God, I got to watch the Earthbound playthrough because this game is a treat and a wild ride. Sure is. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. What's this? Chick bandana. Nut bread. Yes. What a good looking friendly little monkey man. Oh. Doesn't look like he can get through this chain link shutter. But there's a lot of stuff in there. Well, sure that's not to worry about. None of our concern. Don't touch my car. No! It's our car now, Mr. Pig. Yeah, pow, pow. Oh. They look fun. Bug spray. Please refrain from throwing running bombs while indoors. It makes things all smoky. Can't stop me. All right, well. Uh, pardon me. Running bomb. Mm, how about I use this anyway? Oh, gooey goo. Go gooey goo. Uh, running bomb? Gooey goo. Uh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh. Uh, let's just dance. It's what we're best at. Yeah. That was a good dance. Oh, God. Don't mitosis. Please don't. Okay, it failed. Or is that meiosis? I don't remember. It's been 85 years since I was took biology. Oh, it's dead. You use those to make nut bread. No. Hey, we're level 10. Good. A mosquito charm. Hmm. Meiosis is for sex cells. Oh. So it might have been meiosis? They look kind of pettable. A good fidget slime. Um. That's better. That is better. It's called osmosis. Oh, osmosis Jones. Thought they looked familiar. Don't need this anymore. Throw it on the ground. Well, that's bizarre. Didn't this say that this was like a newer model or something? To the south of the cemetery's village, the, the gravestone, when I inspected it. I killed Osmosis Jones. No. No, Osmosis Jones killed Osmosis Jones. There's a place there called the Yaddo Inn, where we can stay the night. That's where we're headed now. No problem here. I don't want to open it again. Just want to see what it said. Yeah. yeah okay, that's what I thought might happen. Hey, Hellscorp, how you doing? The type of grave it was. I forgot that this is where you come out during this part, but it's fun. Oh god, no! Don't want to fight any y'alls. So you see it says before the pig man rolled their tanks through here. So the, the narrative threads are intersecting. Why, hello there. What do you think of the wonderful bag I gave you? Is it to your liking? Oh, it's you, Mr. Facade. Don't scare me like that. That's Grave 2015. Everyone else got 97. Actually, I was just counting to see how much is in here. <laughs> just please be extra careful that it doesn't get swiped by any thieves. Waha. Oh, Not sure why, but this stuff is incredible. Just having lots of it can get you anything you want. Hmm? Let us say... He has a good H mount. I like it a lot. The monkey also has a little bit of an H mount. Well, pardon me. Pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey, we should be off. Help me, Duster. Change the timelines. Help. He's got to go to the castle. 
Decide to introduce Bitcoin to Tasmanian Village. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money. There's money inside. Ever heard of money? You don't know what money is. Actually, I'm not really sure that either. After all, I never heard of that in Tasmanian. Apparently, it's an air of money's about to start. What's an air of money? Huh? Oh, he gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. He took a real liking to my pigs. He asked me in tears if I trade them for this. This seemed pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Yes. Anyways, give it to me. She's mine, right? I don't want any other people taking with anything that happens well here. Those are the secrets just between you and me. Good. And then we immediately steal it. No. <laughs> Obtained 50,000 DP of money. But you put it back. No. Saul says a good monkey. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Smash Man. But just kind of justified being angry that his money was taken if he traded his pigs for it. You're not wrong. You're not wrong there. Thank you for the bits. This is Tasmili Village. Everyone's nice. Hmm? This village was much more carefree until just recently. Hmm. What happened? Oh, we call it chapter one. Don't worry about it. How much is the lodging fee, my good man? Oh, uh, fee? There is no how much here. Please feel free to stay the night. Oh, I see. Still. It's hardly a cumbersome thing to have. Oh, I guess it's okay then. I'll kindly accept your offer. I suppose it could make a good doorstop. Your room is the one in the middle. Please make yourself at home and have pleasant dreams. Thank you very much. Come, little salsa. Where's your thank you? Help me. Eee, how cute. Well, then, if you'll excuse us. Come, little salsa. Let's go to our room, shall we? See, now I wonder if you do the wrong thing if he electrocutes you in front of everyone. Shocks you. I think technically the definition of electrocute is, is being shocked to death. I could be wrong. Like I am with so many things. Monkey's first day in communism. Oh, good evening. It is, thank you. People comment on him abusing you. Oof. They're gonna work hard for me starting tomorrow. Now go to sleep. You know, Facade's a terrible person, but somehow the fact that he sleeps like that in the bed just upsets me even more. Hey, Chester. Hope you're feeling a bit better. All right, time to do some nighttime crimes. Curious George learns what indentured servitude is. I never trusted that man in the yellow hat. No dream sequence. <laughs> He's just running in fields with his girlfriend. Can't make me even sadder. Hmm. You've arrived at Asohe Castle? Good. Wait until dawn, then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. Like Amori? Oh. Welcome to White Space. What? You saw someone else hanging around the castle? That's it? You only saw him? Then leave him be! He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. I mean... Oh, so full of delicious tea that he just wandered off like you do when you're full of tea. There's no alcohol references in this video game. He walks with a limp. I think I might have seen him myself. He's got brown hair, gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, kind of looks like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. Yeah, okay, I leave it in your hands. Stay alert! Sleepwalker. Hmm. -mm. Good. Did you think you could run away from me? That's why you're such a stupid monkey. He drank too much coffee and can't sleep. Thank you, Raining Mountains. Don't make me say it anymore. Go back to the room and sleep. Salsa, don't bother me anymore. What's with that look? Laugh. 
But you know, if you were going to run away, I'm sure there were some more intelligent ways you could have done it. Like trying to disguise yourself or trying to walk without making any sound. But I guess monkeys just aren't intelligent enough for things like that. Ah, hee hee, ho ho. Good. Thanks. No. Don't make me relive this. Here's your dream sequence you asked for. Some good noises. This facade Wario. Wario's fun evil, not kicking a baby monkey evil. Wario's mostly just selfish and greedy. Hmm. Any farts. But if farting is a crime, then throw me away. Lock me up and throw away the key. Damn it! Wario has Waluigi. How long are you gonna sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, just keep doing your tricks all happy-like. Prance around all nice and funny to help charm the villagers. Do a good job, and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to that girly monkey. But if you bore the audience, you'll get an extra heaping of punishment. Got that? Yes. Oh, Sargoto, what kind of evil am I? Also, repayment. You're the... 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 Confusingly generous kind. It's not even evil. It's just confusing. <laughs> Thank you, Sarkoto. Hope you're well. I wonder what today's weather will be like. This village is much more carefree until recently. Where does nice things when he gets money for doing it? Does he? Hi there. Hmm. TV tropes. Kick the dog. I don't want to go to the TV tropes. Also, you should post a warning. And you post the TV Tropes link. That here's the rest of your day. Ah, Chaotic good. Yeah. There you go. Come gather round. Come one and all fair denizens of Tasmili. Congratulations are in order for the hard work you put in every single day. I've come here today to give you all wonderful news about one happiness. Do not, it belongs to me. One last fry. Don't even look at it. I'm gonna dip it in a little chup, a little chup, and watch you cry. No, you must yeah. cry. It took too long. I didn't know there's a time limit, so I got him. Thank you for the hammy. I am well. The injection site doesn't hurt very much today, and I'm planning to put a sheet on the side of my house and project this beautiful stream to my entire neighborhood. Well, I'm sure they'll be like, we'd like to file a complaint with the HOA. Thank you, Sarko. Appreciate it. And hope that uh, your arm is 100% tomorrow. Thank you. It's exciting. Gerard's here. Fuck facade. <laughs> Gerard. Hey, Gerard, look what shirt I'm wearing. See-through frog in a car. But if I stand up, it's green. So, there you go. Of course I'm here. Literally, Gerard, every sing I started this yesterday. Everyone is like, where's Frog in a car? And I'm like, we haven't even seen a street yet. It's a long time before Frog in a car. Just calm down. We'll get to him. Yeah, where's Crab in a cab? Thanks, Gerard. Appreciate you stopping by. Drive fast, beep faster. He's real good. Yeah, I uh, I don't remember a lot of this game. Um, I played it when the translation patch first dropped. This is my second time playing it ever. And uh I forgot how sad Salsa's chapter is. Why do you bark oh, like you're sorry, running no, out of thank time? You. Bork day and night like you're running oh. out of time. Every day you arf like you're running out of time. Bunger and a hunger. In the meantime. Bunger and a hummer? Almost works. Uh Sargoto, it's the real dragon rider, Poggers. Also yeah, no HOA to stop me. Feel free to let lost your most creative swears. Thank you. Oh, thank you, chemist. This is excellent. Pup in a cup. God, the music is so good in this. All right, let's be sad. Blue skies, white clouds, bountiful crops, stout livestock, happy families, and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with so many wondrous things. But there's still something missing. At least also wife hasn't been stabbed and his son fallen off cliff yet. That's mother four. 
A tiny speck of uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Nice. You're buying a house! I'll also be able to project my shit. <laughs> Don't do that. But congrats, DJ. That's exciting. Thanks for letting me know. Is this really how things should be? Shouldn't we be living much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. Odd animals that have never been seen before now lurk in our forests, and giant balloon-like objects soar our skies. What's going on? What's happening to the world we live in? And that's not all, not by a long shot. The word on the wind says that in the very near future, lightning powerful enough to burn down forests and woods will rain down on us almost daily. Oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? You thought to yourself, get real, something like that would never happen. But I truly believe this will soon be a reality. <laughs> What's your face is like, I'm out. And in times like this, isn't it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? But I have good news for you. Today is your lucky day. Everyone loves the good backflip. You can obtain happiness very easily. Just look here. Even my cute, adorable salsa is dancing so happily. The reason for this, you see, is that this monkey has gotten a head start on obtaining happiness. He's already purchased three NFTs. And if I install some crypto miners in your town, then we can have many more. We're losing him. How exactly did Little Salsa here manage to find happiness? All those who are interested, please raise your hand boisterously. Who wants to be happy? Couple people. Mm, yeah, okay. Okay, Little Salsa. Go and ask the nice people who want happiness for their names. Please keep your hands raised, folks. Um, I'm Biff. Not really sure what this is about, but if I can get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. Um... I don't need happiness. It's standing right next to me. Oh. Happiness, huh? I'll admit, I am a little curious. Oh, trouble in paradise. I'm Abby. I respect my husband, Abbott. There's nothing bad about having too much happiness, is there? Not at all. He would absolutely be an NFT farmer also. Stop. <laughs> I'm Isaac. I just want to see if it really is that easy to be happy. Uh... Happiness leaves when wanted. My name's Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff, it somehow makes me happy. Plus, I like to see what happiness looks like, too. Everyone! It even If even just one more of us can achieve happiness, all will be right in the world. For those of you who didn't raise your hand, please think it over later. And if you decide that you do want happiness after all, feel free to let me know anytime. Well, that's all for today's show. May happiness come to this village. Whoopee! Take care. Now then, come along, little salsa. Let's return to Yado Inn. This guy peddling drugs or something? He's peddling happiness. And we don't know what shape it takes just yet. Yeah, it's me! What is it? Did you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle. Why can't you just kick them out? What, you can't? Because they're too tough? Alright, I'll be right over once I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. Ugh. Excuse me. All right, monkey, listen up. The happy boxes are hidden in the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names you took earlier. Abbott, Abby, Biff, Isaac, those four. Where do they live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. When you finish delivering them, don't even think about trying to run away. They'll come straight back to this room. If you can't do it in another 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more than charred if that happens. If you try to run from me or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey, too. Got it? Yes? I said yes! Then get to it already! If you can finish delivering them in under 22 minutes, I'll give you a banana or something. 
I'm making this offer from the kindness of my heart, because I feel just terrible that you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. So be grateful! I'm not allowed to eat or drink anything! Abbott, Abby, Biff, and Isaac. Abbott, Abby, Biff, and Isaac. Abbott, Abby, Biff, and Isaac. Hey, Frog. Oh. Just come to stream and the first thing I see is this piece of shit. Yep. That's facade. Are we actually on a timer? Possibly. Factory Assassin, thank you for gifting us subs. Parallel Fifth and Jamie Allegra. Welcome back for 32 months. Want me to kill that asshole for you? <laughs> Save it the frog. So you want me to, you know, take him out? Go show a trick to Mike in Thomas's house. If he likes it, I'm sure he'll give you a cookie. <gasps> cookie. If I'm on the clock. My happiness inside of a bottle at Jackie's bar. A bottle of water. Ooh, ooh, mm, mm, moves, yeah. How cute. I think even a monkey would like this. This is one of Caroline's prized nut breads. Good. Speed run, we must protect Salsa. We gotta find, I don't know where they all live. We do have a map though, so that's good. Oh, I know, kangaroo. Wait, that's not it. What is this animal called again? Monkey. You look so sad. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Happiness, huh? Not quite sure what that word means. Hold on there, monkey. Don't touch the goods. I want it. Creeper, a man. So we back in the oh. mine. Got a pickaxe swinging from side to side. Side, side to side. This task a grueling one. Hope to find some diamonds tonight, night, night. Thank you, Sargo, for a hammy again. Barry, is this a bad time to slow you down by having to read things? Is this a good time to pray for a long RNG? Can you read this so this so fast and still make it happen? Can we slow Barry down? Can we make Barry late to this very unimportant, very important date? If I'm late, then the monkey gets zapped. So no, stop, thank you. Why aren't you an adorable one? Can you do a trick for me? Uh, flip. They love the flip. Oh, what a neat trick. Have a cookie. Slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie. Where do you keep getting these from, dude? Don't think the timer matters. It matters to me. <laughs> Hold on there, little monkey. There are dangerous tools everywhere. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> uh, you stink like a monkey. Well, I wonder why. Probably the poop that we picked up. You poor thing having to wear such a tight collar. Yeah, take it off, please. Loosen it. You're that monkey that's famous for being happy. Maybe I should have ordered a happy box too. Mm -hmm. Give me the nut bread to save my soul. I want to eat facade in a fucking hole. Mother's three. I have a special scary story. Want to hear it? Yes. The truth is, for a long time, I've been taking nuts I find in the forest and hiding them in this house. But when I went to check on, the, on them the other day, they had all been made into bread. Huh? You don't seem very scared. I'm terrified. Scared speechless. Also, I'm a monkey. Monkey! Monkey. Monkey. Monkey! What a cute little monkey. Oh, he's got the moves! What a neat dance. In appreciation for that little dance, I'll give you some bread. Thank you. I like this dance-based economy. Dance and bread-based economy. I know that you're unhappy. I also know that Isaac's house is at the entrance to the forest. Oh yeah, it is. Thanks. I don't need happiness. It's already right by my side. Yeah. I really enjoyed that dance of yours earlier, but that man's speech was kind of creepy. A little bit. You have shown me, monkey. Is my happy box ready yet? I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, I gotta pick them up first. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Monkey. You're not here on delivery, are you? Gotta go grab them. He said they're just hidden in the cemetery. Is Boney home? Oh, we should say hi to Boney. Beep, boop, boom, bump, 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 bump. Do we think they're down in the thing? Oh, hi. If you need something from the map loving map owning maps, it must be a map. Yes, you're a monkey, but you have a map. For some reason, I'm just itching to mark it. Let me see that for a second. Well, that certainly works. Here we go. You're drawing that nut bread, if you know what I mean. I... I don't know what you mean. Oh. You can only carry one at a time. Well, 
Um, maybe we should go to the one in, near the forest. This is just Donkey Kong and Smash carrying a box. No. D do you want to know what I mean? No. No, I, I mean, I... No, I'm good. Thank you. Companion box. Yeah. Each box contains one monkey. Some assembly required. They say you can't buy happiness, but happiness might just be a monkey carrying a slightly big box. Oh. It's snake. Yeah. Oh god, there's enemies. Like a few bugs. Get back! Get back, I say! I'm not afraid to use this box! Eh. Uh, no. Hello! Delivery! Oh, is this it? What is it? Will this thing really bring me happiness? Uh, sure. It's called a happy box, right? Give the happy box to Isaac. Only three more to go. Good work. That must have been pretty heavy. Give my thanks to Mr. Facade for his generous gift. Nice. I really appreciate it. Happiness is a timeshare in your very own condo. Some restrictions apply. Condo may not actually be yours. A happy box. I'm not really sure what to make of it. Looks happy, though. All right. Thank you for those bits, by the way. Oh, hi there. Uh, Jacob Bacon. The song that plays when Salsa's delivering things is a remix of the original theme from Mother 3 on the N64. Hmm. Uh, dance. Now you're slow. Ow. Uh, I might be killed by this thing. Let's dance. Oh, there you go. Ow. No. The box is drugs, isn't it? <laughs> it's just... Damn it. Good. No. I should have just ran away. Okay. Let's grab the next box. Don't have to go to the forest again. Beep, 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 beep. So this theme was the original theme from other three on the N64. Neat. Longest fight in the entire game. Just because we're a tiny monkey. Boom, boom, doom, doom, boom. Love the slightly upsetting fanfare. Rina de Coro. Thank you for 31 months, monkey. He is a monkey. He's a good monkey. How you doing, Rina? Thank you. Hope you're well. Look at his little steps. It's good. Rina de Mon. Special delivery. It was this house, right? There you go. Oh, wow, this is a happy box. Oh, this is great, a happy box. Thanks, monkey. His name is Salsa, and I will thank you for learning it. Happy box to Abbott. Oh, you ordered one too, Abbott. I guess we don't need two, do we? I'll cancel my order then. Sorry to bother you. Only one more to go. Mm -hmm. I set up there to see how it looks. I love how nice and pink it is. Mm -hmm. Don't know why, but the fact you can be as happy as long as you have this makes me happy. Ha-ha! Happy box. Happy box box. It's empty. If I was late today, just blame Gam. Why would I blame Gam when you would be as much reason that I'm late, Rena? Just because you changed your Discord username to... <laughs> I can't even explain what happened last night. We were in a voice call in Discord and learned that there's text-to-speech in Discord. And, uh, we were making go like, burr, 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 and making fun noises. Rena changed her name to get back to work because I was trying to work on the new emotes for today. Um, at some point, Onsta became possessed by a demon? 
And I recorded some of it? That's why your Discord was going off? It was just... <laughs> uh, non-stop, uh, shenanigans. Um... If you're curious, I can play the audio from the call of Onstead being possessed by a demon. Um... But it's- it's- it's bad. It's awful to listen to. No, you're good. <laughs> that tracks. Do it. I was sleepy. Same. I was delirious. Um... Oh, hey, Biff. Oh, thanks a bunch. Now I can be happy, too. For some reason, I actually do feel happy. Welcome. Here you go, Biff. You finished delivering happy boxes. Everyone who wanted one. Oh, monkey! Monkey, 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 monkey! That's how I feel when I see a monkey. Cool. Well, they have happy boxes now. I, was, I wasn't I was having it in part because the, if you separate it with periods, it's not just get back to work. It's get back to work. It says get back to work. It was just like, God, stop. I'm trying to work. I promise. Pork flavored TVs. Monkey. Get back. Um... Let me see. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna have to turn down the volume, so hold on a second. It's gonna be loud. Uh, hold on. I'm just gonna play the audio from this recording. Oh, God. Hold on. Um... Yeah, actually, I can just... Whatever, I can show you the video. Get back to Moobot. Um... Turn this back up. They have said the happy boxes are not actually functional televisions. They're just boxes shape, shaped like TVs. Uh, this isn't the text-to-speech stuff. This is, um... This is, uh, uh, Onsta being possessed by demons. Um... Uh, this is pretty quiet. Let me see. Okay, it's too quiet. It's... <laughs> Just muted it, I can't do it anymore. Just the fact that it's still going. Oh my god. Go a little bit. Here, let me play from the beginning for you. It's really loud. I had to turn her volume down. I've just muted it, I can't do it anymore. Just the fact that it's still going. Oh my god. Oh, it's stopped. It's stopped. It's stopped. Is it whenever she talks? Are we free? Onsta. Trying to- Okay, Onsta. Yeah, I think Onsta- I think Onsta had been talking the entire time. <laughs> oh, oh god! god. <laughs> oh god! Stop! Stop. I like how from her end, she's probably just saying hello, but on yeah. our end, it's like... <laughs> it really sounds like the end of Undertale. Like, every time you say anything, it just sounds like... When it first started happening, uh, Gam said something like, it, it sounds like the, the robots from the Matrix found Onsta. <laughs> They're like, breaching the hull. It was just like... <laughs> it was... Fucking ridiculous. Anyway, I think we did it within our 22 minute time limit. So, hooray. Anyway, back to the video game. Oh, you're back. 25 minutes, nope, too bad. I was planning to give you a special banana if you delivered them all in under three minutes, but I guess you don't really want one, you insolent little monkey. It's fine, she just lives in a submarine. Hey you, how long are you gonna stay unconscious, stupid monkey? All right, let's hurry to Sohe Castle. Okay. Demon friend. Also, you're welcome for turning down the volume like crazy, because with the native volume, it was deafening. Anyway, <laughs> give me that nut, but my soul. Wanna eat side in a fucking hole and drift away back to guacamole. Don't know who you are, but you best be careful if you're going inside the castle. Some guys dressed like pigs went in and are up to no good. Yeah, I know about them. Mm-hmm. He shocks you no matter how long you take. No. Yeah. What's going on? Did you find it? What? You still haven't found it? Just who are these other intruders? An old man and a guy with a gloomy feel about him? You mean him? The guy with brown hair, gloomy feels, slightly bad breath, kind of looks like a bum? Where are they now? Uh, 
They're headed for the top floor? You fools! Whatever you do, do not let them get up there first! There are so many frames of animation in this game. A little one-off things like that. Other groups are presently in pursuit of the bum-looking guy and his cohorts. We will now continue our search for the item here. This castle used to be filled with ghosts, but we kicked them all out using the power of science, Boku. Thank you. The power of science. Sir, Mr. Facade, sir. The island does not appear to be in this room, sir. Oh, thank you. Um. Oh, yeah, there was a thing down here. Oh, God. There's another room we could dance through down here. You're not, Douglas. We should probably... Uh, go rest up at the hot spring. When did King Kai become a big Nazi? Uh, same voice, different character. King Kai wouldn't have. Mm, wait, back. No, Broku, I'm a goofy piggy. Who's this pokey dog, Broku? Broku, Broku, Broku. So I better stay out. Oh god, he followed us in. Well, he's watching us, aren't he? Is that... Okay, cool. Thank you. Run! Three suits of armor suddenly attacked me out of nowhere. Even though I'm super skilled, they clearly had the upper hand. I managed to destroy him when I unleashed my special spicy knuckle attack. That bum-looking guy in his core beat me senseless, nice. though. Nice. Nice. Hi, Omsta. You just got back, thank you. Did you recover from being possessed by demons? Uh, Zacatron, 26 months? Just up yesterday, I guess it's been 26 months now. Cool. I'll come back. That's a lot of months, thank you. Can the shock you in the hot springs do a murder suicide? No. <laughs> no. Are we the bad guys? Yes. We're currently using every resource available to us to locate it, but it still hasn't turned up. Hold on, pipsqueak monkey. I'm not talking to you. Rude. There were some sassy ghosts here earlier holding a lively party. We've used the power of science to stick them all in the back room for now. Science. That bum looking guy upstairs they beat the snout of us. Only now do I realize that thieves are truly a force to be reckoned with. We love to get exercised. <laughs> I found a new interest in the power of science. Never mind that I'm a ghost. First a bum-looking man, now a monkey. First a bum-looking man, and now a monkey. And if it's to a monkey, I'll say it anyway. Here's my secret hint. Uh, yep, yep, uh. Become monkey. At this time, we've played more as Salsa than Lucas. And he's so thirsty. Where'd you rent your monkey suit? Did you know I'm not wearing a suit, though? Just enough to be burnt is good. Rare is good, too. Just before rotten is the best. A real-life live monkey. Is the person behind you one of those spirits that follow you wherever you go? Mm, kind of. Uh, wasn't there a guy? No. Up here was another friend. Oh, Olds an art teacher. Olds is an art teacher. A ghost burped on me just now. For some reason, it smelled like rotten bees? I don't care about finding the stupid item anymore. Feel you. Bah, dead end. All right, monkey, let's look elsewhere. Oh, yeah. We don't have a rope snake. For Patreon. Uh... Hello. Hello. Not, not safe for work, but close. Dear being busy. Close. Uh, uh. Mm, where else can we go? Uh. Uh, hey, Akangosh. How you doing? Okay. I was like, where else can I go? Yeah. 
What? They fled into the basement? They have it with them? All right, got it. Hey, monkey, we're heading to the basement now. There should be an entrance to the basement somewhere inside this castle. Find it. Now is the time that I've been waiting for. Not that way. It was up to the right. Oops. A dead lizard in your couch. Exciting full surprises. What a fun time. Potentially. Here we go. Yeah. Easy does it. Easy does it. Here we go. Phantom Gwen, how you doing, Gwen? Thanks for 32 months. Reggie. Reggie. All right, we go through here. Hey, stupid monkey, do something to open it. Don't be an eyesore. I'm doing my best. Not that, not that move. Don't like these moves. The monkey has a good mouth. The monkey's real. An odd dance is depicted here. You learned part C of the dance. Okay, well, hold on. Pardon me. Learned part B of the dance. And here's part A of the dance. There you go. This chapter always makes me sad. Every chapter makes me sad. How do I perform the dance? Uh... like they do well done all right here's your reward yeah I, I thought it would be a banana oh you are the worst facade actually the worst come on let's get going <laughs> won't someone please punch facade in the face this looks fine oh oh <gasps> it's a ghost frog how ominous hello Hop. I'm not a ghost. I'm a frog. Save your game. Oh, my, I'm sorry. I just... I made assumptions. That's my bad. Please be careful out there. Worst, I can't think of anyone lower. Yeah, he's the worst. Double O three D. Thank you. Hover frog. <laughs> Frogs can't die. The sun was at the edge of the pit. Just push him in. No problem here. I, I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know if that's the opposite of a problem. Okay. Look at him go. I love how many unique frogs are in the game. Pisces? Is that better than Aquarius? Oh, excuse me, Aquarius. We're Pisces now. Become a fish. Oh, God! Uh, I'm gonna dance. Yes. He threw a bone. No. Did not work on salsa. Make him dance. Okay, well, he's gone. Yeah. This is the ending of the Age of Aquarius. <laughs> Very good. Oh, oh. Uh. Ah, hey, run. Little big bro. Made a scary face. Oh, good. Um. Ow. Stop doing bum rushes. Don't hide in my shadow. Oh god. Nice. Keep dancing. Yes, now he's dancing too. 
Oh, man. That's Rena the stand. <laughs> there he is. He stood up. Oh, beef jerky. We need that. We need some of that. Uh... Rena the stand. Uh, we need about 60. 60 heals. There you go. Delicious. The green man. It's very powerful. Oh, I do want that. Well, I know it might be a, another bracelet. Beef jerky, also good. We need to sit plus lechuga. Blocks from the other side. Figures. Awesome name for a chimchar. What, little big bro or something else? Sorry, beef jerks. Nick and Arkebos, looks like you saw what you did to Big Step Bro. Oh, he's got a butt! Oh, he's got a butt. No problem here. Uh. Yeah. Um. Which way am I supposed to go? No, no, just. Crap. Oh, salsa. Yeah, salsa's a great name for anything. Dance. Make him dance. That. Just, I just want him to stop doing all of his nonsense. I'm just gonna keep dancing. It's, oh God, I love dancing. Oh, you. Thank you. Whew. Why is he so caked up though? Well, I don't know. Maybe a toy was looking at them working on the sprites. He was like, add more cake. Oh God, no. Uh, I want the present. <laughs> run, run, fuck, god. Okay, okay, I can dance, I can dance, I can dance. Uh, I can dance if I want to, I can look at this skeleton. He's really nice and he's gonna dance and I'm gonna dance with him, yo. Yeah, there you go, what are you gonna do now? Throw a bone? Ow, yes, you will. Yeah, there you go, no defense for you. Don't tickle me, don't like being tickled. There you go. <laughs> Dear, stop, no! I regret bringing it up, okay? I'm sorry. Is that what you want? You want me to apologize? Ancient banana. I can't carry any more stuff. <sighs> Let's eat a cookie. Oh, uh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Delicious. Time to go. It's hilarious, so I'm enjoying it. Good. I wanted to. Huh? What's this lever for? Hey, pull this lever. Uh, okay. Remember how we fought the snake and then suddenly we were rushed out of the uh, the room with the snake? That's how that happened. Whoa! It's them. They flew into the waterway. What? I don't know what you're saying. They escaped with the item. After them. After them, after them, after them. Go after them. No, wait, they're inside. Corner them, is what I said. Contact me the instant you find them. Ah, there's not a single useful person here. Let's return to the auto inn for now. Okay. Salsa's gonna get back home. Salsa's gonna have a nap. Salsa's gonna think about his girlfriend. Hi, ghost frog. Chomp. Yeah. Uh, uh, pardon, 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 pardon. You. Now he has no health. Uh. No. One sec. Just bath saying hello. Salsa's gonna bet the banana. Sir. Sir. Uh, we should save. Is that a floating pelvis? Or are you just happy to see me? What are you talking about? Tell bath uwu seven. It will. Uh. Hmm. 
Possible reasons this will never look like so far. Uh, about 50 things. Uh oh. What are you doing? One of you two, get out of my way! Hey, you heard Mr. Facade fall back. He was looking at you when he said it. You fall back. Shut up! I don't give a damn about any of that. Reason number 5 and 12. Damn. Both of you get out of my way now! I don't give a hoot. Just look how late it is now. You're so stupid. It's all your fault, you idiot. He was looking at you when he said that. So you're the idiot, idiot. Yeah, I know you are, but what am I? You idiot. Both of you idiots, go find them now. They're fine. Tell Bath Mike ride. As soon as BTTV works via text. You got it. I bet you're the one who let Esther get away in the first place. Remember this scene? From like an hour ago or so? I've done no such thing, nor would I have any need to. Send the gift. Time to cry. This whole game is time to cry. My goodness! I simply can't believe that someone would steal the money I so humbly gave you. Perhaps it's true then. Perhaps this village really is starting to become cursed. We can't allow Tazmilly Village to become a dismal hive for evildoers to run amok. We must all seek happiness, or this village will be in grave danger. What's this? Are you fond of the nice lady there? Just having a moment. Come now, I'll give you lots and lots of luxury bananas later, so let's return to the auto inn. Okay, little salsa. That monkey. Hmm. Not as cursed as chat. Oh, God. Grave, just like Flint's dead one. <laughs> Stop! Hey, stupid monkey! It seems you still don't understand the situation you're in. If you ever disobey me or try any funny business in the slightest, I'll make sure your beloved girly monkey winds up in some serious trouble. Remember that. Pow! Now go to sleep. You like that front flip into the bed? You impressed? It's already asleep. And... We're asleep. Nope, we're just sad. I think he's crying. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a happy game. It's a happy, fun game. He, he fell asleep eventually. Yippee, video games. Hey. Hey, monkey. Uh. He rolled over onto the button. He turned over in his sleep. Oh god, he did it again. Uh, Gutsman27, thanks for 18 months. Enjoy your very mild curse skeleton key. You might whisper a little bit. Can't be worse than this game, though, right? I'm s I'm sorry. I should say it. I didn't know it was gonna happen twice. I saw that. Give my regards to the next frog. Deer sent me a gif of my ride. Thank you, Deer. It just lives on my phone now. There he goes. Thank you, dear. Please forward to bath now. Okay. Uh, I gotta save it. And then text it to bath. And it's sent. There he goes. Run, salsa. <laughs> I didn't even talk to him that time. Add it to the green screen. No. No. What? Where is she knocking? I guess it's not the door. 
She at the window? Can I hop up here? No problem here. Oh, there they are. Hey, monkey, we're here to rescue you. Yes. That cheap bastard's asleep. Hurry here. I feel like Nintendo reviewing a translation be like, bastard. But it's referencing facade. I'll allow it. Monkey free. Be free. Time to get text another person. Mike right. <laughs> You're safe now. Take off the collar. Don't know how you got involved with that lie, spew, and fraud, but you must have had your reasons, I guess. Poor little thing. Princess, this is a great deed you've done. Now let's go find that lazy moron, I mean duster, and that egg he has with him. I know he's all right. Morons like him never get sick or hurt no matter where they go or what they do. Yeah, we just gotta find duster and the egg. But first, let's free this monkey. Yes! Tora's the best! Geezer, go steal that zapper gizmo while that lying freak's still asleep. All right. Should have swiped it earlier. I'll be right back. Boop, 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 boop. Where's the damn chaos emerald? Where's Lucas? He's being sad somewhere. We haven't seen him in a long time. He'll be free in a minute, monkey. Must have had it rough. We're effectively still in, like, prologue for the main game. Like, stuff is starting to happen, but... I think I think the pacing of the plot kicks up after this. Hey, monkey. I stole the doohickey. I actually bumped it on the way back. Did it zap you? Sorry about that. I don't think it was an accident. I think he's just curious to push the button. Oh, don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. Here, monkey. You destroy it. <gasps> he gets to do it. At least he was the one to do it. I thought one of them were gonna smash it and then he'd get shocked. Since everyone had the phone number of everyone. All right, monkey, you can go wherever you want now. You're free. You got something keeping you from running away? What is it? Guacamole. Oh, your girlfriend's been kidnapped. Or monkey napped, I should say. Damn that cheap bastard. He's screwed up. Did you call for me? I happen to be that screwed up cheap bastard you speak of. Uh oh. To think I would get I would get to meet you here of all places, Princess Kumatora. Uh he a wahal. You stupid monkey, did you think you could get away from me? He can't. And we're gonna let him. We're gonna back up a little bit. Geezer, monkey, you ready? One, two, three. Is when we run. Got it? Mm, damn, they're fast. Whoop. Gotta love that wind up run animation. After them, don't let them escape. They're headed your way. I see. Then remain there on standby. I'll be there shortly. Banana. Oh, banana. <laughs> There's no escape from me. <laughs> Let's escape into the forest. Komatora join salsa. Me and Mike Ryan in the chat. Hey, Mithra. How you doing? Hope you're well. Oh, now we have some offense. And West join the party. Yeah, whatever. We got Komatora, though. To the forest. How's Leader doing? What a huge person. Hello up there. Oh, he smiled. He's a friend. He's good. Did you need me? Dear randomly texting me Mike Ryan. Else I'm doing well hard. Uh, well, Bath's away at work for a couple days and texted me to say something. And then chat was like, text them Mike Ride. And I said, I don't have it. Oh, God. So then Deer texted me Mike Ride. And then Deer texted everyone in their phone Mike Ride. And now you're here. Hi. 
He also gave Rena a heart attack. Good. Uh, dance. And... Fire? Roast the pea. Don't kick the monkey! What's wrong with you? Nice. Some pretty good damage. One damage. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, he didn't like that. And then apologize. Why do they always kick the monkey? I don't know. Bath responded with a very good drawing of a character from Attack on Titan. It's basically everything Bath sends me now is someone's art from Attack on Titan. It's good. A uh, bag of pork chips. Good. My left is too big to fit in Mike Ride. I mean, he's got a lot of space in the cart. Just saying. Oh god, not one of those. Um, let's rest up. Sure. I da 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 da. Cute Demel, thanks for 15 months. Free monkey. Release him. He's free. He's finally free. Now it's time to kick some butt. Too big. Don't question my love. Jesus. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Pig enemies dropping pork chips. I don't know how I feel about that. Probably better to not think about it. There's no response to our shouting. It doesn't give us many options. Just gotta continue up through the woods? I don't know where our destination is. Oh, God. Hi. Monkeys need to level up. Can I dance? Do they like it when we dance? We'll dance. I like it when I dance. Come on. Yeah. Nice. You can't just question. I didn't question their love. I just said there's a lot of room in Mike Ride. That's all. It's fine. Uh, oh, God. Hi. They already got ahead of us. Monkey, let's look for another way to go. Uh, fuel and lighters house? Don't know of anywhere else to go. Uh, uh oh. No luck here either. Is there only choice to go back now? It might be. Yep, just gotta go back. Well, I'm sure that's fine. Maybe less than fine. We're surrounded. It's attacking! Oh god! Pork tank! Uh. Apologize? Uh. Reset the run. We go back. Thunder seems like a good idea. Yes! Dancing reduced the tank's defense! Nice. Yeah, Wes. Ooh, oof. Do that again. Defense up. Nice. Through a duster sock. Good. Let me. Why are you adding me? What? Oh god. Oh god. Eat. 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 Oh, we have a running bomb. That might be good. Start stream over. Are you rewrite? Bleep. What? Thank you. Pop it. Vented this exhaust. We dodged out of the exhaust. Good. Uh, monkey mimic? Let's try that sprinting bomb. Not bad. Thank you, Wes. Oh, boy. Uh. Uh. Life up. Thunderbomb, hell yeah. Oh boy! Okay, dance. Okay, can't dance on the tank anymore. What else can Salsa do? Cry. Okay, we can cry. That's a neat trick. Uh, bug spray not gonna do anything. I doubt the banana will. I don't know, maybe it'll trip on a banana. 
Let's try. And just keep thundering it. It slipped! It tripped on a banana peel! Okay. Sure. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. Just don't hit Salsa. He doesn't deserve this. Throw another banana at it. That worked decently well. Nice! Oh god. Okay. Let's heal up. Beef jerky for you. Life up for you. Uh, fine. Fine. Here, why don't you... Give beef jerky to her. You keep attacking. I haven't even missed any of these thunders. Probably because it's made of metal. Oh, good! Uh-oh. The tank's wrecked. It jammed! Uh, dance again. And fire, maybe? Don't know, maybe keep thundering. I don't know if its stats changed now that there's a guy saying hi. It did a little damage, so I guess so. It threw a cannonball! Ow. Uh, monkey mimic? Thunder. It's What's-His-Face from MGS1. It's coughing. Good! Uh... Just keep doing what we're doing. It's rattling and shaking. He's afraid! Uh-oh. Uh... We don't have any PP recovery. Oh, no! Um... I guess we're punching now. We missed! I guess we are crying. Alright, Wes, your time to shine! <laughs> um... Oh, no. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Come on, Wes, attack it! Nice. Woo! It was destroyed. Ba ba bum bum rum. Powerful monkey. Powerful lady. Nice. Monkey kicked the tank to death. I think it's more so he blew up the tank with electricity, and then the guy popped out, and the monkey just jumped on and started punching his head. I have games that are gonna send a mic ride. I don't wanna spend data on texting a GIF. Nice. Send them on Discord. That's the origin story of King Kong. Uh, now then, Princess Kumatora, may I ask that you behave and do as we say? Maybe. Oh! <gasps> Lucas. Who are you? Get out of here, you stupid kid. I mean, you crying? Stupid kid? Eh, eh, dumb. Pay to text Gam. Don't. <gasps> baby Drago. Oh my pork! What's a baby Drago doing here? You! Baby Drago, get out of here! Get lost, kid! Stupid kid! Yeah, get out of here! There isn't just the baby Drago. No. Metro, no. What's up? Oh, yeah. Lucas has a new mom now. Oh my god!
This one still has a Drago tooth. This is a different Drago. The one that killed Hinawa was the one that was turned into a cyborg robot Drago that we fought. Get back here, you! Spoilers for Godzilla vs. King Kong. They team up to fight... Pigs? No, stop! Don't, please! Pig Kong. Haha, -ha, feeling better now, monkey? Also learns quick. Oh, wow! His old mom had a Drago tooth in her too. What? I'll take it. <laughs> they did it, and that's the end of the game. We did it. Mm -hmm. Looks like facades blasting off again. And now it's a kangaroo. New mom acquired. Mother 4. Lucas, I heard that you've done nothing but cry since the day your mother passed away. What you did just now was wonderful, and you only cried a lot. You saved our lives. Thank you, Lucas. All right, gotta say hi. Hi, nice to meet you, and thanks. You didn't even know what was going on, but you saved our lives. It's probably a little late for it now, but you should ask this geezer about what's going on. You're, you're right, kid? Hey, hello? Sure, I can fill you in on everything. Will you listen, Lucas? What? I think you've spent too much time living with Dragos. Yeah, sure, what's up? Well, it goes a little something like this. Oh, whoop. Did you get that? And that's everything that's happened. Now go tell that to that frog over there so we can save. No, Lucas, you stay here in Tasmili. I'm certain Klaus will come back sooner or later. I'd like you and Flint and the others to work together to protect our village. Oh, I intend to help too, of course, what little I can at least. Princess, I leave the monkey in your hands. Oh, and the search for that moron too. Lucas. Don't know why, but I somehow get the feeling I'll be seeing you again. Take care of yourself. Okay, monkey, let's go. Now he's doing backflips for himself. Hell yeah. It's only been like three days since the beginning of the game. Yeah, <laughs> it's not been very long. Tazmilly Village is now transforming exactly how the newly come peddler had planned. Only a handful of villagers realized that things were good and right. Things that were good and right are being tossed away one after the other. Although prosperity is increasing, an eerie darkness seems to be growing heavier over the village at the same time. The word on the wind is, Capitalism. However, within that darkness, a frail young boy grows ever stronger and cries slightly less. Soon, Lucas will repaint this tale of sadness with a bright new color. The deeper the darkness, the brighter the sunrise at dawn. The once coddled Lucas is now on his way to becoming a brilliant young son. Yeah. We're going to space. Only place capitalism hasn't well, reached. Well, 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 what's this? Can't wait to see what happened on day four. We're gonna save. Oh, God. Chapter three is in the bag. It's Brother. And it's Lucas. Oh. It's the 8 Melodies theme, isn't it? Or is that the love theme? That's the love theme. Never mind. Now we're crying again. Don't forget. Just be sad forever. I think they might have reused the animation where it turns its head to look down. Like, turn into a chopping anime. I mean, reused, repurposed. It looks so good, though. No! God damn it! Thanks! Don't 
change the subject. Thanks for the $10. Teddy Boo! Brandon Per Se, thank you for the hammy. And the reminder that I'm gonna try to pause three years later. Did you notice that uh, Lucas looked a little bit different? It's been three years! Taz Millie Village. Hey, look! Streets and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pause alerts whenever there's like plot stuff happening. Hey, that piece of shit lift. Cool. Technology so advanced. You know what streets mean? Yeah, I like how after the time skip, you're like, oh, nice. Now it feels a lot more like Earthbound all of a sudden. Bro, they're three. Even now, there are two pillows side by side. <laughs> Didn't take a nap on this bed. No, I'm good. You try times better. It's fine, Beta. It's nothing you did wrong. Just as much as I can, I want to try to stay on course. Oh, <laughs> Time to cry! <laughs> it's been three years, and that's what he sees when he looks in the mirror. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go beat up frogs. I mean, not frogs, like hippies and uh, sentient toasters and whatever else you, you do in other games. It's fun! It's fun. It's fun times. Where's Bo? <gasps> There's Boney. Hey, buddy. Woof! I can take you for a walk if you'd like, Lucas. Boney's the one in control. I beg your pardon. We try again before looking in the mirror, you get a flashback. Your mom's not going to change from the beginning. Oh no. What about our brother? Uh, I guess we don't know. Hey, look! There's just a pig soldier right there. The dog is Lucas's brother now. Yeah, but he's a good dog. Uh, beta per se. Thank you for the hammy. Drago said, "Bonk capitalists." Anyway, here's some money. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Naked Arcade Bubbles, you're saying capitalism gave us frog in a car. I'm not saying it didn't. So. Also, what a bop! Hmm. Lighting is scary. Smile. I got charred black. Smile. Looks like things got blown up. Hmm. Dogs are better than brothers. Wild animals are afraid of lightning, but livestock are actually pretty okay with it. Also, they still have a pretty rural lifestyle. Hey, you there, boy! I realize this might be a bit of a bother, but please come talk to me. I have very important information for you. Walks backwards, staring. Mr. Pig, wait, which one of the sheep is our third mother? Um, probably the one that didn't get charred by lightning. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. It'll be given in units called DP, Dragon Power. You can use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. It seems you've already earned 30 DP so far. You can save and withdraw DP anytime by talking to nearby frogs. Some frogs in special locations can't conduct DP transactions, though. Should I explain all that again? No, I got it. All right, then. Let's try it out. Time certainly flies, doesn't it? Haha, <laughs> flies, because I'm a frog. Do you need something? Yes. Save the game or perhaps transfer DP? Save. DP can ex be exchanged for goods and services. That's true. You're holding out on saving, but I hope you're not holding on using the bathroom, too. Didn't I say I wanted to save? Did I back out? I, I think I'm just... Okay. But I did save. I absolutely did save. Go pee. I don't have to pee. I'm not holding on to save. What are you talking about? Whatever. What's the DP thing? I mean, do I have any DP? You say I have 30. Balance on hand. Yeah, let's grab that 30. There you go. Did it. Hmm. Map looks mostly the same. What's up? So, this is Tasmily's famous lightning house. It really is incredible. It was definitely worth coming all the way here to see. Thanks, guy. TP based economy. The bank is nice. The fact that. Yeah, uh, like, they basically rolled the ATM and dad into one character as the frogs. 
You must really love being unhappy if you still refuse to get a happy box after all this. Thanks. Hey, old man. This simple atmosphere, the smell of livestock and sea breezes. This is the only part of Tasmania that hasn't changed a bit in the past three years. My, how tall your head has gotten. Oops. Thank you. Do -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. Just seeing if there's anything different around here. Mm -hmm. PK hat storm. Have a hat, have a hat, have a hat, have a hat. Hey, chat. Are you ready? For the boy! Get back here. Oh, pardon me. Oh, God. Traffic in this town. Get out of the way! Maniacs! Where'd you learn how to drive? Guy, yeah, just trying to get to work on time. No, oh, pardon me. Jeez, watch where you're stepping. It's called a sidewalk. Ever heard of it? Goddamn maniacs! Do his horn. What do you mean, do his horn? There he is. This is actually a lot earlier in the game than I thought. Nice. I am underwhelmed. If we're a dead mom in a car- Stop! <laughs> Stop! Stop! I'll make his horn. Please be careful out there. Unlike these goddamn pedestrians! Meep, 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 meep! Out of the way! Meep, 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 meep! Leave me alone! There he goes. God, it's it's excellent though. Sneak up on him so he can get his back sprite. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now that's a car. Polished and sparkling. Is that fucking facade? You know it is. He's ignoring you. Oh hey there, Lucas. I hear Dad's still hiking up in the mountains looking for Klaus. You should really tell him yourself that it's about time you give up already. Yeah, brother's still missing. It's been three years. <laughs> Hello there, Lucas. You look a bit down in the dumps. A happy box could really change your life, you know. Oh, Lucas, hi. Whenever I listen to Mr. Facade talk, I suddenly want everything. It's like he's a magician. A capitalism magician. He's a facade. Ho oh, ho, ho ho. Thomas's shop, offering fascinating big city items faster and in greater quantities than anyone else. Nice. Things are different now. Don't forget to bring DP. Oh. Did you think so much beauty would blossom up in only three years? Huh, what? Am I talking about myself? No, of course not. I'm talking about Tazmilly. Hmm. My dad is working over at the factory, so he left me in charge of the store. Would you like to buy something? Uh. A child sized shirt. A hundred deep. 100, 200 DP! This shit used to be free! Paper fan. One whack from this fan returns you to your senses. Alarm cicada. Blasts away sleepiness. Oh. Well, thanks. Display case. Knickknacks lined up inside of it. No problem here. The menu music is dope. It's the thing. The town changes a lot real quick, and it's like, oh no! Oh, there's a happy box up there. Where you're like, oh man, but then the music is like, hmm. How can it be bad when it's such a bop? Happy Box destroyed the dance based communism. <laughs> oh, the bass. Boom. The Happy Box is giving off a wobbling sort of sound. Makes me happy. An oven for turning iron red hot. This is the very latest automated model. Let's update his workshop a lot. It's the kid from Smash. Yeah, Boney. And also, he's taking his boy for a walk. Looks. The Addo Inn is so much more warmth and friendliness up until three years ago. Also, I love how there's a bunch of NPCs that kind of re resemble NPCs from Earthbound. Just a little bit. The, D the DCMC band has a bassist named Lucky. He seems a little bum-like, but apparently he's a really good performer. Good. Oh, that guy's got a face. Our Yaddo Inn has changed so much and gained so many new customers ever since Mr. Facade came to town. Yeah, you gotta love him. Attention, guests staying here on group work retreats. Please talk in whispered voices when conducting meetings. Thank you. Yeah, DMC, I asked for it too. 
They say this village had no happy boxes until three years ago. Imagine that. Hmm. Welcome. You're a non-staying guest, yes? What does that mean? You're the type that just has to talk to everyone, aren't you? No, no, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think it's actually a very important thing to do. I hear they used to raise cows and pigs where this training facility to the southeast is now. Mr. Facade brought up all the land there. Yup. It's giving off light of some sort. Hmm. Looks like twitch.tv. Trivia card one. Well. A card with an obscure trivia question that try using it on human enemies. They're just man. Yep. Man. I have become man. This hotel's poster girl is so cute. I wonder what her name is. Don't know. Why'd you come in here? What was your reason? One, because I was enamoring. Two, so you could flirt with me. Three, because you like me. Four, other. Which is it? Yes. Light of some sort. Happy box is light. Whisper, whisper. What do you want for lunch? Just say anything about that pasta. Croquette rolls are fine with me. No, actually, that's what I prefer. But should we keep going until we find a good place to stop? I'm in a luxury hotel, but surprisingly enough, I'm not acting nervous, have you noticed? It's because my back pocket's filled with money I earned at the factory. Good. Is the bike shop owner earthbound? Hmm? I'm about to go on a walk with my grandkid to Cerulean Beach. It'll be like old man on the beach and all that. Ho ho. Hmm. Old man on the beach. <gasps> Grandpa and I are supposed to go to the beach after I change in my swimsuit, but I can't take my eyes off this happy box. <laughs> it's a good show. Favorite show. How can we get to have three? Hey, Tim, right? I know. From Pokemon. Cerulean Town. Cerulean Place. Uh. Da, 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 da. Less complicated name. Thanks for the year and a half. Enjoy your mildly. Very mildly, Chris Kelty. Bunch of months. Give my regards to the next sub. Thank you. Uh, no problem here. Uh, Naked Arcade Bubbles, thank you for the bits. Dad went out three years ago to get a pack of Missing Brother and still hasn't come back. He's working on it. Lightning struck Reggie's tent, but that's what he gets for not having a happy box. Notice our humble little shop, Caroline's Bakery, has also adopted the wonderful new DP system. No. Hmm. Isn't it interesting how Facade was like, oh, in the future, lightning will strike you unless you're happy and have a happy box. And now it's happening. Huh. It's weird. Oh, Lucas, welcome. Fuel's been helping out around the store lately. He's a real lifesaver. Are you here to buy something? What can I get you? Uh, oh, it's so expensive. I missed when we had a dance-based economy. Come again. I love helping people out. Hey, fuel. Potato-like men are my type. What the, What does that mean? What is, who's potato? Like Mr. Potato? Like literally Mr. Potato Head? No problem here. They're their own individual houses now. Our happy cooling box is just handy dandy. So I'm thinking of buying a happy massage chair next. Don't you think it's about time you at least put a happy box in your home already? Happy cooling box. Happy teddy bear. I wonder what this game is trying to get at with all this consumerism. Hi, box giving a wobbling vibe. Oh, Lucas, are you just so jealous of my happiness? You've come to see it for yourself? Maybe. A little bit. Heading off to a kitchen later. Thank you for hanging out. Come here often. Whoa. Now this is a setup. Yo, he's got a Wii. Nice. A widescreen flat panel thing. Is it a type of happy box? Don't know. Linda's over at the retirement home again, taking care of the senior citizens. I wish she'd take care of me, too. Mm. Yeah. No problem here. Mail. Discreet packaging. If you need something from map loving map owning maps, it must be a map. Yes, you can talk about non map stuff, too, you know. Oh man, Wes is definitely going to go bald. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Bald, definitely. 
Thanks. Is there anyone here who puts money in this thing? Because I just did anyway. If you have any extra money, please put it in here. From your trustworthy and benevolent Mayor Pusher. He became mayor? Oh, I hate him. Oh, you're the worst. Oh, Lucas. Your house certainly enjoys being struck by lightning, I must say. Do you still intend to live in it after all the fires and scorching and dead family members and whatnot? I must admit, it's a real downer on Tasmily Village's image. Oh, yes, yes. Your maternal grandfather has moved into the new and shiny retirement home. Where is it? Across the way. That away. Thanks, Pusher. Oh, hello, Lucas. Don't bother Mr. Fasan and the others too much right now. Um. Oh, hello. Well, if you'll excuse me, hurry, hurry, haste, haste. Hustle and bustle. Good. Pardon me. What happened to a really tall man? Leader? I don't know. See if there's still a bell there. Busy, so busy. He's the same, at least. It's always been that way. Also, maybe Pusher was always the mayor. He just didn't really have, like, a fancy estate and a big car to show off for it. Just kind of had people helping him. The wallpaper here is made to look like a filled bookcase. That's clever. Just want to, like, I mean, you kind of want to smack him before, but now you really want to smack him. Um, let's go. Oh, part, pardon me, sir. Oh, uh, sorry. Excuse me. Uh, see, you, Isaac. Thanks for hanging out. Whoop. I'm gonna save. Go to the retirement home. I do want to. I don't remember where anything is. Door knocking is messing with me. A little bit. Oh. Hey there. Stroke, stroke, stroke. I'm Paddle, president of the Tasmili Boat Club. Aside from the fact we don't have a boat, everything's going great. Stroke, stroke. Stroke, stroke, stroke. I'm Ro, the newest member of the Tasmili Boat Club. Aside from the fact we don't have a boat, everything's going great. Stroke, yes. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Special Nursing Home for Senior Citizens, Old Man's Paradise. There's still a thunder bomb back there. Neat. Uh, yeah, this is where Wes's house was. Maybe we should wait to say hi to Wes. I don't know what progresses the plot forward here. I want to do it. I want to talk to everybody and see how everything's changed. So, time really flies. It's almost been half a year since old Scamp passed away. I get the feeling it's rare for Scamps like him to be so easily forgotten. So in that sense, he's a great Scamp. Oh, Scamp's momentum, Mr. Barry. Oh, Scamp. I'm not stuffed. I'm alive, Dagnabbit. You sure are. Probably still going down the train tracks. Oh. By doing a thing. The thing does progress. Yep. I keep getting hit by lightning. Did someone find out I peed on that happy box or something? How dare you. That's my job around here. All right, let's say hi to Wes. Or Alex here now? Oh. It's me, Arrow. Oh, hello, Lucas. Oh, and Boney, too. Your grandfather's upstairs in the room on the far left. A, a dead parrot. I'm here visiting my grandma. We play games like Pin the Tail on the Leak, Hide and Go Sweep, and The Hokey Pokey. Having your grandchildren visit is a true cause of happiness. I'm so happy. I haven't seen Flint at all lately. How is he? You know, drip, drip, drip. It just looks like a prison, but it's not, I assure you. Oh, hey. Oh, Lucas, did you come all the way here to see me? Uh, yeah. Okay, I was feeling lonely since my grandkids never come to see me. But since you were nice enough to come to see me, I'll give you a little spending money. Not much, but here you go. Keep a secret from my grandkids, though. 50 TP? I can't keep burdening Lisa forever. But I do have a happy box and nice bodied girls like Nan and Linda here to keep me company. So I'm pretty happy in my own way. Nyaha. 
I'm sorry, Mike, but that's called sexual harassment these days. This is a hard world we live in now. How disappointing. Get with the times, Mike! You piece of shit. Cuckoo! That's a fancy shirt you have. He owes 50 bucks. <laughs> I go, he's like, literally just like, <laughs> got some nice girls. I was gonna even make that joke when, uh, when the retirement hole's called Old Man's Paradise. And he's like, yeah, okay, sure, haha. -ha. And he's like, yeah, we got some nice looking goils. Nice. There might be chains on the wall. Hey, Wes. That facade guy screwed everything up in every way possible. What's he trying to do to this village? It's fine. No problem here. Oh, hey there. Ribbit, ribbit. Shave your game, shunny. Sure. He's not an ATM as well. He's just for saving. Ribbit. Don't you worry one bit. I may be old, but I'm still as good as shaving it ever. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Oh, Lucas. How have you been? Lightning hit my mountain cabin a million times, making it impossible to live in anymore. I know it's hard to imagine the lightning was trying to hit my house specifically, but come on, one million times? What are the chances? They say lightning never strikes twice. But actually, lightning always strikes twice, because when lightning hits something, it's multiple pulses of electricity. So it's, it always strikes twice. We're gonna go now. Let's see this training facility they're talking about. Hmm. Tasmanian training facility. Nerd. Yep. This is our training facility. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? Blech. I push my invisible glasses up my nose. I ain't slacking off. I'm just collapsed from sunstroke. Well, then you need a wet towel. You live on the base? He seems to be captivated by the happy box. Hmm. 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 Put Graham to bed. I. Oh. Should probably join the march. Am I doing it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh here we go. Look, I could be a pig man too. Beep, bee. Right, left, right, left, right, left, left, rev, left, light, left, fight, raft, fight, raft. You're distracting me, go away. Did they all say that? Stay out of the way, will you? Here, I'll give you a riddle to solve so you can go think about it somewhere else. Here's the riddle. Jack had a parakeet named Enza. Jack got sick and his parakeet went missing. He was about to give up on life, but then influenza. What illness did Jack have? He was about to give up on life and then influenza. The answer will come at a later time. Now get out of here! It's so stuffy in this mask. Oh, another stuffy day. How should I put this? Saying things such as this may make me seem a tad rude and unsociable, and it's for that very reason that I do not prefer to say it aloud. But if absolutely forced to say what I want to say, I would say, get out of the damn way. Okay. Eesh. You guys want to join our army too? Then you gotta go eat lots and lots until you're nice and big first. Okay. Marching songs become from this cassette player. Yeah. What's your guys' problem? You look like you're trying to screw up our formation or something. That pun is why Reg. Yeah, that specific pun. He got up to this part of the game and went, Hate that. Nope. I'm calling a toy into my office. Dangerous. Not if you have a Drago lying around. Well, that's the only reason. <laughs> that's it. Got roll 10. Thanks for 18 months. Mothman 3 is my favorite video game cryptid. Same. Thank you very much. Enjoy your very mild Chris Skelton key. Uh, Smash Mad. Oh, shucks. Don't you just miss him when we used to talk about women's bodies and nothing else about them? Mm -hmm. Claire Exxon, thanks for 26 months. Oh, wow. Holy wow. Thanks, Barry, for accompanying me, VODs, or streams. Whenever I do my two jobs, eat or work out, hello, chat mods and puppet Barry. Thank you, Claire Exxon. Oh, no. Appreciate it. Now you're worried for the Dragos? We haven't seen them in three years. 
is also like 10 minutes. This village sure has a lot of lightning lately. Pay attention now, let this be a lesson. Punishment falls upon the homes of all bad guys. Oof. Out of the way, out of the way. God, you're so annoying. Shoot, kid, shoot, get. Reggie, no. I'm not releasing Mother 3. Damn it, Reggie, please. I work for GameStop, I don't even work for Nintendo. Reggie, come on. The lightning used to be Reggie's friend, but now this lightning is bad to Reggie. I'm sorry, Reggie. That's what he gets for not localizing the game. A dolphin ossicle. What is that? A fossilized ossicle of a dolphin. An ossicle is an ear bone. Oh, neat. I gotta pick up all the ear bones. What's the story, ear bone? Ah. Good. Glad I opened that. The future sure is something. Wanted. My generation. It appears to be an old concert poster put up by someone. But who? Ha ha. Ha. The stream has now been DMCA'd by the who. Please don't stare directly at me. It might make me want to arrest you. Okay. Excuse me. This village used to have no policemen at all. You gotta be kidding me. Whatever would we do? Too real. Talking about my generation. For those unaware, the, 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 the band, The Who, had a very popular song called My Generation. So that was a reference there for you. Some moron by the name of Flint busted the lock on this door. So I have to stand here like this to hold it shut. Blame my brother. You locked up the dog? I hate this world. Hi, Smash Man. Thanks for the bits. Actually, Lucas is white, so we see from the... Ah! Ah! Woo! It looks like I've been arrested, but I actually came in here on my own. Oh, he's fine. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not coming out. This is the dog's house. So it's okay. I got busted for larceny when all I did was pick up a doorknob I found on the ground. This isn't fair. Where's the doorknob now? How should I know? Maybe it was sent to the forensics lab or something. That's the doorknob of their house. It's gotta be. There's only one doorknob that we've seen. Remember? At the beginning? Ooh, the waves. He came in here to avoid the lightning. Yeah, I don't blame him. At the very beginning, what's his face opened up the door and the doorknob popped off and went bouncing around. That's fun. Um. Notice. Doggo's been arrested. Boy of snakes. Refrain from practicing comedy routines in this area. Greetings, lumber people. Uh-huh. No problem here. This seems like a thing, though. It's got collision. Why would it have collision? I don't remember. Ooh. <gasps> there he is. A frog. A pea. Wait, didn't we talk to a pig that wanted to relax at a beach? Wasn't that a thing? Hey there. That woman over there. She keeps looking this way. I wonder if she likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Thump, a thump. We're getting a pig emote. <laughs> pig in... Listen, frog in a car is yesterday. Now I'm all about pig in a beach chair. This suit-shaped swimsuit's pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it is. Game Boy Advance beaches. No drinking, no swimming. No swimming, no drinking. And swimming while hallucinating is absolutely out of the question. These appear to be a pig mask's shoes. Swallowed by the sea. Gone too soon. That man over there, he keeps looking this way. I wonder if he likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Thump, thump. Oh, how cute. How, you need something? I want to save. Thank you. Swine having a time. A plus joke there. Uh, yeah. How you doing? When I just lie here like this, I can forget about all the bad things in life. If I lay here, if I just lay here, would you walk away from me and let me lay on the beach in peace? As a pig. Something across the sea. Do you ever wonder about such things? Please call me anytime. Who? 
Are you? Who who? It would probably be best if you didn't talk to me. Got that? No. Are you really sure? Everyone hates me, you know. They'll say I talk too much and never shut up. Are you sure you don't want to turn back now? Don't turn back. Do you know what a trumpet is? I was actually thinking about learning how to play the trumpet, but I didn't. It's not that I was bad at it or anything. That's just how it's destined to be. Do you know what destiny is? Destiny. If you do, then that's cool. My destiny just didn't cross the destiny of trumpets, that's all. But thanks to my not taking up the trumpet, I can use the time I would have spent practicing it on other things. That's one way of looking at it. It's not like I'm doing anything wrong here, yeah. I'll start something else and who knows, maybe that'll turn out well. Like maybe I can start practicing the Yanopi. You know what the Yanopi is? It's the proper term for a piano. What if I start practicing the Yanopi, Yanopi now and wind up being the greatest Yanopist ever, charming the hearts of men the world over? If that happens, it'd mean I was right about everything, wouldn't it? My fate still hasn't kissed the Yanopi's fate at the crosswalk just yet, but nobody knows what the future holds, not even mole credit, crickets, water striders, or horned owls. Hey, you smile. Yes, you have a really cute smile, you know that? Anyway, basically, Three years later. You should have turned back when you had the chance. I regret. I regret. Nice scenery. How about some nice love? Please call me anytime. Are these ads? Oh god. You play the Yanopi. I think it's Zombie Lady. Love, that's amore. Amore, that's a love. That couple on the other bench has been really lovey lovey dovey dovey for a while now, but they just won't leave. I wonder what their deal is. Hmm, don't know. Seem to just be enjoying their company and relaxing. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh, Lucas, do you still want to have a happy box at home? Oh, is that all anyone cares about? Out taking your dog for a walk? You must really think you're someone special. Seriously, you don't even work. What are you, a child? Stop crying. Even kids are working at the factory with them. <laughs> huh? What? Even kids are working at the factory nowadays, you know? Well, I guess we better go get a job. At the factory. In the child labor department. Donna's surfboard. She doesn't know how to swim. Yeah, but... but... Donna's training kickboard. She doesn't know how to swim. Yeah, but she likes having it, so... Don't judge her. It looks cool. And they live on the beach. Damn. No problem here. No, it's good TV. In the old days, we sent letters by Dove. And now look at how we do things. The old days was like yesterday. Also... Sending letter by Dove was bad in the first place. I'm gonna give capitalism the win on that one. I think we're ready to go north. Dystopic capitalist nightmare. I mean, it's not really a nightmare. It's just like, oh yeah, they really care about their happy boxes. Went through time skip though, well yeah. Mother 3 set in 1990X. Well, Mother 2 was 1990X. And Mother 1 was like 1980X, I think? I don't know. Oh, look at Barry, those non dove related mail delivery, Mr. Moneybags. Well, excuse me. Banana friend, thanks for 13 months. Heck, heck. Welcome back, thank you. It's just how our world is. Oh, wait. We live in that nightmare. Anyway, Crossroad Station's to the north. Listen, if we didn't have happy boxes, you couldn't be watching the stream right now, so. Thanks, Facade, for the happy box. Check Discord. <laughs> He's really good. more of a self-flagellation box. There he is. That pig's living their best life. Pig. Pig.png. <laughs> it's true. It's true. He's very good. It's 112 by 112, I believe. Are you saying I should upload it to BTTV? Or do you want to upload it to BTTV? 
Do what you wish? Well, heck. Uh, you can? Well, it's up to you. Do you want to upload it? And then send me a link? I right, let me see how many slots I have. Uh, I do have quite a few more slots. Like, 43 more slots. No opinion. I'll just upload it. Wait, what are we calling this pig? What do you want to call this pig? God, that bass line. Where did I just save it? I literally just saved it. Where'd it go? There he is. I have 35, 50 slots filled. Fill your fucking slots. Well, because I pay BTTV for like a billion slots. So, it's fine. Bar pig. Bar pig. Pig time. Bar barkin. Barkin. Pig out. You also pay BTTV. Yeah, but I have like 100 slots. I have 100 channel slots that I upload and then 100 shared slots. I'm almost out of shared slots, but I have a lot more that I can upload. Peak time. E easy, easy breezy peak. What's BTTV? BTTV is better. T well, it used to stand for better Twitch TV. I think it's just better TTV now. Um, and it's a uh, browser extension for like Chrome and Firefox and such, which adds a number of features to a desktop viewing experience. It doesn't work on mobile. But if uh, if you ever see any animated emotes on the stream, those are BTTV emotes because Twitch does not natively support that. Easy breezy beautiful peak beach time .png. I like peak time. I think I need to get more water. Maybe not just yet. Peg time. P E G time. Capital P, capital P. Thank you, dear. That is a very good P. Uh. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's see. Crossroad stations to the north. Cerulean Beach to the west, and east of here is the nursing home for senior citizens. And the south is your house, where lightning keeps striking. I finally figured out this town's layout. Just talk to Mapson. It's fine. Yeah, you don't need BTTV yourself. You can just type in the code, and it'll show up on the on the VOD. You're a Lucas, right? I've heard rumors that you're a crybaby. You don't look like it to me, though. Just, just look at Lucas's face. He's sick of that shit. Go through one traumatic incident after another, and all of a sudden you're a big crybaby. I've only heard the rumors, but are you the ones who stock up on food and then walk around without ever eating it? You really do need to eat, you know. You're still young. Stock up on food without eating it? I mostly have dolphin ossicles. But, fair. Peek time. A sideways hole slide so once they could reach out to pet the pig. <laughs> I'm a police officer. Yeah! I'm going to Club Titty Boo to check out a DCMC concert. I wish work would end already. Hmm. Maybe we should wait. Tasmanly Central Message Board. Read it? Yeah. I say we remodel the old ruins of a Soy Castle and turn into a Tasmanly Resort Facility. Anonymous. If you want to ride the train, go to the station. You can ride the train if you go to the station. A train speeds along. Along speeds the train. Let's go, go, go to the factory on the train. Train station attendance. Is the lightning helping us? Thanks to the lightning, all the dirty old houses are being cleaned away. So in a way, the lightning is helping all of us. That's what I think. A popular citizen. Titty boo is why this game was never localized. Happy boxes are the greatest. Now to develop even bigger screens. Abbott and Abby. TT Boo. I want to be a pig mask too. How can I be one? I know I can be a good one. Please let me be a pig mask. Also, I thought bees is good. Well, goodbye, fried pork kid. After hard day's work, there's only one thing to do. Spend every last DPU on a Club Titty Boo. Club Titty Boo is a paradise of music and other stuff too. Come see the DCMC in concert live, Club Titty Boo. I have sand in my shoes and I don't know what to do. Somebody do something. Nana. 
Why consider working at the retirement home? Veterans of life are waiting for your kindness. But please stop quitting one after the other. Retirement home director. Who in the world is leader? Try as hard as I might, I just can't remember anything about him. It's keeping me up at night. Mike. It's weird. We've been slowly running out of friends at the castle lately. People of Tazmili, please pass away at a faster pace if you would be so kind. Thanks. Anonymous ghost. Notice, Scamp has died. That is all. Staff. Oh, Scamp. Select cheerful police officers wanted. Start a new career as an officer of the Tazmili police force. Do well, and you could even make some pig mask friends. Wow, pusher. Tazmili police? I thought he was mayor. He's also head of the police department? Watch out for chimeras. Strange animals known as chimeras seem to be increasing in number lately. They're dangerous. Be careful of them. From a brave person. Show courtesy to Mr. Facade. There are many ignorant people complain about him. I think that's a very bad thing to do. Tazmili's nothing without Mr. Facade. Please take this to heart. Isaac. Thanks, Isaac. Titty Boo News. Titty News. DCMC to debut a new song soon? Desperado, Reckless, Crash, Powerful, Mambo, Sensational, Combo, Guys. No one can stop the DCMC's momentum now. Hmm. I say we remodeled the old ruins. Servers are, I think, I think we got through them all. Hey, it's Linus from Stardew Valley. This is the Knit Cap Man's car. Yep. Hi there, I'm the friendly item deposit guy. If you have anything you don't need or don't want to carry around, I'm gladly holding on to you for, hold on to it for you for free. I'll take great care of any items you give me and I'll return them to you immediately whenever you want them back. Can I hold on to something for you? Nifty honking governments. It's mine. Um, I think I'll just keep everything. This is fine. Titty who? I'm always traveling to one place or another. If you need anything, let me know anytime. Thank you. Yeah, this is where the bell was. Where'd leader go? There's a blue mobile house over there. The interesting one. It looks like it was made with whatever was handy at the time. You see it there? You see that guy next to it in the knit cap? He'll hold on to any items that are weighing you down. I think it'd be more convenient to leave your cumbersome items with him than to walk around with them everywhere you go. Plus, he doesn't have the goodness of his heart, so he doesn't charge any money. Wow. Well, as we've seen, that won't last. But enjoy it while it does. Hit <laughs> eh. Bread roll. No more nut bread. Sunset Cemetery. Graves never look so scenic. No zombies allowed. They fixed the sign. Good. Oh yeah, there is a giant, um, like plateau here. I think. Pretty sure. No, I don't know anymore. Oh boy, a bomb. A bomb. I hear there's a place along the tracks where magic butterflies flutter to and fro. Cool. Magic. Uh... Wandering Hobo better than Escargo. Basically, every mechanic from Earthbound is better in this, and there's a bunch of stuff that's unique to this game. Which is why I'm like, structurally, systems, mechanics, kind of all objectively better in Mother 3. I think Earthbound is an excellent game, clearly. I enjoy it a lot, and I enjoyed my recent playthrough, but like, Mother 3 is just a, a, a nicer experience to get through. Go say hi to Mom. Yeah, we can. Um, what about this one? No problem here. A new type of grave. Okay, that's what it said. Oh, Lucas, your old man's always visiting Hanawa's grave. Thanks. Remnants of my humble abode. No tourists. Poor Mr. Nipple. Apparently, lightning struck his house 14 times over the course of three years. Wow. Wow. Sucks to be him. Uh, the emotional destruction, uh, notwithstanding. Oh. Flint is always offering flowers. Go. Oh. Lucas, it's been a while now. You should go talk with your mom. Thanks, Dad. Flowers change each chapter. Because he's putting down different flowers. Oh, Bonnie's a good pooch. 
They say that lightning never strikes the same place 14 times. I was not talking to you, phone. Please, no. Quick mute the alerts. Wife of Flint, mother of the twins, class in Stoddard Valley. Where'd they go? They had... Where'd he go? Hmm. How's the castle doing? Yep. Potato. -to. Bees patch. It's all different. And yet the same. Mm-hmm. Paintings are still creepy. So that's good. I don't know what I'm doing here. Probably don't need to be here. Um, maybe we could talk to the ghosts. Uh, yeah. Sure is a castle. Where monkey? Where are the ghosts? Are the ghosts still hanging out? Uh, Klaus is a Spartan. Never registers dead. Always missing in action. Ugh. Just want to see if the ghosts are hanging out. Ghosts left. No, they didn't. I want to cook. I want to cook. Oh, I want to cook. It's gonna haunt me forever. Then, then just cook. Hmm. Guess most of them left. Well, gift boxes with blue ribbons. Remember that. I'm saying the same thing for over three years now. Good work. Peak time is live. Let me refresh chat so you can peak time. And refresh. And come be right back here to start chapter five for a secret. Oh, remind me, because I'll likely forget. There he is, the pig in a chair. He's just living his best life. All right. Let's get out of here. Anywhere else we should go before hopping on the train? Don't know. I guess we go to the forest. Yeah, there's a couple houses there. Take a look real quick. Bum, 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 bum. There's simply been far too much lightning lately. This lightning somehow doesn't seem natural. That said, I can't imagine there being such a thing as artificial lightning. Please throw all your empty cans in the trash bin. In order to read the sign, you had to trample on the flowers at your feet. Did you even realize that? Though the person who placed the sign here is really the one to blame. Oh wait, that's me. Sorry about that. Please throw all your empty cans in the trash bin. Thanks. I feel bad. Oh, a kid from the village. You're so nice and unsophisticated. Thank you? Some sort of special place. Yeah, I guess so. Weird references to dragons. The money's... Oh! 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 A sliver hen. Uh... Sniff it? Sniff it? A biological chimera, weak against ice. Weak against numbness. Oh, hi- ooh. Uh, see you later. Maybe we don't go here. Gryffindor. Slytherhead. Uh, I don't like this. Oh. No suspicious activities allowed. This is an interesting animal preserve. Beef jerky. Kokori hot spring. There's no need to rush. Five cents for roommates. Very spring. Kokori. Extra syllable. God damn it. Enough with the extra syllables. You like it here? Good. Hey there. 
regular old mice, run-of-the-mill snakes, ordinary dragos we think about for sure was boring until three years ago. That's one way to put it. Do you still offer free antidotes? Guess not. Okay. Well, I don't want to deal with any of this. So... Eh, eh, eh. Ha, ha, ah. Let's check out the train. Let's go get a job in a factory. Like a responsible child. Uh, sup? Come on out, Jackie, get real. It can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's seen hide nor hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. Klaus and Duster have been missing for three years. Isaac was not cool. Yeah. <laughs> Isaac used to be cool. Everyone was kind of always a jerk. It's gotta be him. Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh. Hey there, Lucas. You crying right now? I can't tell. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. There's this concert hall named Club Titty Boo past the factory, and the bass player there kind of looks like Duster. Jack here is convinced he's Duster. But he looks just like him. I really think we should tell Old Man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure, we'd only wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. The guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. Anyway, it's time to head home and have some chow while I watch the happy box. He took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving too. See ya, Lucas. Tell Flint I say hi. Okie dokie. Titty boo. When you're scared of a uh, boob. The train won't be coming for a while. Oh, good. Well, guess we can walk on foot, right? Oh, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. good. Hold it! Whoa! Whoa! That's dangerous! What the heck are you thinking? I don't know what your story is, but you're still young. Don't just throw away your life, okay? All right then, now that you understand, go on. And just forget about me. See ya. Thank you, kind stranger. Your life was saved. Maybe we do have to go through the forest then. Well, back to Nightmare Forest. <laughs> Time to fight more snake chickens. I titty the fool. I titty the boo. Thanks, Mr. T. Saved our life. Titty the titty. Yeah. Hmm. Oh god. Oh god. Two of them. It coiled. No. Pecked. Thank you. Can you go tell Wes about possible dust before we go through there, if I remember correctly? Well, yeah, we can go back and tell Wes. I didn't think there'd be anything, but maybe there is. <laughs> Slither Jam. Mm -mm -mm. So I really honestly don't remember. And if someone does know, I don't want the answer. But now I'm nervous that there is something resembling the Mad Duck, but it's a Nightmare Chimera, and I don't want that. I don't want... Oh. Oh. There he is. Facade, stop it. Quit ruining this town any more than you already have. Veronica. That was the last game you played. I don't know. What's the video game? There's something not right about all this lightning, especially today's. I think you guys are behind it somehow. Leave this instant. Keep your grubby hands out of this town's affairs. Why, hello there, Mr. Wes. You know, if you keep making the veins on your forehead pop out like that, happiness will only escape you. By which I mean your hair, in this case. Mm-hmm. In any case, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Well, it's been fun. Please be careful not to trip, get hurt, or go bald on your way home. Cease this violence! I'm no bug, I'm an old man! Bye, Wes. 
I feel bad, but he was always terrible to Duster. So, eh. Shitty people being mean to shitty people. Lucas, quit snooping around me. Don't get in my way. Lucas, I really wish you would put a happy box in your home already, so you can be happy just like everyone else here. I'm always hoping for that day. Yeah. Okay, facade. Sure thing. Oh, part, pardon me. Gotta stick to the sidewalk. There you go. He's hustling and bustling around town. Gotta love that frog in a car. Wes. Oh, yeah. You run around inside. Didn't even think about that. Interesting sound. Uh, no, that's. That, yeah. Always yield to frog in a car. Oh, Lucas, I really embarrassed myself earlier. Curse that facade. Treat me like a bug, like a stag beetle. What? A guy who looks just like Duster? Could that moron still be? Lucas, I'll now lower my voice and talk to you in a whisper. I hate to ask, but you could you go and see if this look like really is my moron or not? Facade's cronies are on the lookout for me, so I can't go anywhere or do anything. Please, go find that moron for me. Here, take this bird with you if you get hungry. If you do find Duster, send this dove to let me know. Cuckoo, cuckoo, at long last, my time to be useful has come! Got the pigeon. Thanks, Lucas. I'd go myself, but everyone's on the lookout for me. Mm. That thing thick. What? Bony? Don't. What? What are you talking about? That's the old folks' home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just got here. Hope to be like that dove. Finally. Oh, oh, I'm so... Excuse me. Pardon me. Yeesh. feel terrible. How's that pigeon doing? Uh, that's gotta be a key item. Yeah. Noted for its skill and work ethic. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now can we hop aboard? The train that goes directly to the factory from the station is currently out, but the conductor is out on the town. I don't think the train will be coming back today. If you really want to go to the factory, I suggest walking along the train tracks. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. But Mr. T is not going to let us. Maybe he will now that it's plot relevant. Wait. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> I don't know what reasons you got. It looks like you want to go through this tunnel, right? I know you won't listen to me if I try and stop you, so here, I'll give you this instead. A map! Oh. Do you know what the most frightening things inside the tunnel are? Nope. They're not slither hens or mutt shrooms or anything like that. The answer is trains. Trains are the most dangerous thing of all in there, so be very careful not to get hit by any. Thanks, Mr. T. The T stands for train. Oh. Oh, this is some business. A mushroom. Can't go through there. Lucky Canty, thank you for 21 months. Welcome back. Thank you so much. And Wallenberg, thanks for 17 months. Happy birthday. Same to you. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Happy birthday to this song. Okay, let's not get mushroomized. Rambling mushroom. I don't need to sniff him. I need to chomp him. Good jam to him, though. Oh, God. No. No. Uh, what's a bigger threat? Probably being mushroomed, so. Damn it. Cat, 
Crap. Don't attack Pony. Thank you. This is not good. Ooh, okay. Yeesh. Seems like it's definitely not straight Yeah, straight, straight, straight linear. Straight line linear. I might get lost. Yeesh. That is rough. Um, sixty. Yep. And sixty is overkill. But I don't want to get too low. Yeah, okay. Strenier. Yeah. Brain work. Good. Get him. Okay. I don't like the mushrooms. Fine. Why am I attacking a cock snake? No! Damn it! I thought that would kill him. That's why I was mashing. You're fine. The sprite check. The sprite work in this game is incredible. Like, I feel like there's a handful of enemies in Earthbound. I mean, most of the enemies in Earthbound are, are bizarre, but then the sprite work is, is like, I don't know, just compared to this, it feels more normal, even though it's very much not. Oh no. Um, are we near a level? Because I don't want to just keep fighting these guys. Eh, kind of. Oh, Pony is. How's our crying boy? Oh, he's sad. That doesn't really stop happening. Snuck up on him. Want to become stronger. Don't give a fuck. No, no, no. Oh, bony. Damn it. Just gotta get through here. Good. Good. Get a mushroom from the mushroom. And this. I. I'm tempted to just run away from all these fights. But uh, I think it'll not end well for us. I won't. I mean, just later on we'll be under leveled. So. There we go. Temple Elder, thank you. I will hydrate. I gotta say though. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ooh. I think it's looking at us. Yeah, it's looking at us. It is nice having a combat heavy area because it's like a chance for my throat to take a break. RPGs are just constant reading, which is fun, but after a while, I'm just like tongue tied. Soup. Squawking stick. It squeaked, but nobody came. Oh God. I wonder if it's like, bum, 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 bum. I don't know if it is. Don't know. It's dead now. It's like a Pez dispenser for birdseed. I don't know. It's kind of fun, maybe, a little bit. Whoa. Oh, there's another one. Like a bird dispenser. Boomstick has a chance of dropping a decent weapon for Lucas. Have I met a boomstick yet? Don't no crap. Mm. Mm. Hi there. Mm -hmm. 
can't get that rhythm down. Some of these get really weird. For the rhythm of the battle. Spread roll. Uh, probably should use that. Uh, egg! Egg. 60 HP. Oh, uh, yeah. Metal mushroom, 20 HP. Sure. Maybe one more. Yeah, there you go. Do 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 do. Oh, there's so many of them. One at a time. One at a time. No, not all three. Not all three. Not all three. Just one. Just get, get over here. Hi. Dude, why are you running? Why are you running? Just, just, just touch. Just now they're all together. I don't want to fight three at once. What are you doing? <laughs> Fine. Now I fight none of you. How do you like that, huh? How about I don't fight you? How you like that? Arf! Don't eat the butterfly. Oh. What's that? Our alerts turned off? Uh, no. Woof, woof. Did that not play? I just click replay on it. Um, Ed Marino, thanks for two months. Hey, welcome back. Enjoy your bronze key. Thank you. And Chad's base face. Three months. Enjoy your silver key. Thank you very much. Thank you. Woof, 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 woof. Girlish clothes are lying on the ground. I see. Um. Wait, do we have PSI abilities? We don't. We just have a bunch of PP. Hmm. Creeper, a man. So we back in the mine. Got a pickaxe swinging from side to side, side, side to side. Side. This task a grueling one. Side. Hope to find some side. The night, night, night. Side. Thank you, Vintage Spiffy, for the hammy. That is a very, very kind thing for you to do. Look at this majestic frog. Frog in a car. Old news. Butterfly frog. Hot off the presses. I'm a magic butter frog. I'm not very proud of my name. Do you need something? Yes. Just some time in your presence, please. Oh. Just to be near you. Your vague expression. I guess it must be my name, huh? No, I just... I just adore this. All of this. There's a butterfly in the lungs. You are a blessing. Butterfrog is love. Uh, we could go up the ladder. Looks like there's not much up here, so... Ooh. Oh, ooh. Well, there's no need to rush. Five seconds rejuvenates. Tunnel spring water. That one's actually a 575, I think. Hey there. Aye, you caught me stark naked. Aren't you that boy I met at Aeolia's house three years ago? Remember, you said you were going to the Drago Plateau to avenge your mother. Huh, that wasn't you? Really? How odd. I'm Ionia, one of the Magipsies. Oh. This is a magic, magic butterfly colony. I often come here to be revitalized after I've worn myself out by overusing my PSI. Are you here because you overused your PSI too? Oh, you've never heard of PSI? That's odd. I sense loads of magical power coming from you. Wait. Just endure it for a little bit. Endure what? Don't struggle. Just endure it for a little bit. Yeesh. Just a little more. Okay. Something awoke inside Lucas. He dreamt. Life up alpha. Healing alpha. Lastly, power welled up from deep within his heart. Lucas realized the power of PK crying alpha. Lucas learned how to use PSI. Hmm. Learning how to cry from this context is not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Hi, Smash, man. It's toy, I swear to Jeebus. Thank you, Smash, man. Hooray. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that scene was supposed to con convey. The fact that Lucas had his head underwater, I wonder if he was like forcing him to hold his breath. 
and it's a hot spring. I don't know. Let's just move on. I can't believe it. You can use PK crying. Not even we Majipsies are able to use it. You sly devil, you. I don't know where you come from or where you're going. Where did it come from, Cotton Eye Joe? But we might meet again. So at least tell me your name, Lucas. I'll remember that. Now go, I want to boil up too. So I guess it was the heat of the hot spring. Because the, the, the idea is that it's like the, the, the physical and emotional turmoil unlocks psychic powers. How do you say the heart symbol? You really love hot springs, don't you? So do I. Thank you. Do 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 do. Da -na -na -na. Let's save so we don't see that scene again. You should be proud of who you are, Butterfrog. You're incredible. Forcefully inducing a fever state by submerging Lucas in hot spring. That honestly makes sense to me. I'm not just saying that. Pulling underwater stimulate an extreme stress. Yeah. Yeah. Remember Amori, the good old times? <laughs> Things were so happy then. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! That mouse. Okay, hey. How you doing? It's like they kind of run. Good. Well. Uh, Slitherhead and really flying mouse. He sure is. Let's cry at them. And you can bark and bite. No, don't. Yeah! No! Nice. Crying! Nice. Pow. I'm just gonna say butt stuff. Just fun to say. It is fun to say. Thank you, Bubbles, for the bits. Ba da da da. Ba da da. Oh, oh! Hi, Pooch. A mut. Oh, that's a mushroom. Sprite makes me kind of uncomfortable. Um, maybe we can just beat it up. Maybe we just beat it up. A mushroom headbutt. Oh. Oops. No, 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 no. Who? It used it on itself? It evolved from Paris. Damn it! No, 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 no. Why is it trying to use it on itself? It's pretty tough. Hey, nice. Loving that. Vintage Spiffy. I just got this notice. Well then. 22 months? I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, okay, hi. It no longer has a brain. Oh, no. It's Last of Us 3. Oh, God. What? My timing felt good there. The problem is this song is a little bit quieter, so once I'm attacking, it's hard to hear the beat. That's fine. Thanks for trying. I'm doing my best. Mutt. Mutt. Woo. Did a little spin. Whole jazz many months. Nice. Thank you, Bumbus. You know who else doesn't have a brain or that monster three years? <laughs> nice. Felt a little bit off. I'm surprised I got 12 hits out of that. Smash! Come on. Come on. No, not that. Not that. Boney needs food badly. Wizard needs food badly. We could use some PSI on him. 60 HP. There you go. There you go, buddy. And, uh, yeah, why not? A little bit overkill, but. 
Please don't write graffiti on signs, like hot dog or dog food. Signed, hot dog. No. Okay. Yeah, Boney does a sneef, which is useful for finding out uh, what they're weak to. Propeller attack, you. Hi! Chirp Chirp! Sparrow advice, have you ever noticed you can send weak enemies flying if you dash into them? Feels pretty good, huh? Pretty addicting, huh? But those don't count as real fights, they won't net you any so-called experience points. Huh? You already knew that? Or are you just pretending to know? You're not pretending, are you? In any case, time this with a sparrow like Chirp Chirp Chirp. I did not know that or remember that at all. But that's really good. It's like an active version of Earthbound System. Where if you're super over leveled, you just immediately kill them. Just gotta pop into them. Uh, I don't know which part you're talking about, Spooky. Spooky Okami. We're on chapter four. So. Maybe that'll tell you. No XP from weak fights. But you can opt into them by walking into them. But if you dash into them, then, uh, take them out. Also, I just got this. Tasmania left, factory to the right, cliff right there, tracks right there. Cliff. Cliff. I don't know. I don't think so. It's been, it's been a very long time since I played the game. I appreciate you being vague though. Um, but I don't know. We did just spend time with the hotspring with the Magi. Whoa. Hello there. Or let's skip the battle and keep the XP. Yeah, but I think I like this system. Because if you're so overleveled, you can take them out in a sec. It's probably not worth getting XP from them. Because you're going to need so much to level up. But at least you can sort of choose if you want to engage with them or not. Especially if you're going for... You're getting front and back sprites of everything in the game. And you're going back through an older area. So I do like that system. But this is a very hype mole. He's jazzed to be here. Oops. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You're not too strong. Nice. Drillbird. Funky mole song. There are so many different battle themes. And because it's a big part of the game, it's... It's important? Like, you listen to the music, you're like, oh, okay. I can tap to this. <laughs> but it's a reason for them to have made a million different battle themes. No. Oh. Uh. uh eat the beef jerky. Good thing I healed. I wonder if there's a weird time with this. Uh. So I'm, I'm feeling like I'm consistent, but I keep messing it up, but I could just be bad. They sound like famous pop songs. Some of them do. Most of them, I think, they are just original. There are a lot of music references throughout the game, though. Uh, oh, our egg turned into a chicken. And some rare crested bird with stylish erect tail feathers. The chicken dashed off at breakneck speed. Good. Good. Um... Let's just have Boney eat something. Nope, nope. There you go. TOS little tail feathers. They'll get you. We're almost there. To the factory. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nice dodge. That was close. We are increasing the number of cattle snakes. They are extremely dangerous. If you see one, stay away. View them from a distance only. Chimera Laboratory. Okay. Don't gotta tell. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Is there a place to save? So I can try to fight it? Can I start the game over? No, <laughs> don't make me go through it twice. Uh. Gotta work our way through them. Okay, fine. Hello. Oh, I did the spin.
These are cute. Some of them are cute. Some of them you won't. Not a fan of. Uh. Youngsters, here's your chance to sw to sweat beautiful sweat. Part-time help wanted at the factory. All those interested apply at the factory right this way. Thank you. Hello. It's 50 DP per person for factory workers. For everyone else, a ticket to Crossroad Station is 2,500 DP per person. Are you factory workers? No. No. I suggest you walk to Tazmilly. Wow. Also, there's no way to safely walk because... Oh, there he is. It's all monsters and bad times. Did they respawn? Uh, yep, yeah, fine. DP Dragon Power is the name of their currency. Oh God! So it is bump 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 bump. The charge bop. Yeah, I could try charging of them. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh uh. Bump 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 bump. He well, Bony Bony can eat. Bony can eat. We're gonna cry though. You can eat a nut bread. Yeah. No. Dodge. No. A little strange. Not mushroomized though. Just strange. Just, just do it again. Just do it again. Eat another nut bread. All better, Bony. This is fine. There you go. Get out of my sight. It's not dance points. Well, we can think it's dance points. Should consider returning to Tasmania if you get the factory worker thing. Get some food and armor and stuff. Yeah, because we'll get some money. Oh, oh god. Oh, we're walking backwards. Yeah, boy. Oh, okay. Oh, we're off. Thank you, mushrooms. Casablanca, Humphrey Bogart. Breakfast at Tiffany's, Audrey Hepburn. Play Night for Outer Space, some nuts. Damn. They worked hard on that terrible movie. Flea powder, what is that good for? Best solution for flea problems, they're gone before you know it. Maybe we maybe we give that to Boney. Maybe like a, well, one of those. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe a healing as well. Ed Wood just got dunked on by Mother 3. Toys shameless. Uh, I guess we try to dash into him. Nope. Didn't work. Please are a status condition. Which I think anyone can get, not just Boney. Don't you dare. Okay, sure, life up. Nice. Like, very good. It's very satisfying, satisfying to nail a weird rhythm. Okay, let's get a job. Woo! Can't stand doing work. I hate it. I wish it'd be night already. Then I could go to Titty Boo. Guess you wouldn't understand, huh? Aren't we like the same age? Maybe you're a little older. It's fine. I like him. Hi. Hmm. Did I get a lot of? Oh, we got we got some DP. So I wonder if it's like Earthbound, if you lose DP when you die. So maybe there's a reason to not withdraw all of your money, except for when you're making purchases. I don't know. Yeah, frogs are dead. Flint's too busy, you know, dealing with his trauma. Uh, so it's fine. We have frogs. Lucas wouldn't understand the team. No, he gets it, maybe. Hey there, Lucas. Working in the factory isn't easy, but you do get free tickets to Club Titty Boo out of it, so it's not all bad. There's a vending machine. Would you like to use it? Uh, what do you got? Busy soda, 20 HP, beef jerky, antidote, paper fan, eye drops. So when tears just won't stop, one drop will do the trick. Flea powder. I'm good. No problem here. Eh. Kind of slide on him when you walk into them. Cool. Who do I talk to to get a job? Hey, there, you're, you're there. 
Oh, we saved. We can try to fight one of those uh, giraffe things outside. Oh, Teddy Boo's right through there. No one being sus? Good. Problem here. Can we just go to Titty Boo? For those wishing for another day of wonderful leisure time, Club Titty Boo has what you want. Let our profoundly bizarre atmosphere wash over you. Ropeway Station is that away. I love when a sign says that away. Eh. When the Lucas is sus. Is he red or is he yellow? He's both. Eye drops. Good. He needs those. He cries a lot. Oh! Oh! Whoa, I forgot about all these gentlemen. Oh boy. Oh god, there's... There are so many bad times to be had in this game. With fun chimeras! Uh... Dang it! Why am I so bad at the timing for this one? The mole's literally a Pokemon? Or is the Pokemon literally this mole? Hmm. Oh god, okay, yeah. Those are apparently tough. Uh, give me the map. Area map. How specific? Oh. So we just walked out, there's the factory, and then there's a mountain with things to the left. And... A bunch of shit to the right. Mm -hmm. Seems about right. This ropeway leads to Club Titty Boot. You want to ride up it? Uh... Yeah, if I can. Tickets, please. You don't seem to have any tickets. I can't let you on without tickets. Let me in! Let me in! Fine. Let's go get a job. Oh, pardon me. Teddy Boo, Teddy Boo, how about you? Oh. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Are you here at the factory for something? If you feel like working, I'm sure they'll hire you. I feel you, buddy. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Hey, you suspicious fellow. He just called us sus. What are you doing here? What's that? You want to go to Club Titty Boo? That's a special place for workers here to go and relieve their daily exhaustion. It's not for people who don't work here. If you absolutely have to go there, then it's simple. Just do some part-time work here. What do you say? Are you up for some part-time work? Yeah. Yeah? Add this to the list of reasons why Nintendo won't localize this game. <laughs> then that makes things easy. The job is to transport Clayman. First, go all the way inside. You'll find a ladder there. Go down it. You'll find a bunch of Clayman in the area below. Some of them will be almost out of energy, so you gotta bring them back up here. Bring them one at a time. After you've brought up three, you're done. Just to be safe, I'll give you this sketch of how the factory's laid out. Oh, and sign your name on this document. No, no, not your name. I mean, you know, the name of of the person in the background. The person pulling the strings, I guess you could say. What I mean to say is the, the, the player's name. I just need it for verification purposes. Nothing too important. You know how it is. Anyway, if you could go uh, go do that, that'd help out a lot. Um, sorry, chat. You're, you're a co-signee on this. You're welcome. Ah. Great, Barry and Chat. Is that your correct name? Yeah. Barry and Chat. All right, got it. I'll add it to our records. Now listen, don't do anything bad because that'll only inconvenience Barry and Chat. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that. All right, then, work hard. Hold on, dog. Dogs have dog things to keep them busy. Dog, go on ahead and do what the boss dog says. Bo boss dog? Oh... Pony. It's okay, boy. Just do whatever the boss dog says. It's probably like roll around in this dirt over here. The clay men low on energy are very weak, so you know which ones they are right away. All right, hop to it. What's wrong? I've forgotten what to do? No. No, hop to it. I for one fully support sending the child to work so you can pay for the strip club. <laughs> oh, they're all goopy. Nope. What do you mean, no problem here? Lucas, this is the definition of a problem. No. Car census, thanks for three months. Welcome back. Enjoy your silver key. I very much appreciate it. Bubbles, thank you for the 69 bits. 
Uh... He's got the same problem Ness has. Looking at terrible things and saying, no problem. I had to leave him back. I'm almost scared to ask about brother. What, Klaus? He's been missing for three years. As has Duster. We're currently get taking on a job at this factory so we can go take the tram to Club Titty Boo because apparently the in-house band there has a bassist who looks like Duster who has also been missing for three years. So, that's what we're doing. Everyone's working down below. They're digging up clay to make claymen out of. I see. When we zap claymen low on energy here, they start moving again. These machines almost seem to invite you to use them. But you can't touch them. People can't touch them or else they get zapped something fierce. I've never touched them, of course. But I really want to. Ignore the urges. Ignore the urges. You're gonna get zapped. Yep. Journal. Hey there, Lucas. Did you come to see me? Oh, you didn't? I see. How's Flint? Same as always? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dead wife? Mm-hmm. Yep. Missing child? Gotcha. You're sad? <gasps> the dog things! And the pig things. I see. The new guy with the dark fur is so annoying. It's like, just shove him work, will you? He's doing great! Stay away from him. Eh. <sighs> Woof. It's nice to exercise once in a while. No more pig time. Oink, oink, he says. Uh, yep. It is pig powered, so. You unionize the dogs and the pig. He is health. He is the embodiment of health. Fully revitalized. Okay, down we go. Down we go. Down. Down. We gotta take the ladder. Down we go. Also, I love how early in the game, you like a clay man is a boss, you're fighting pig men, and one of the first things post time skip is a pig man outside your house just standing there. You're like, huh? And you're like working for them and talking to them. It's just. It's interesting how these dynamics keep shifting. Hey, part timer! I use this lift to send low energy clay men up to the ground floor. Bring one here and talk to me. Okie Also, there's like no music here, just noises. You're doing great, buddy. Part, pardon. Let's see what's... Oh, this is the lift. Right. Pups and pigs get a good benefit package. They deserve it! I miss Brick Road. <laughs> Remember how wacky... Earthbound's just wacky weirdness with like, eh, there's a little bit of a cult in this part and a little bit of whatever over here. Some shady adults doing weird stuff. Um, but it's mostly fine until, like, the very end. This game is just... an emotional... roller coaster. Uh... What we got here? How you doing? Okay, I thought you might have been tired. Guess not. Brick Road was the real MVP. He's tired. Hey, buddy. Can you, can you follow me? No? Hmm. Well, our coaster's go up and down. It's just down. <laughs> no, I think it's one of those uh, drop coasters where you like go up the thing and then it, you fall down and then you kind of bounce up and go back down. Because it does go up and down. You're like, oh god, we're falling. Whoa, I feel a little better. Oh, here we go back down. And then you end up down. You want to go to Club Titty Boo? That's what the ropeway behind the factory's for. You can go straight there by going up the ropeway. If you think about climbing up the cliff instead, just forget about it. Forget about it. Ah, crap. I screwed up big time and broke this clay man. I'm gonna have to haul this to the lift and carry it to the entrance. Looks like I'm stuck doing overtime today. It stopped moving. Hmm. Oh, is that you, Lucas? Are you someone else? I never imagined that you, of all people, would ever take the ropeway up to visit Club Titty Boo. You are Lucas, right? You're not currently crying, so I can't tell. Once a day, I just have to finish work so I can go to Club Titty Boo. So I can see Violet and all her hotness. <laughs> oh, he is indeed a pig. Got it. This factory is for digging up clay, but I hear it has one other secret purpose. I don't know if it's true or not. They say there's an insanely huge dragon buried underground. Supposedly, it's bigger than this whole island. Yeah, right. You gotta be kidding me. Good. 
Well, how do I how do I get these guys out of here? You're not currently crying, so I can tell it's completely fair. <laughs> Understood, sir. Can I, oh, I just got I just gotta push him. Okay. There you go, buddy. Eh, right this way. There you go. He's just a, he's low on juice. Gotta give him a little zap. A little bit of a, a little energy fuel. You know, you know how you do. Nope, nope. Right this. He got those moves. Nope. Oh, hold on. Oh, there you go. It's a living. Oh, I bumped my mic. Yeah, crap. Uh huh. Pardon me. Pardon me. Playman coming through. And here you go. Right over here. What? Can you just... Brought one already, have you? Hold on a sec. Don't get squished. Don't get squished. Please don't get squished. Okay. There you go. No need to be so harsh. Oh, I get to ride up with him. Yay. This is fun and dangerous. How you doing, Boney? Look at us. A couple working stiffs. <laughs> See you at break time, Boney. All right. Right this way. Sir, sir, sir. There you go. Oh, good work, Lucas. That's one. Oh. That was fun. Ooh, he's vibing. Yeah. Go get him, tiger. There should be some more. Just bring him on up here. Only two more to go. That was like... Like, that felt half-hearted and triumphant. It was just like... Alright. Oh. Okay. This is certainly a lot easier. There you go. And you good. Just a sec. Thought they were gonna squish him. He's fine. Am I just packing in for tonight? All right, no worries. Thanks for hanging out, Smash Matt. Why'd he run like a titan? Because he was full of juice. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Right this way. Right this way. Yeah. Ah, he's so squishy. Look at his feet. Good work. You just leave it there. We'll handle it from here. Go and get the next one. Only one more to go. Oh, God. He's got lots of juice now. Uh, where is the one? Who's Who needs juice? Who needs juice? Anyone down here? Yeah, you need juice. Come on, buddy. I got you. He just needs a little nap. He's all tuckered out from working with no breaks because he's an automaton. Oh, God! The metaphors are hitting me in waves. We're fine. Just gonna keep going. Filled with determination and electricity. Come get your juice. Weren't we monkey for a bit? Yeah, we were monkey for a bit. We haven't heard of uh, salsa in a long time. I'm sure he's fine. He's free now. He's probably just hanging out with his girlfriend monkey somewhere. Living the good life. All right, buddy. I miss monkey. <laughs> Hopefully next time we see him, he's in a better place than he was in chapter three. Yep. Good vibe. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Here you go. No, no, no. Yeah, get in there. Nice. That's enough for today. Don't forget to pay get your pay from Mr. Brown. He's the guy at the entrance. Child labor done. You finished your part-time job. Should go get Boney though. Come on, Boney. 
No? Okay. We'll meet you at the exit then. Hope Oni gets paid too. So. Yeah, there's Boney. Good job today. Here's your reward for a hard day of work. A ticket. And here's your pay for today. 200 DP. That's not nothing. Work every day and you can make even more money. Work up a good sweat as you strive for your dreams. You're still young after all. It's gotten really late. Go relax at Club Teddy Boo and have a good time. Good job today. Yay, Boney. Boney and Money. Mm, 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 mm. Isn't 200 DP 20 bucks? Maybe. I think dogs should vote. I think dogs should vote. Uh, do I have anything I want to drop off with this gentleman? Mm, eh, it's fine. We got plenty of room. That's exactly what I said last time. Titty boo! Should we see what's over to the right before we take the tram? Oh, we can just walk a bunch of places around here. What do you guys think? Should we hop on the tram or should we try to walk around a little bit? Fight the cow. We did just save, so... Oh, God. It's a cattle snake. Uh, let's punch it and give it a sniff. It's a biological chimera weak against ice and crying, just like me. Oh, God. Oh, no. Run. Oh, run, 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 run. No, he's already dead. Stop. Run, 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 run. Run, run, no. Oh, it's staring at us. Run! Oh, Boney's sad and tired. Uh, life up, Boney. No effect. No, no eff He has no HP. We, how do we heal him? Uh, we can't run either. Oh, God. Uh... Why is that not the timing? Is it double time? Don't know. Is my refrigerator running? Yeah, it's receiving power. How's your refrigerator doing? Oh, we can't run because Pup is tired. Uh, Press the go back button on your real GPA. <laughs> There's a hot spring to the left? There's a body of water, but I don't know if we can get past this gentleman. Maybe we can, because it's left here. Uh, oh god. Uh, is this a hot- that's just water. I don't like wandering around here with my dead dog. Good, glad to hear- oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh god, run, 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 run. Oh, I want to be away from here. I don't like being here. I want to go home. I want to just hang out. Oh my god. Uh, what is the timing of this? Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Fine. 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 This is the game saying, don't fight this shit. <laughs> god damn. Oh! There's no hospitals. What do we do with so when a party member's dead? What? Oh. That's a hot spring. Well, now we get to fight all the way back out of here. Want an egg? Sure. Leave it to me. Eggs. Yolks and whites. Who needs hospitals when you have hot springs? There's no need to rush. Five seconds rejuvenates. Murasaki spring water. A few extra syllables. Oh, Time to run. Oh god. Oh no. Oh fuck. Everything's trying to kill me. Salt water gun. Oh no. Uh, this is an Australophant. It has two heads. I'm gonna cry at it. Um. Oh no. Not good. Not good. Yep. Yep. I bet it will. Yeah, I bet it will. 
One damage. Life up, life up, life up, life, just, just, just. Here we go dying again. Run away? Oh, we ran. Oh, now Lucas is tired. Eh, chin up, buddy. There's a hot spring around the corner. I need to get the hell out of here. Hmm. So nice of them to spawn you after death on the far side of a couple screens of enemies. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Just keep going right. Yeah, we're just gonna run. I wanna see what that gun I got does. Yeah! Hi. Shoo! Scram! Get out of here, you kid. And dog. This seems important. Okay, well, fine. Maybe I won't. Oh, uh, whoa. Careful. Easy does it. Okay. <gasps> no, no. Okay. Hi. Whoa. Oh, ho. Salt water causes metal or rust. Damages mechanical enemies. <laughs> Don't pee in the hot spring. Pee whatever. You're an adult. Actually, Lucas is a child. A sad child. Thank you, Sargato. Doing Sean. Good. And no, don't Thought. change the subject. <laughs> Boney's an adult. Thanks for the ten dollars. That's why Boney was like, Do you want to go on a walk? And Lucas was like, Yeah, okay. Uh. You're okay. Okay is, is better than bad. Marquis, thank you for a tier two resub and 37 months. Hi, Barry. Bye, Barry. Thank you, Marquis. Be well. I hope you're well been subbed for over three years and that's nuts to me thank you so much and Sargoto, did i hear you say you needed ten dollars so you can buy a burger and or wings tonight no you did not but apparently you can read my thoughts so that's one more reason for me to be concerned thank you Sargoto. what should i do for dinner god knows i'm not cooking imagine that this ropeway leads to club titty boo you want to ride up it darkness oh. emotionally present dad Corn beef hash, pizza, bunger, borgor, and wings. Borgor pizza, cheeseburger pizza. Tickets, please. Everything's in order here. Please get on. We're going to Club Titty Boo. Gummy bears, fish. Lucas gonna see some Titty Boo. Ribblepeed. Become the meat. Let's go. Let's see what this bassist is all about, huh? Binoculars, one DP for a look. You gotta pay just to use your eyeballs. All right. Was it worth it? It's an ominous looking tower. It actually looks kind of nice. It's like a big ball of cheese. Mm. What, Boney? Don't want me to pay another dollar and hold you up to the thing. There were fireworks inside. Ah. Neat. Pardon. Hey there. Hey, Mr. Frog. I would like to save if I may. Thank you. I will give my regards. An elephant statue. At least it's not an Australophant. Like the distant music on the wind. So we're yeah, all the way up there. Uh, hi, gentlemen. Oh, okay, all right. Whoa there, his name is Skinhead. Haven't seen you around here before. We don't allow pets inside. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. But he's a good boy. Come back some other time. Neckbeard. Hmm. Hmm. No. 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 <laughs> You're gonna say none of that, pup. Oh. Well. Guess that's it for Club Titty Boo.
Whoa! It's that guy who had a dog with him just a minute ago. And some dog-like dude. No, there's something fishy about this. Where'd that dog from earlier go? And where'd this dog-like dude come from? And on top of that, you smell underage. Uh, what? Mm. Don't, you, sm you smell like an underage kid and a dog. Now that you mention it, this is weird. Uh-huh. Add it to the list of things that Nintendo said no. No suspicious people allowed. That's our rule here. Scram, get lost, you kid-like guy and you dog-like dude. Nah, I say we pulverize them right here. Oh my. If it isn't the underage smelling poo and the dog smelling woof. I take it you two have been mistaken for an underage kid and a dog yet again. Oh, ho, ho. What? You know these dudes, Violet? I don't know. I still say there's something not right about these guys. Especially this dog-like dude here. Bonnie's just sweating nervously. Shake! Don't look away from me! Shake! See? You do know how to shake. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, I do know how to shake, but... Come on, Boney. Just play cool. This guy's definitely dog-like, but it seems he isn't a dog. But dude, if by chance you are a dog, you'd be one of the best dogs to ever shake. <laughs> Wonderful. Come in, have lots of fun, and forget about all your worries. It's a bummer that Boney's not in my party anymore, but at least we get to go into Club Titty Boo now. DCMC Fan Club, members wanted. D, Desperado. C, Crash. M, Mambo. C, Combo. We're looking for help for the cheering squad. Try your best and good luck. I like her. Wonder if she is. I thought you were talking about Boney. Please enjoy yourselves. Good job. Thank you. We passed. DCMC merchandise available only at Club Titty Boo. Come stop by if you want to support us. No problem here. No problem here. That ain't Falco. Let's get in there. Hey, dude. Have fun. I fucking love Pony. Pony in that costume is the best. And I forgot about it until we walked up, and I was just like, oh god. I remember. Oh, I remember. <laughs> and there was a, an allusion to this earlier in the game. Which was subtle. A few people in chat were like, oh, we don't have restrooms for dogs here. Oh, you're not a dog? My apologies. Hee <laughs> hee. Here we are. Big City Soda is on sale now at Club Titty Boo. You really should try one, at least one. Big City Soda, 20 HP, 30 HP, 100 HP, 7 HP. <laughs> and a doggy biscuit. <laughs> Favorite treat of my dogs. Why don't they don't allow dogs into the club and they're like, oh, buy a soda and burger or and a dog treat. Just don't don't worry about it. A slot for money. 10 DP? Mm, okay. Oh, we got a cola for, for 10? Is that the same price? For the cola? Hey, it is the same price. Okay. Listen, dog treats are delicious. <laughs> Listen, who hasn't watched Scooby-Doo and been like, yeah, I eat a Scooby snack? No problem here. Shh, listen, but don't change the expression on your face. I know I'm dressed in this crappy girly outfit, but it's me, Kumatora. <sighs> what? There she is. We met at the Sunshine Forest, remember? I'll explain everything later. Put on a smile, will ya? Okay, good. Okay. Next DCMC song's about to begin. Please go on in and find some empty seats. Tee hee. All the waitresses here giggle at the end of everything they say. I really wish they'd get rid of that rule, though. It's so stupid. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, uh, how's it going? I got some homemade DCMC merchandise for you right here. If it breaks or rips, I'll stay up all night to fix it. Nah, just kidding. I kid a lot. But never mind that. Buy some of these here DCMC goods. 
Pamphlet effective against these CMC fans. Shirt, hat, ring. These are pretty good and expensive. And a pickled veggie plate. Old fashioned pickled vegetables. Thank you. No quips. Tondagasa, that's the greeting, you know. The greeting, Tondagasa. You should at least learn the DCMC greeting, you know. Can I see what's back here, please? Keep out. Staff only. I'm sure that's fine. Par pardon? Pardon? I like that Bony still runs on all fours. Well, that's a really dog-looking dude with you. Oh, there he goes. Good. Are you a lady? Uh, sure. There's someone in here. And what if I say no? This is the ladies' room, you know. Yes. I am aware. Save your game? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, frog. He's, he's having a... He's hanging out in a frog pond. Well, let's see the show. Yeah! Yeah! I love you, magic! Bacho, bacho! Frog in a box. OJ, woo! Zmiz, you're the greatest! Yeah, lucky! Wow, you're really late. The DCMC concert's already over. Nom, nom. Everyone's just waiting for the encore now. Hee <laughs> hee. Crunchy Kimochi, thanks for nine months. Barrested. I am indeed barrested. Welcome back. Enjoy your ruby key and your baby. Tondagasa. In my line of sight is that girl who's always at the beach. She's staring at me like she really likes me. I'm starting to think that I could like her too. I hope the encore starts soon. Oh, and after each concert, one of the girls here even gives out free DCMC pamphlets. See that scary looking guy over there? I thought for sure he was our head honcho, but apparently there are people way, way higher up on the ladder than him. Yeah, seems to be. I do want to talk to this guy. I've been wondering about it for a while now, but you know Lucky, the bass player? That totally has to be a wig. Heh. <laughs> hmm, looks like, looks like Duster wears a wig, plays the bass, and in combat, Duster's music thing was the bass. I'm sure it's coincidence. Tondagasa! In my line of sight is that man who's always at the beach. He's staring at me like he really likes me. I could like him too. There's just one guy who makes the whole world go round. No, actually, I'm not sure if it's a guy or not. I guess it could be a woman or even a kid. What are you talking about? Lucky, the bass player definitely looks a lot like Duster, but I don't know. There's something different about him. I can't quite put my finger on it. Don't know. These front row seats belong to us. Stay away from here. You have some nerve. Ew, you have such a hairy face. Don't be nice to my friend. He's self-conscious about being 100% covered in hair. Pork trooper. Yeah, what do you want? You smell like a dog. Like a dog and a kid. This ain't no place for dog smelling kids to come. Okay. No problem here. How do I sit down? I wanna watch the show. Maybe I sit down to the seats right behind them? Yep. No. Tessie the sea monster, the very same. Dogs are like 95% hair. Right. Arf. The encore won't start if we keep walking around like this. Let's go sit down, okay? Thanks, Bony. Walking like this is exhausting. It's tough. Here he goes. What would you like to drink, sir? Hee <laughs> hee. You want water? <laughs> oh, hey there, Lucas. I was wondering who in the world would order water in a place like this. I mean, come on, water. Hey, Violet, baby. One fizzy soda for this here boy. And a big city cola for his dog-like friend. It's on me, the great Thomas, of course. Certainly, sir. One fizzy soda instead of water and one big city cola coming right up. He, he. Kind of like Thomas. He's all right. He actually gave a shit when the forest was on fire. Never thought I'd see you here, Lucas. 
Here you are, gentlemen. Listen, but don't change the expression on your face. There's a lot I need to talk to you about after the DCMC concert's over. After it's over, don't leave. Hang out in the lobby. I'll be here. I'll be there to get you. See you later. You idiot, don't change your expression. Enjoy yourselves. Hee 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 hee. She's doing a great job. Hey, Lucas, what were you and Violet talking about? Never knew you were such a ladies' man. Oh, it's starting. There they are. Tondagasa, are you enjoying the show? Oh, my pork. Looks like our time is up, sad to say. So here's one last song for you. Here's King P's theme. Hit it! The P stands for... Uh... Like how the keyboard player resembles the keyboard player from the Runaway 5. It's nice. Damn. Hmm. That basis does resemble Duster a little bit. I'm teen years old, sir. His hair is totally different, it's true, and there's just something about him. Mm. Might not be Duster. This guy with the same mustache. In bad breath. Cool. I played it one time, Cheese. This is my second time playing it. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Vai. The remastered versions of DCMC songs? Oh, nice. <clears throat> And they're gone. Poof. Arf. My ears are ringing. Dogs do have sensitive ears. Hey, Lucas, what are you and Vile talking about? Hey, man, you're good. On the gossip. One of us still train heading home. Where is everyone in DCMC's lost their memory? Huh. I want to be in a band, too. See, I told you so. Lucky the bass player's wig started to come off during the Tonda Goss song. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, my pork. What if all the trains have stopped running for today and I can't get back home? Yeah, yeah, man. That was great. Now to head back to the factory and put in some overtime. <laughs> yeah. If Lucky really is Duster, why hasn't he recognized me? Hmm. Guess we just got the answer. This place smelled a little more dog like today than usual, but it was still a great show. I wish I could listen to them forever. Man, the DCMC are always so awesome, no matter how many times I hear them. Tondagasa, Tondagasa. Nice. Wasn't that DCMC show just great? It was so full of soul. How about a DCMC pamphlet as a souvenir of your visit to Club Titty Boo? Tee hee, sure. Does my dog friend get one too? They're real popular with diehard fans. You just scored yourself some nice swag. DCMC pamphlet. Good. Better than paying for it. Dogs smell great. Well, <laughs> depends on the dog. Titty boo. We wouldn't have restrooms for dogs. How dare you? Um, oh, there she is. Got a text from Deer. I guess I will stand by. Um... Yeah, pamphlet's a hundred. Getting that for free is definitely better. 
Uh, that's... Dear. I don't know what they're sending me. Let's go ahead and save. There we go. This game's really something. And we have pretty much scratched the surface. There is lots more to come. Oh, it does say Titty Boo on the rug. Nice. Hey, ya. Uh, Building scenes where the band's call out family play through the whole game with their shirt. <laughs> I don't even have enough money for it. This way, this way. I also recommend buying one. Do I need to? I know what I want one for. Also, how do I get more money? Probably from this guy. How much money do I have? Mm, still about 600. 800 total. Maybe I could buy some swag. You think it's worth it to buy the gear as well as the pamphlet? Guess let's watch the Beard Bros. You should play. Watch the Beard Bros. playthrough. It's a classic. We could afford everything but the ring or Defense 7, though. Hmm. Uh, hey, Ozix. Thank you. So far, so good. I just heard not to buy two. Oh. I almost recommend buying one. No, don't buy two. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I know I want one. I just didn't know if I want. You can give the hat to Boney too. We can have matching hats. Oh, sh shoot. How about we buy a shirt and two hats? <laughs> How do we feel about that? Almost recommended buy one before you got the free one. Glad I didn't. Oh, gotcha. I see what you're saying. Hate hats. Um, I think it's unrelated pickle, pickled veggies. So, equip it, and you can sell it all at once. Oh my god! Although that was an Earthbound, so I'd be bummed if it wasn't here. Hat. And then let's get another hat for Boney, which you can do from the same menu. Love it. Yeah, now we don't have enough. That's fine. Feels pretty good. Nice. All right. Oh! Still can't go in here? Nope. This game copied Earthbound. Can't believe it. Mmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, so I assumed... So Deer texted me and said, Sticky pork belly incoming, and then texted a picture of cooking food. And then said, I'll Discord it. And I was like... If, if Deer is sending me pictures of food, Discord's gonna be way better than texting it using MMS. What are you doing, Deer? There you go. Thank you. That is indeed cooking food. That looks yummy. I'm getting hungry myself. Hurry it up this way. This is not yet another Undertale clone. Deer got, Deer's allowed to get excited about food. I just get irrationally... Oh, slugs. I just get irrationally upset when people I typically refer to, typically talk to through Discord, or like, let me text you a picture. I'm like, just, just Discord, it's so much better. Fight the slugs, all right. Row, row, fight the slugs. They're hiding a lot of treasure. Irrationally slug. Slimy slug and cohort. How tough are they? Let's find out by crying on them. Cry. Seems okay. Well, it's worth it. Yo, Boney, it's up to you now. Boney, we're both asleep now. And a new slug has joined. Uh oh. Who said fight the slugs? Oh god. The typical dry slug, with no slime. Hey, I'm awake. What did I miss? Um... Nice. Smash. No, please. He's our- he do he's asleep! Phony's asleep and he's still dodged! Oh my god. Stop. Phony. Uh. Thank you. This one's gonna be at full HP. And we're asleep. Oh, he dodged. Is it...
No. Well. Good. Good work, Pony. Okay. <laughs> like, what's the downbeat? Okay. And it's dead. Great. Made you look. Saltwater gun. Uh, made you look. Tricks now into turning around. Oh. I thought it was actually just playing a prank on me. Uh, we should probably heal up a bit. How much do I need? Uh, that's overkill. Do I have anything that's a little oh, a mushroom? There you go for bony. And oh, a spring egg. Isn't that gonna turn into a chicken? HP. That's fine. Are they spread out? I could probably give some more stuff to Boney. Yeah. Um. Uh, maybe give this to Boney. And maybe a jerky. There you go. There you go, bud. Oh, well, there's more slugs. I went into the hot spring with my fresh egg. Oh, that's why it's cooked. Oh. I didn't even think about that. Pow. This game's amazing. There, there's just a lot of very random things that they put a lot of thought and effort into. Which is always a fun thing in a game. But it's like, they didn't have to do that. But they did. That secret passage is handy, but I always get covered in mud every time I use it. Not to mention that sticky junk from all those slugs. I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick, so just relax here. Frau. Hello. I'm gonna say. Maybe I should deposit my extra DP, just in case. You can try it too at your local hot spring. They'll hate you. But you could try it once. Uh, deposit. Yeah, there you go. I will give my regards. No problem here. Now. So. Some way or another, I wound up with this fancy room anyways. Go shower, you two. There's even a hot spring in there if that's more your thing. We can talk afterwards. Okie doke. When did frogs become bank? They were always bank. After showering, the three conversed at great length, almost as if filling in the three-year gap that had separated them. They discussed the rescued monkey. They discussed the hummingbird egg from Osohe Castle and how it went missing. They discussed the fact that one of the DCMC band members appears to be an amnesic duster. And they discussed the mysterious army that had radically transformed Tazmili Village. As if assembling the jumbled pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, they told each other what they knew to put their thoughts together. The coming battle will not be easy. This, more than anything, they knew all too well. I want to be stronger. It was around this time that Lucas truly began to have such feelings. Feelings other than time for me to cry, I guess. Mr. Saturn's coffee is just taking a nice shower. It's nice. The Mr. Saturn coffee music was a jam, though. This is just kind of nice and relaxing. And that's how I finally managed to sneak myself in here. I love that Boney is still standing up and wearing clothes. But we'll never find out what happened to the hummingbird egg until Duster regains his memory. At this rate, there's no telling when the pigs will get their hands on it. Lucas, see Duster and try talking to him. Maybe he'll remember something if he sees you two. There's guards outside. They're not exactly bad guys, but I don't want to risk making things more complicated. Climb up this ladder and go through the attic. You can get to Duster's room from there. It's not the most direct way of getting there, but you're less likely to get caught. I'll get all the D DCMC members together. I'll need to explain the situation to them, too. See you in a little bit. 
Bye. And let's just follow her out. Oh, God. Well. Just in case they're like, what are you doing here? Safety save after safety saving. Getting dusty for duster. That's how he'd be like, wait, dust? Of course. Hey, you say something? I didn't say nothing, dude. Oh, it's just a dog. There ain't no dogs here, dude. You say something? Okay, well... We can't even leave. Anyway. Um... I'm wondering... If this isn't the worst place to stop. For the night. I know it's a little bit of an awkward place, narrative-wise. But I think a bunch of stuff is about to happen. And it's getting kind of late. I know, I always want to say D DMCA. No way out runs over. Yep. Fun way to put a roadblock. They're very clever in this game, like the Rose of Ants and stuff. Even in Earthbound, there was like, oh, we're famous for our roadblocks and all that kind of stuff. I think it's time for a dungeon and then a bunch of plot. Yeah. Decent stopping point. So. But uh probably gonna get back to this on Sunday. Unless there's something Sunday I'm forgetting about. But in any case, we're gonna get back to this soon. I literally haven't done anything, but I'm saving again. Um and uh, we will get back to this shortly, and then we'll finally bump in a duster. And we'll see what's going on. Thank you all for joining. We got a good safety save. Got a safe one, safety save for safety. Um, yeah, we we, uh, we got through a bunch. Finished up chapter two, did all chapter three, had sad times with Salsa. And now we're a good chunk through chapter four. Moving right along. Also, I feel like from this point on is sort of the main chunk of the game where you play as Lucas as your primary party member instead of just jumping around. So we're in the real meat of the game now, which is exciting. Uh, who we gonna raid? Who we gonna send it to? Uh, yo, let's, uh, hmm, oh, there's a bunch of people streaming right now. We could raid uh, Space Hamster Jeff, who's playing Everhood. Rena's playing Minecraft. Octo's playing GTA 5. Ditherkin's doing some art. Greg's playing Pokemon Emerald. A whole lot of people. Paint drawing on the wall. Which channel is that? Uh, saving up for the mod reward. Is there a new point reward? What is it? Uh, I don't know. Probably fine. More status with Everhood. He's doing, um, he's working on the secret optional bosses. So if you want to be completely spoiler free with Everhood, because I recommend people play Everhood, it's a good time. Oh my god, his chat is spamming dance emotes. This is a really tough fight that he's doing. Oh god. Oh, I remember this one. I think I had to drop the difficulty way down. A prediction reward. Oh, we haven't done a prediction in a bit. Um, what's a raid message? Hold right. That was a tough fight. Is he playing on hard? I don't know if he's changed it. When I was watching him play before, he was on hard. And he was grinding out individual fights for hours. He is dedicated. So if he has dropped it from hard, I'll be like, thank God. He's he's gained his senses. If he's still on hard, I don't even understand what he's doing. Peak time? That That's not going to work on his channel. Unfortunately. Tone Gasta. PK, you can do this. Enjoy your dinner. That's a good raid message. Um, um, we could spam frogs again, like when we raided Joe Cat yesterday. Nightmare boss fight. Enjoy that. We have fun times ahead. Many frog. When I'm buried, I thought he was on hard, so I beat everything on that reservoir. It wasn't hard. I felt stupid. I started at normal difficulty, and then I lowered it to easy for some fights. And I think I'm at story mode on one or two fights. Anyway, say hi to Jeff for me. Be well. Spam those good frogs. If you don't, if you're not subbed, OS Frog is a good frog as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. VOD watchers, be well. Thank you for watching. And uh isn't Bonnie the best? Isn't this game a hoot? Hope you're enjoying it. Lots of nonsense to come. And I hope to see you then. Thanks so much for watching. I gotta go have dinner. Bye. <sighs>
Uh, see you later.